Get Hi, everybody. everybody. It is Jewelry Nurse, and you can see I got all my BFFs with me there. I've got Roberta with the red nails, her signature nail color there. And I've got Robert from the Little Muddy Farm, and Gianna is joining us tonight. So I am glad to see you all. Um, right now, she I'm seeing now. Elizabeth and Cinnamon. So um, as you come in, we decided to try Saturday nights and see how Saturday nights are. Um, we'll still do Sundays like every other Sunday. But if Saturday works out, we might start doing every other Saturday and then uh, every other Sunday. But we'll see what happens. Um, so same rules as always. We do um, $1 bids till we get to 50 Then we go to $5 bids. And we all do international shipping. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think Roberta charges four, four fifty for shipping, unless it goes over a certain weight. I do shipping at cost. Um, G, um, what do you do? I do five dollars. Okay, so she's a flat rate, and um, I'm assuming. You obviously charge more for international. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Susie Woozy. How are you? Welcome, welcome, everybody. So we will um, chit-chat for a second and give everybody a chance to get in. So how is things going with um, your channel, Robert? Anything coming up on your channel you want people to know about? Well, I'd like to put up another video about coins if I get some time. <laughs> Uh, got to get out in the garden and clean it up. But uh, keep I looking. Think, I think I'm going to go in and take down that jewelry nurse um, on mine because it takes up my full screen. <laughs> so once we get rolling, I'm going to get rid of that because I can't. Well, my chair slipped down too. That did not help. I don't know why this thing slips down all the time. I may shave again. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe. A razor. So how is everybody right, out so there? Have, land? Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. That's okay. I don't have chat on my laptop, so that's a whole nother day. <laughs> I've had enough today. <laughs> I'll use uh, chat in my phone. Through the ringer today. Um, there we go. That's what Got I love the computers. Yeah, we put her and Andar both through the ringer. Hi, Cece. How are you? Haven't seen uh, you in a while. Glad you're here. Yep. Um, G and I both came at, hi Tammy, um, came at her and Anne from both sides with uh, teaching them <laughs> new things. So hopefully you'll see a, an improvement in Roberta's camera work tonight. She does have a new um, webcam and she's working from her laptop tonight. Hi Mariel, how are you? So we'll see what happens and I guess she wants me to go first. So let me All see right. what I yep. can find. I did get my jewelry all organized today, which is why it was my fault we were late today. I got busy working on that and did not realize the time, so it kind of slipped by me. But I will get my stuff there. It's all about you right now. Yeah, all about me. Um, okay, what do y'all want to see first? How about we start with a <coughs> sterling silver ring, and we'll start with a small one of this. Is we just went live on YouTube. Sorry, I'll make the noise. No problem. How's it that? Happens. This is a braided sort of, it's a heavy ring. And I think this is an artisan made piece. It obviously looks like one, and it is a small though, but it I was wearing it on my pinky finger. It is Thailand silver, it's marked Thailand 925 with the initials TMP and give you a little look there. See, it makes a really nice little pinky ring. It is a size size five and three quarters. So we will start this at $10. And who wants to type tonight? I'll type. Come on. So starting bid is ten dollars on this. 
is a really so cute nice room. Well, my screen sure looks good. Can everybody hear me? Yes, ma'am. We can hear you. Just making sure. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Hey, want to uh, hi, Mama. How are you? Kathy, how so are nice you? To see you Any interest in my little pinky ring? If not, I will move on. We'll bring it back out later. This is a heavy ring, too, guys. This is not a thin piece. It is Thailand silver, and Thailand silver is always well made. All I right. One of them I that was in seventy one. Wonder if that rings from seventy one. Okay. Oh, Vanessa's in at ten. Cindy. Okay. All righty. I will bring it back then. Is the chat moving slow, guys? Um, just holler at me if I start moving too fast for y'all. I did get my jewelry organized though, like I said, so there won't be any. Um, no, it's not new. This is older ring. Oh, you are new, Olga. Is that what you're telling us? Okay. If you would register um, at the email across the bottom of the screen there, and I'll make sure anybody else gets it. But if you are new to the channel and have never purchased before, we need you to send your um, username, your actual name, if it's different from your usual name, your shipping address and your PayPal info so that we can invoice you. And we do invoice. So after you make a purchase, you just wait to get an invoice. And I am going to try and get mine. Oh, uh, sorry, Cece. I'm going to try and get mine done a little sooner than I normally do. But um, Roberta usually gets her shipping done the next day. She's very quick about it. And I get, I do sh my invoicing and shipping on Thursday nights. And I think Roberts does his on Mondays or Tuesdays. But so if you don't get an invoice from me before Thursday, don't panic. And if you need it before Thursday, just um, message me and I will get it to you sooner. Hi, Carla. Hey, Carla. How are you? We've got Vanessa okay. in it. Hi, Froggy. Looking for 11. This is a five and three quarters. Very hefty. This could easily be stretched at least a half size on this if you needed to take it up to, uh, say, six, six and a quarter. You easily could. So we are going once. One of you guys want to call for me? There's no other interest. We're going to go once on this. A ten dollars, right? Yep. Ten to Vanessa. Hi, Rhonda. Can you still hear me? Okay, I turned my volume down. Yep, you're good. I yeah. If you're, if you're just joining us, I this do. is Thailand silver. <clears throat> it was marked. It does test positive for sterling. Does have the maker's initials on there, and it does appear to be an artisan-made piece. Very heavy duty pinky ring. You said it was a six? It's a five and three quarters, okay. but you could stretch this at, to at least a six and a half. I would think so. Maybe six and a half. Well, we're only looking at $10 for this piece of silver? Thailand silver, no doubt. Wow. Which mm -hmm. is one of my, with, um, it's as good as Italian and um, Mexico sterling. Their sterling is really good. Yes, it is. Do we hear eleven dollars? I think uh, I go back here. Looks very cute. Thanks, Olive. We have That's Vanessa a, for ten. Ten dollar bid from who? Vanessa. Vanessa. Is in at eleven. Hi, Vanessa. Yep, we see. 11 from Rhonda, and then we got a 12 from Nessa. Can we see 13 on this one? Don't let the lag get you. Uh, 
I just found something I've been looking for for a while. <laughs> I guess we'll start counting it down there, Roberta. All righty. I'm going to go once, go once to Vanessa. At 13. Oh, Vanessa, I apologize. I didn't see Rhonda come back in. Nope, I do see a 13. Yep, little Rhonda. Um, Vanessa says she's out. She's going to wait a little bit longer. Alrighty. We'll go twice. Okay. Sounds good. About to do a fair warning to Rhonda. Rhonda. Best deal of the night so far. We are about to call this sold mm. to Rhonda for $13. It must be like. Thank you, Rhonda. But I heard it was Thank sold. You, so. Don't look like that you were. That is a really good buy. A really good buy. Yeah, this is a nice, heavy little ring, and God, you'll like nice it. Ring. Okay, so I am going to put something up that I have been holding on to for a long time, so I don't know if there are any body in that collects vintage hat pins, but we're going to give it a try. All right. Vanessa, I haven't seen anything. Do you have the tracking number? Wow. This is a serious hat pin here. That is a serious <laughs> pin. I would say murder weapon. Yeah. <laughs> that could take you out of a bad situation quick. <laughs> I don't remember what this says. We're going to start this at 20. Let me. Um, I hear a 20. This is Linda Dano. Which is a 2-0. It is in my book, Robert. And like Linda Dano's stuff sells pretty high. Yeah. Hmm. So I have had it for a long time, but I'm basically starting it at what I paid for it. Looks gold plated to me. Um, it may be, I don't know. I haven't really done a lot of research on it, but I am familiar with Linda Dano. It is about five and a quarter inches in length. That's the nail is slow, uh, Vanessa. You can't even carry a knife that long anymore. Yeah, it was just sitting there in the box, so I figured I would offer it just in case there's anybody who collects those, but there is. The I think that's really nice. What does that say? Linda mm -hmm. Dano, made in China is what it says, basically. Hi, TT. I haven't seen you in a good while. And then it's probably gold plated, which means it'll last a lifetime. Yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't say, but the color looks like it could be 18 or 24 karat plating yeah. if it is. If there's no interest, I will move on. I don't know yet. Olga, we appreciate that. We just need a 20 to get her started. Thank you, Olga. Any I interest in this hat? I got your info, so you are good to go. I you know, I have some old hats. Roberta typed in starting bid 20. Mm -hmm. Dano, needed. yes, Vanessa. Linda Dano. Looking for a $20 bill. Alrighty, we will move on. This is item number two. If you want to know where it's at, if somebody collects them, just message me. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go. I don't need to start. No new collections, Cindy. <laughs> is there any? Um... I just bought me a new pair of house shoes, Sorry. so I got me an empty uh, shoe box to fill up now. Okay, oh, so no. this is, um, oh my God, just slipped right out of my head. Swarovski. <laughs> this is a Swarovski base. It's nice. got the Swarovski swan right there. If you can see that. You see, you can still come and visit. It is in really good condition. And if you have ever bought Swarovski, you know what Swarovski goes for. We're going to start this at 30. Do you call that a bee or a bird? I can. I still cannot figure out whether that's supposed to be a bee or <laughs> what it's supposed to be. 
a bug of some kind. But we're going to get it at 30. Yep, 30. It's trying to tempt me, Cindy, is what it's trying to do. <laughs> and this particular one does list for twice that, and I'm guessing it sold for more than twice that originally, Sarosky. Yeah. Sure it did, but I'm closing my eyes. Yeah. I know, you any, are a Sarosky. Any reseller in here. here. Looks like the real McCoy to me. Well, if it doesn't, there's your little. We might have to break a deal. And this is not a really huge brooch. How nice and straight that pin is, too. Yes. It's a smaller like brooch, so this, this would work on a, <laughs> almost any fabric without worrying about it sagging, too. It's smaller. I'll give you a, a picture. Of and I decided if it doesn't sell tonight, it's going yeah. in my collection. Well, it should. It is a inch and a quarter in yep. width. And Gorgeous little brooch. An inch in height. Ma, oh. Ma, it's so nice to see you, honey. You've been on my mind tremendously. We will bring it back out later. Yep, we'll get a few more followers. We'll there. Looks like you're bringing out the gold. <laughs> I do have some gold. Put that back in its nest. Okay, we're going to start this. This is sterling silver. Got some good weight to it, too. And it is marked a couple of places, I think, if I remember right. Got a lobster claw. We're going to start this at um, 15, so go ahead and get the bid started for me there while I... Did you say one six? The particular. Oh, right. That's a little 925 cartouche right there. 15. It does test positive for sterling. It's a cute, cute bracelet. Nice. And it is... Seven and a quarter in length. I said a minute. Seven and three eighths in length. So just over seven and a quarter. And I think they use nice tennis, bracelet. tennis bracelets. Let me wear when you play tennis. Let's see the weight to it too for a red. Diane's in at 15. Oh, by the way, Diane, uh, I missed your shipping. It'll go out Monday. It weighs about 14 grams, so it's not a lightweight. No. Nice. I like yeah, it. Yeah, very nice layering bracelet for sure. This one would, um, it would pop out too. It's just an interesting design, and it's well made too. Looks like it. Very pretty. Hi, Sharon. Don't yep. mind the today's prices. Au today's auction day, Sharon. Want to sit around and chew the fat with us today? Yeah, we are doing an auction tonight. We decided to try a Saturday night because we always keep y'all up late. So. <laughs> so Bill and Diane are in at 15, I believe. Yeah, 7 and 3 eighths inches on the length. Has a nice lobster claw on it. Very well made bracelet. There's the back. Pretty cool. Any other bidders in here? Diane at 15. Looking for 16. Well, I don't think Roberta could shine that up much more than it already is. That's right. <laughs> Did you see the inside, though? It looks yellow. I think that's just the tarnishing of the silver. You know how sometimes silver gets sort of a yellow tint. I like it. To it. Nice. Yeah, and it does look kind of gold inside there, though, doesn't it? It's weird. Can you wear it backward? Can you wear it both ways? You could if you. Well, it's a little stiff the other direction, so that'd be kind of tough. To, yeah, it's kind of stiff to. When you try and push it back the other way, it's stiff. 
Hey, Cinnamon, how's uh, Penny doing? Good? Hey, Sweet Pea, how are you? And Sweet Pea, my friend over the seas. You guys can start calling it. I think we have Diane in at 15. We're looking for 16. This is a 7 and 3 eighths inch sterling silver bracelet. It weighs 14 grams, so it does have good weight to it. Very well made. Which and means Vanessa said nice layering bracelet for sure. And it's big enough actually to wear on its own that it it would be noticed. So you're almost at a silver it's spot. Already in. That's a half an ounce of silver. Okay. And you can yeah. yep. it is a half an ounce of silver, exactly. Well just over a half ounce. Well no about a half troy ounce. I think a troy ounce is thirty one and yeah. Silver's going up and down, but it's going to make 30, I bet you, by the end of the year. So we're going twice. And we just need a $16. Start over. Die insane. <laughs> Vanessa wants to know what you think about that bull's head, Robert. Well, I'm thinking, what bull's head? Oh, uh -oh. I did get it. I did. Didn't I send you a thank you? I'll show it here whenever I get a chance. Sometimes he needs a little nudging. Well, <laughs> we're gonna call it I'm from Kansas Washington. City, Missouri, and we are the beef capital of the world. Sold well, today in for fifteen dollars. We may not have any vegetables, but we got plenty Thank of beef. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a sort of eclectic little lot of costume here before I turn the reins over. Oh, already eclectic little lot. Thank you for your Hi, Sandy. bids, Diane, and congrats on your win. Let's see, where did my marker go? There it is. I don't know, Vanessa. She's wondering if it's fun. Uh, if it's what? I was talking to Vanessa about um, the things. Robert, oh. oh, you know me. I get talkative and then I get quiet. <laughs> okay, this is kind of an eclectic lot, but it's a nice lot. This is the first piece. Oh, that's cute. It's not sterling, it's a um, costume, but it's a really nice piece, though. And this is some kind of stone, dyed stone of some sort. Pretty piece, a very pretty piece. Yeah, you're so quiet. I forgot you were there. Okay, then I'm adding this bracelet. We're going to start this lot at 20, and it's about six pieces, but they're all really nice pieces. Alrighty. Oh, that's a nice charm bracelet. This does have the oh, RO tab. Very nice bracelet. All the links um, on the charm bracelet can come off. How in the world did that get in there like that? I don't snore, Sweet Pea. If I did, I'd wake myself up. Huh, very weird. How did that happen? <laughs> I stayed awake once to see if I snore. I, I don't. Interesting. Puzzle bracelet. Try and figure yeah, out how it got in there like that. <laughs> There we Nobody go. Nobody even caught that. Unless they just went, oh, here she goes again. <laughs> well, that's cool. You can make a lot of things out of that. And this is a really cute bracelet. Let me put that yeah. there. Okay. So it does have some nice charms on it, but I guess I have it backwards. I just put that one on there backwards. <laughs> of course. You like the little crown. Okay, so that's the second piece. Um, this is the third piece. And this is really cute. I guess this is India. It, the design looks like India. It is brass. Really cute necklace. Mm -hmm. I wonder how I can make this screen bigger. And these are oh, thick so pieces of brass, too. They're... They're not going to bend up on you, so really nice piece of brass, and I'm guessing that would look awesome if you polished it up. It does have a hook, so it might be a little older. Okay, then this That's is cool. the third piece. This is, um, I think this is an American Eagle piece here. Yep. 
This is American Eagle Outfitters here. Okay, we got you. This is a cute little piece. He is in heaven, Vanessa. This looks heaven. like horn to me. That's mother of pearl and horn. And then, of course, the um, probably abalone there. And then this is really cool, too. This looks like a vintage it. also as a hook. Any I interest not, in this, y'all? Really cute. These are all really nice costume pieces. They really are. Then I have this. This is not signed, but this is definitely vintage looking. Um, where is the... <laughs> yeah. Okay, there is the... As the fold over type class. Uh -huh. Probably 80s. 70s, 80s on this piece. Class still tight. So they won't match. Yeah, it's in really good condition, and it's got a beautiful kind of a gold tiger's eye or cat's eye piece there. Really nice piece. Nice stones. This would look really good on black with a black dress or something. And then this is the final piece. This is a little odd, but it is brand new. Starting this was from the world market, sold seventeen dollars. Wow. Kind of different. Looks like a little color, sort of. And then it's on the brass color chain. We used to have one of those stores in town. So that piece is brand new. So we got one, wow. two. Looking for twenty dollars, folks. Three. Oh, for twenty. That one necklace is almost twenty. That's four, right. Five necklaces, well worth the twenty dollars, guys, and two bracelets. So five necklaces and two bracelets. And they're all in excellent condition. And this bracelet, it really looks like um Premier Designs, or I don't see crown. a Premier Design tag on it, but it really does look like a Premier Design piece. What is that tag that's there? It just has an RA on it. Okay. No interest, Joe? No interest at all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't been to Westport in a long time, Joe. I used to play a little music down there. Ah, oh, you have one in Eugene, Oregon, huh? All right. Oh, and don't forget this. This is beautiful, this piece. They're it having protests right down to the memorial. I don't know how that'll turn out. Mm. I stay away from protests. Me too. All right, let's move on. If you hear squeaking, it's my chair. Costume. Let me put this back in the bag. Nice lot, though. Really nice lot. Oops. Yeah, there were seven pieces in that lot. Okay, so. Nice lot. So that silver then, and, um, $20 gets you in. My, lot, my lag, I'm still seeing the lot up there. Go back to sterling silver. Okay, cool. I like sterling. This is a really nice heavy duty brace, charm bracelet. The heart has not been engraved, it is sterling silver. Got a nice big toggle. We're going to start this one at 20 and let me get the measurements for you guys in the wait here while they start the bid. Okay. He's starting this one off at. Really nice. It's marked right there. 
925 silver, and I think it's starting bid is 20, folks. One of these rings, but it has been tested. All parts are sterling. I'll bet you it's oh, it had it right ounce of silver, and you got the clasps if you want to make something else. Yeah, the weight on this is 32 grams, so this is. Just an over an ounce on this bracelet. So and you're throwing it off at 20? Bracelet. This is an ounce of silver. And my starting bid is under silver weight right now, guys. It ought to be 30. Yeah. And even order an ounce of silver coin for less than 35 after. It is just over seven and a quarter inches to. But yeah, that price is under silver weight. Yes, it is. Very nice. Somebody ought to jump in. Yeah, it, it does. Um, you know, it's not marked Tiffany anywhere, and but it is. It is. The quality is as good as the Tiffany one that I have. I actually it's have like, a Tiffany yeah. here in silver. And it is as good as that one for sure. The weight and everything is about the same. But there are no Tiffany marks on this one. I wish there were. But yes, it is like it is a definite um, duplicate. So of do you need, to move your, um, you need to move your speaker away from whatever you're hitting. Um, it's not that annoying to me. But. Hold on. Maybe I've hit my... I was going to say, guys, I was going to go in 20 if you all didn't. Sorry about that. Yeah, Diane, I feel like you need to go up another dollar. Sorry, Robert. That's okay. I'm ready to be I'll quiet. You talk. Yep, you no, are you talk. under silver um, weight at the moment, for sure. Let me go get a drink of water. Go ahead, Robert. You've got $30 in scrap there. All right, honey. I'm running my water machine. <laughs> we know what Point you do. out again, guys, right. next time you hear that noise, right when you hear it, so I'll know what I'm hitting that's making that noise. I think it's the it base of like your... your bracelets are hitting your um, document camera. Yeah, the base of your camera. Diane's in at 21. Mayor's back in at 22. That's too bad, Sharon. Buyer beware, always. We've got Diane back in at 23. Nothing like a good of water. So what we got? Twenty four going on. Twenty four in there. Almost. almost yeah, we still right. haven't gotten to silver weight yet on this yeah. scrap weight. You're talking thirty dollars mm -hmm. plus enforcement. Yeah. And these links are solid. These are not hollow. Like I have one of these in gold, in fourteen carat, but the links are hollow. So yeah, I have to be really it. careful because the link's dent, but this is solid. Yeah, I've seen enough silver in what that is. Back in at 25. Oh, Mariella. <laughs> That's right. He must have one of those crazy keyboards downloaded. Yeah. Okay, Mayor's out, so we're going to go once to Diane. I got a website where I can type upside down, but nobody likes it. <laughs> okay, so next auction, Roberta, you have to start first. You always catch me off guard. <laughs> well, this is. This is all new with this camera and the laptop and everything, so I'm kind of nervous. But um, I think it will be okay. I just yeah, want to make sure people can be fine. It up. 
Yeah, we do fine. I'm gonna go twice. I'd like to see it get it over twenty-five, though. I, I hate for Cindy to take a loss. Very pretty bracelet. Yeah. Well, it had two bids. You go to the bond out, store. So do a fair warning. Thirty dollars out of it, I'll bet you. Yeah, you could easily. If I was buying tonight, I'd be in on this one. Well, no. You're sitting on your hands too. Nice tonight, Robert. <laughs> hey, Maureen. Sitting on my hands. <laughs> Maureen, I haven't seen you. I was thinking about you the other day, wondering how you were. Hey, Maureen. Right, we're going to call this little heart sold to Diane for 25 Good deal, Thank Diane. You, Thank you. Diane. You're you're good good you great you deal on that. So right, when I start doing, I won't be able. To. I'm sorry, Cindy. Now you have to go, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> oh, you're on the spot now, Vera. Right, right, right out there. Able, I won't be able to do much. Yet. All right, so these are. Um, let me know. Let me move everything. This is so light. I'm thinking. Different direction. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Soda light and copper. Yeah, this is going to start at seven dollars. This is, wow, these are real pretty. It's not showing as pink as it is. These I'm sure are now light because they're white inside the little hole here, but they're awful pretty. This yep, test is under a silver weight. Oh. Yeah, but you have to pay, a, that's your spot. You still have to pay, a, I don't know, five or six sorry, dollars for buying a coin. Sorry, I recorded. You said seven dollars, right? Okay, I heard it. Get me talking silver, I get crazy. Yeah, uh -huh, seven. This is orange yeah, and purple, dollars. but I don't. This, this doesn't show up anything on the te on the tester, and this shows up as quartz on the tester. This is this is weighty, and it it's not showing the beautiful color it is. It's got bring some. it closer and see if we can get it to focus. There you go. Oh, when we bring it close going. and hold it still, we get some focus. <laughs> That's a nice piece. That one alone. There you go. Perfect. That one alone is worth more than the seven bucks for sure. Well, mm -hmm. And have you well, tested that other one for Amber? Well, I'll jump in at 10 on this. Yes. This, this doesn't come up anything but this comes up amethyst okay. these are beautiful well, that's i'm assuming that's so light cornelian too yeah the color looks okay. right so Real light. and that's copper there you go. seven dollars to get us started i'm going in at seven all right that is a really nice lot, guys. Even if you don't care for the stretchy bracelets, that is a great lot for crafters. Yeah, it does look yeah. like, dude, it does look like Laramar to me. That's yeah, that one, they'll get the real stones for sure. The yellow could be Carnelian. We've got Carly in at eight, looking for nine. Good deal, gals and guys. Good deal. Yep. Coming back at 10, looking for 11. Well, I'm lagging a little bit. Let's see if I can figure out. Okay. I guess see a ten. I hope y'all can figure out. Nurse. But I heard there was an eleven. Are we looking? Hey, for I'm hating the rest of this. Hi, Becky. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. Hi, roses. <laughs> Yeah, it is a oh, little bit blurry, but um, there you go. It's starting to focus there. Oh, you want me to move it? No, don't touch it because it's focusing. <laughs> it's a little yeah. blurry, but it's yeah. trying to focus. You're doing fine. I see a 12. Let me know if you want me to pick it up. <laughs> Staying well, away from people it. People teasing me tonight. <laughs> Mm 
Looking we got to thank you, Carla. Um, we got to get you a document camera. I think that's going to solve a lot of your focus problems. And did you get a chance to download that app Gianna suggested? We started to, and then Bob had to run out. We couldn't get to it in time before the auction. Okay. So that's a tomorrow All right. thing. Well, we'll do that before tomorrow then. All right. So you can start calling it, Robert. Um, uh, we got 12 to jewelry nurse. We're looking for 13. We're going once. And I'm not typing. Robert, why do you sound all uh, congested? I'm going to go twice, looking for 13. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Cindy and I both came in going, going once. <laughs> oh. oh. We're going to. I can't. Um, go twice now. Yeah, I'll be happy to let yes, you type. <laughs> then I won't be clear. There it is. I'm thinking. <laughs> Won't be long before that it's is uh, a blessed camera. Fair warning. I think Rolling her camera is a lot of time. I think she can just plug it in. I All right, fair warning. Into my um, laptop, Rhonda. She did plug Damn it in, it. Robert, but um, there's an app that Gianna showed her because now she has no control over the focus. But if she downloads that app, you'll be able to adjust the focus. Yeah, on the Mac, it, it just automatically sold. $12 to go. the jewelry nurse named Cindy. I've got some more glass. This is, um, these are pretty. This one is, let's see if I can get it to focus. This is gonna start at $10 for all of this. This is not sterling. It is just a really nice, I guess, snake chain. That's what it looks like to me. Then we have this whole thing is gonna hold on. Hold on. It's gonna start at ten. And this is worth ten right here. By far. And then I have this is that the, the Melifiori one, right? That is a gorgeous pendant. That Melifiori one see. is well worth the ten dollars. All right, this is glass. It's beautiful. I don't. I'm trying to get this all in now. Y'all just bear with me because I'm trying to learn this camera. There. Well, after so you bring them all out, out, you can show them one at a time up close to get them to okay. focus. There you have it. Nice. So we've got this. There you go. Don't move it. Starting bid ten dollars, folks. Oh, let me. That's not showing as pretty as it is. But it's that focusing. One. So as long as you don't move it around, it focuses. Dichronic glass. It's a new one yes. on me, sweetie. Dichroic. Down, go down a little bit. You're a little too high on your screen. Lower your hand a little bit. And with this camera, you're probably going to have to move everything else out of the background so it focuses on what's okay. in your hand. I'd turn it around the other way. There you go. See the colors on yeah, it. Yeah, face them towards us. You're facing it towards yourself. Because you're, you're used to doing it. Yeah, to you need to flip upside down. As in backward thinking. Hey, Lady Chickaboo, how are you? Gold and green, very pretty. Beautiful dichroic glass for sure, guys. And this one right oh, here is spectacular. Even the back side is nice. Yeah, even the back is pretty. So there are, was there four or five there? So starting bid is $10, guys. Well worth it. Four. Don't let this four one more. Get... Okay, we're talking $250 a necklace. Gorgeous stuff. You work, Very somebody beautiful. will buy it right off of you. Hi, Mona. How are you?
looking for ten dollars. Oh, okay. Um, we'll have her do that. Gee, I just got your message. We'll have her do that when we switch over. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Let me look on mine so I can guide her through it. Yeah, we got a $10 from Sweetie. Hi, Sweet Pea. Good $10. Very beautiful, Where is Sweet Pea. She knows what she's looking at. I've seen it. I used to go down to Branson. I love this color. Oh, gold fetch, in it. Where they made glass and heated it up. And Beautiful stuff. Gianna, where did you say to go to find that setting? Well, she hold on, to, I'll read it again. Yeah, okay, no. she needs to go in underneath, um, down there where it says cam slash mic, select camera, and then go into um, um, show advanced, and then she can pick her camera. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it. All right. She may be on low definition. Okay. So do that real quick, Ro. At the bottom of your screen, you see the camera slash mic. Click on that. Mm -hmm. And then tell me okay. when it's open. Okay. It's open. You see um, where it says show advanced in blue at the bottom, kind of in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Click on that. Okay. And then there's a down arrow. It should say high definition, standard definition, and low definition. Make sure you're clicked on the 720p okay. high definition. Okay, now I am. Okay, now X Thank out of it. You. Thank you, Gigi. Well, that did seem to help a little bit, didn't it? It did. Yeah. It does look good to me anyway. wonder if I should bring my camera up a little. Yeah, now. bring it just a little bit. Let's see if it'll help focus. It could be setting too close. Now, don't move the thing and let it focus. Okay. Do you have a fan moving? Well, it's in? still better. It's better than it no, was. Air on, but not a fan. Air. Anything okay. for movement I can do this. So, <laughs> all right. Oh, is it is it making too much noise? Is that what you hear? Is no, that what you no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, we have Sweet Pea okay. in at ten. We're looking for eleven. We're talking two fifty a piece now. And I know that one. We're going to go going once. I know that one with the Malafiori one. Definitely going to cost you more than ten dollars that's a nice resale lot there you could list that one for 25. all righty we are at ten dollars to sweet pea going twice still looking for 11. All righty, let's call fair warning. How are you, Michelle? Hadn't seen you in a couple of weeks. Hope everything is okay with you. I did get my latest COVID test back, and you all be happy to know it's negative still. So doing well. Praise God. And all right. Sold at ten dollars to Sweet Pea. Thank you, Sweet Pea. Thank you, sweetie. Sweetie PP. Very pretty. Nice skill, Sweet Pea. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go extreme here. It's gonna start at 45, and you'll see why. This is smoky quartz. Oh my God! This this thing is I like that. Fantastic! Fast. Amazing. And I put this. Uh, oh yikes! Hold on. 
really and nice chain. Everything. I'm going to measure that chain right now, Robert. That is 17 20. inches. 17. 17. So 34 inches. Inch. Are you talking? It is marked right there, 95. Mm -hmm. Oops. And I am going to set it here. I just it's wanted you to see the decorative. It is, I wanted you to see the decorative work on it. Tell me. You haven't held it still enough you do it it. for it to focus. All right, let me go higher in your screen. There, there you go. I know what smoky quartz looks like. And it's yeah. pretty nice. Show them how deep that stone is. Show it from a side angle. Yeah. That's a good size. I don't know what, five carats. I would say more I than five carats. Yes. I don't know what a carat is. My story. Here. Look how deep that thing is set. This thing. This is a amazing piece. And if there's no interest, five dollars, guy, well worth it. It is well worth it. The chain alone is worth thirty-five. Yeah, it's amazing. Bring that up close to the screen and see if you can get it to focus. Yeah, so they you can get see a good through look that stone. You gotta be able to see right through. No, oh, come on, focus. I give your camera a chance to focus. It has to think and get used to the new system. Oh, I'm seeing some color. I just want them to see that decorative work. Go up higher oh, on your screen and see if that helps. I think this is worth the money, folks. You got the silver, you got the chain, and you got a big piece of smoky quartz. I'm not moving. <laughs> At least you can see the scroll work. It's a beautiful pendant. Yeah. The silver work is great. You can't really... Oh, at night, you can see through the stone right there. I've got a couple of stones like that. We've got Kathy in at 45. Is your router or your, in your the, the room with you, Roberta? Or is it in another room? No. Hi, Kathy. It's down. It's underneath me. Okay, so it is right there next to you. I sent you Underneath a package. The, there you go. Now you're ceiling. starting to focus. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful piece, guys. They were impressed that I could just ship to somebody in Australia. <laughs> sure. Old Bob Jones gorgeous. Farmer shipping to Australia. They so said. we get Kathy in at 45. We're looking for 46 on this. Do you want to give them a measurement, too, on the size? I'd say it's a inch and a half. Yeah, it does, Beth. Very sparkly. Yeah, that's a, that's a steel. The veil goes up to almost two inches. Yeah. So good size pendant. So those of you who like the statement pieces, this is definitely one. This would bop a good knot in your head, too. <laughs> I'm always trying to hit somebody, aren't I? <laughs> and you said that chain is 17 inches? Or that was, I think you said 17. Yep, 17 inches. All right, nice thick heavy chain. We have Kathy in at 45 going once. We are looking for 46. This may be the still of the night on this piece. Yeah, I think this is really a hundred dollar piece. Yes. I was gonna list it, but I decided to put some stuff up out tonight. Yeah, good to make friends. Kathy, you'll love this. Yeah. 
I know I'm not doing a good job. Get oh, you're doing focused. fine. Well, you can only, you know, do what you have to work with and we'll get you there. I know we've upped your internet as much as we can up it. We have Sweet Pea in at 46, looking for 47. I remember the first time I tried to dance. Thank you all for bearing with me. Thank you all We've for going on this journey. journey. With You'll me. have to go up a little bit. I was just yeah. about to count this one down, guys. Oh, burnout. Oh, Kathy's in at 50. I think she wants this one. What story is this? I'm not sure what we'll you take mean. 55 because we're at that magic price. Okay, we are now at $50 bid increments looking for 50. I mean, at $5 bid increments looking for Go 55. For it, then. Go for it. <laughs> We've got Kathy in at 50. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're asking, Mona. Okay, Sweet Pea is out. So we are going one time at 50 to Kathy. Oops, forgot I already had this in there. We've got Berna in at 55. Sorry, oh, I forgot stone, you were still in there, Berna. We're looking for if 60. You're asking stone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a smoky quartz. Yes, we, she does have a tester too, so she can test to make sure they are actually stones and not glass. Roberta has a Etsy channel. I think it's a ROS Treasures for you. Oh, you okay? Now I know what she's talking about. I think. Yeah, we'll put that um, link up for her in just a second. We're going one time at fifty-five. To Verna. And Kathy's out. When I bring you up to you, I'm going to go out real quick and get rid of my email All across right. the bottom of my screen there because it's taking up a lot of my screen. You should sure. be able to do it now while you're in. Screen. Oh, you know what? You can do it from in now. I forgot about that. Um, let me see if I remember how you do that. Alrighty. Okay, we're going two times at. Oh nope, back at sixty. All right. Yeah, Kathy's back. <laughs> Kathy's in. back at sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Changed her mind, did she? <laughs> I would think so. Picker. Yep. No. Kathy's teasing us. Yeah, we'll cancel that going twice. We'll start over at 60. Hold on. Okay, we're at set 60 to you, Verna. Looking for 65. Okay, cannot remember how you, hold on. Oh, I see it right there. I found it, G. Sterling right. silver, 17 inch chain, nice silver smithing, and a smoky quartz to boot. So pretty. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it is too nice. Thank you, Verna, for letting us know. We are going once to Kathy at 60. Still a great buy. Yes, lady. Chickapoo, that is. Yeah, it's really great craftsmanship. I've seen a really close-up picture of this one, and you will not be disappointed. That's okay, Mona. You've obviously not paid attention to my spelling. <laughs> Going twice. It's my spell check. My spell check spells wrong. <laughs> we are at fair warning. And we will call this one sold at $60 to Kathy. I am glad you got that, Kathy. You will love it. Thank you, Kathy. Guaranteed Thank you, everybody. You. Bit. Going to Australia. I have a pair of earrings. I'm going to start at 25. They are peach color uh, oyster, spiny oyster. They look orange. They're more peach. You're welcome, Kathy. They Thank are you. marked 
Oh, my goodness gracious. They are marked Mexico 925. Let me make sure on that. Yes, Mexico 925. Very pretty earrings. There's no interest. We'll move along. Uh, Let's see if I can get them. We had a starting bit of 15. Is that right? I don't see it typed in. Is it 15 you said? No. I. What's your starting bid? I believe I said 25. Okay, I didn't hear it. All right. I, so put put it right here, or... I misspoke. That's I took okay, them out of the bag. I didn't fire you yet. Everybody knows what spiny oyster is. Yeah. Okay, see if you can get it to focus because we um, like bring it up because we, we can't even see anything but a blur right now. Okay, bring it up and then bring it down and freeze. Or just take one hand away. Yeah, your okay. fingers get my are... nails out of it. Yeah, because it seems to be. Okay, now we can start there to see you go. back here. So they're inlaid hoops. Well, yeah. Most of the opals. <laughs> Bring one earring up to the screen, Roberta, so we can see. Maybe you can get one to focus and move everything else out of the way. Oops. Sweet peas are interesting. Bring your other hand back out of the screen. She's in her 25. There you go. Oh my goodness! We may have to switch over to your back over to your phone. I think until you get your document nice camera. <laughs> I apologize. She could probably switch over to her um, laptop camera. Oh yeah, try that and see if your laptop camera works is um, doing any better. Um, on your no. cam slash mic no. again. No. Click on that. No, I'm you not going to use the laptop. I shan't use the laptop camera. Is it I'll worse? Go to my phone first. There. Okay. There you go. Just don't move it. They're focusing now. Okay. We are at 25 to Sweet P. Looking for 26. This takes it a second or two to think. I do too love these. I had some that were similar a few weeks ago that had uh, turquoise and spiny oyster. They were very similar to this. Yeah, we just can't see them, Ro. Um, I don't know what else to suggest. Have you tried your laptop here and it's worse? I'm not going to try and set that all up. It'll take oh, too long to try. Oh, you don't have to, to do and... anything but click. It's easier than what you just it. did. I think I everybody knows what spiny okay. oyster really looks like. That's a good inlaid piece there on each of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we may have you switch over to your phone when we're done with this one yeah. to see if it's any better. Yeah, because it, it's just it's worse than normal right now. So I think we're going to have to get that uh, document camera here. Okay. So. Or even if you can get that thing down, that program downloaded, that may help you with your focus. All righty. So we are going one time at 25 to Sweet Pea. Still looking for 26. That helps. Thank you. Uh, and it gets kind of freeze if you can. Seems to focus better when you're in the middle of your screen and up just a little higher. Yeah. Yes, I don't want to go. Right around in there, we tend to get better focus, but watch yeah, it not do it this time. We're going two times at 25. Nice set of uh, inlaid earrings. Yeah. 
and it seems to be better too until we go live. <laughs> Once we go live, then you lose, uh, you know, it's it down the. Oh, we have Berna in at 26. Oh, I was about to call those. We have Berna in at 26, looking for 27. I am not going to start crying. I'm not. Don't cry. It's okay. We'll get through it. Don't cry. You make we'll me get cry. You you all out. Crying. My chair is squeaky. I understand the frustration, though. I used to go through that before I got the document camera, too. You never knew whether it was going to focus or not. We had Sweet Pea in at 27, looking for 28. Uh, don't take a hammer to your computer. Yes, please not. No, I, you, I have been through so much with this. You, you, now, don't move. They're starting to focus right there. There you go. Starting to. We've got Sweet Pea in at 27, looking for 28. Get those uh, fingernails out of the way and it focuses. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going one time at 27. Let me know if you are still in, Verna. I think she's out. Well, we'll oh, yep, she is out. Thank you, Verna. We're going two times at 27. Fair warning. I promise they're beautiful. I've been with computers. Oh, I know they are. Since the late 70s. And sold to Sweet Pea at 27. I even did the Thank class you, everybody. Okay, if you Sorry. want to try something real quick, Ro, I swear to you, it only it'd be easier than switching if you just click on that camera mic down at the bottom. Just humor me for a second. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, then we'll have you sign out and sign back in on your cell phone. But click on the camera yeah, mic. I button. don't have it. I don't have it um, where I want to face it. I do not want it facing on me. Oh, That's okay. All I to okay, now I get it. It's going to face towards you. All right, no problem. All right, Gianna. Gianna's got a little surprise for you there. What you got there, Gianna? Yeah, I've got a beautiful Dalmatian pendant here on a 30 inch. As you can see, a nice box chain. Um, Very I am going to do, I'm going to sell a little bit tonight so I can help a friend out. Sure. So, um, this here is a buy it now. This here is a buy it now for 55 if anybody's interested in buying it now for 55 You ain't going to talk her out of it, G. <laughs> I mean, right. I <laughs> now, know. folks. I know that change worth fifty-five. Yeah, okay, it is so. sterling. Um, I showed it earlier today when I did my little show and tell, right here, and it did test uh, positive for sterling. Right there is your nice Gold. little nine-two-five mark. The chain is super duper long. Like I said, it's a 30 inch chain. I'll back it out a little bit so you can see it. Kathy. Kathy. All right. Will you write that down, sis? All right. Kathy's in at 55. Awesome. So buy it now for 55. Yeah. Everything I'm going to show tonight is a buy it now. So. Okay. Awesomeness. All right. Congratulations, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Beautiful pendant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Dalmatian stone, I think. Yeah, the Dalmatian ivory, or Dalmatian jasper has gotten really popular recently. It really is very beautiful. Yes, it sells really quick. All right, and I'm going to show another pendant. Whoa, that almost fell in my ice water, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is a good size pendant it's on an 18 inch um 925 italy chain let me get you get my measuring out here measuring tape out here so you can see how long it is a three inch pendant that is kingman turquoise sterling wow. silver mm. also buy it now for 55. Gosh. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Love that stone. That's yeah, cool. very nice. What a gorgeous pendant. Wow, and two of those sales is enough to buy a camera. Yeah. And there is. Definitely the worth 55. I can't believe you're doing that. Gee, you are just too kind. Such well, a compassionate so. woman. <laughs> Don't find a stone like weird. that anywhere. Can you imagine the person making that, the smile on their face as they're watching it, you know? Yes, Kingman Sharon. And yes, these are Gianna's pieces that she's selling. She is um, trying to help Roe get yeah. that camera. So yes, I am trying to go through her document camera because when I first started, no, my no, camera no, no, did wait, the very wait. same thing, and I can understand the frustration. So, all right, oh, Kathy's no. taking that at fifty-five. Yeah, now, sell a piece for yourself, Diana. <laughs> okay, I am. I am going to sell a piece for myself. These are Kathy's. So All right. many acts of kindness on YouTube, guys. Every time I tune in. Yes. All right. What do you guys want to see? You want to see nice. brooches? You want to see rings, bracelets, earrings? So I'm really, um, okay. How about yeah. this? That'll work. There we go. Um, as you can see, I put the sizes down below. These are all tested sterling. I showed these also earlier it today in my. In my little show and tell, got a nice piece of abalone here. I see that. And it is Thailand silver. Very beautiful piece. This is Choice. We're starting these out at 25. This is also Thailand silver. Um, spinel with uh, marcasite. Wow, that's gorgeous. So this is a choice of, and you're starting at where? At 25. 25. Okay. So your choice, 25. Beautiful. And this is a ring, yes, that I have seen many nurses wear because it represents a heartbeat. And let's see. This is Mexico silver. And it is, as you can see, the sizes are right down below. You've got six and three quarters six and three quarters and seven this is choice beautiful abalone ring guys all right we are looking for 25. man all of them look like they could be stretched a bit if need be if they're a little too small for you i'm sure you could take those up to a seven that one you probably could stretch a little but not a lot probably about a quarter yeah, a quarter. Yeah, no, We've got Vanessa in at 25, looking for 26. This is choice of. Yeah, be sure and bid. I'm lagging, so you probably are too. Roberta, do you want to go try and switch cameras, or did you switch already? You want to switch to your phone? Now. Now, see, down at the bottom of the screen, when I'm looking at you, you are totally in focus. That's too funny. I see no, Vanessa. I'm thinking I have to them a different way. Um, Sharon, no, it should not harm your, um, um, your turquoise. Hey, Denise. Now, if it's like reconstituted turquoise and they enhance the color, it might fade a bit, but... 
natural turquoise? I wouldn't think so. I, I agree with Gianna. They are wonderful rings. Yeah, they are. We have Vanessa in at 25. We're looking for 26. You said the one in the middle is spinel. That's a big hunk of spinel. Yes, that is a big piece of spinel. Hi, Patty Kent. We'll focus on the backs, but focus on the front, little girl. So you can see the spinel. See, now I'm having problems. <laughs> there we go. Just have to push a button. Gorgeous. Yep. All righty. So we are going one time at 25 to Vanessa. We're still looking for 26 on these. You get to choose which one you want. Or you can take all three. You can take two of them. You can take whatever you want. And remember. Take them all. Back up bidder. Yep. Back up bidder gets second choice. Let's see 26, please. We are looking for 26. How are you, Denise? Thank you for coming. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to bid, we need you to register. Just send an email. And uh, let me put up Gianna's information right now while we have Gianna on the screen. Um, we would need your username your actual name if it's different your paypal information and your shipping address love you too denise all righty we are going two times at 25 still looking for 26. she's such a love bug i know she is she is the biggest love bug <laughs> Fair warning. <laughs> Always positive and upbeat. Denise is fun to be around. She brings the room up when she comes in. All righty. Let's you call this book. one sold and let us know which one you want, Vanessa. Oh. <laughs> Yes, we sold it. All righty. She wants the abalone and the spinel. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vanessa. You get that, Bebco? Do I go one more or? Yep, one? go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. No. I'm going to do a bracelet lot here. And I'm sure. All sterling. Beautiful little bracelet lock. Okay, now my name now my thing's in the way down. <laughs> of course. Okay, um the moon moon bracelet here is Did you see Kathy it has, um, Mother Pearl and Leopard Jasper um Tiger's Eye. And it is just a very beautiful piece. Let's see if I can. There we go. Oh, it's adorbs. It is eight in eight in length. And then I have one of these. Um, is Italy. that leopard jasper or is that the mahogany obsidian? It's in the leopard black and red. Okay, leopard jasper and um, what an interesting combination. Yes, and then I have the Italy um, 925 little bracelet here, and then I have the hinge cup. Let's see if I can remember what site to open it. Okay, is this a lot or a choice? It's a lot. It is okay. a lot. Where do you want to start it? I want to start this lot out at 30. All right. Don't forget. Nice to lot, nice. There you go. Okay, did I try to remember what side to open this thing on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there it is. I think I got it. I don't know. Seems like as I get older, I can't see what I'm doing. Wow. 
Oh, just wait. wait. Oh, just wait. <laughs> oh, oh, it gets it gets funner. <laughs> oh my gosh! It I don't know how much fun. more fun. I, <laughs> how much more fun I'm going to be able to take? <laughs> no, I've got my go. glasses on. There you go. I'm looking for a loop, and I need an extra loop. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot starting out at 30. This is I turquoise. You covered, Kathy. That's pretty. Wow, what a great lot, guys. This is also mm -hmm. Kingman turquoise. Wow. We're that. talking three bracelets, $10 a piece. Very nice. Okay, Kathy nice. wants a heartbeat. Thank yeah. you. Where did she put that notebook? Thank you, Kathy. Five. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, we got you. We got you covered. Any interest in this lot? Look at these bracelets, guys. That is insane. Ten dollars a piece on these. It is ten dollars a piece. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. All sterling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just sold that, that moon bracelet. I'd had one just like it. And trust me, that one alone is worth the 30. What's the size of Sweet Pea wants to know their links on those? Okay. I know the moon for certain is eight, eight inches. Whee. All right. And then this one's a seven, the Italy 925. Whitest part to the whitest part. There you go. You got about two and a half. So at least a medium. Yep, a medium. I would think. And it is a hinged, right? So it's like yes. a. So you don't have to worry about cramming it over your knuckles and. Yeah. Your hand through it. This thing yeah. right here. <clears throat> pull it and it comes open. Which makes it much easier. You can get away with a smaller bracelet if you don't have to try and cram it over your knuckles. <laughs> yeah. I got big fists. <laughs> but I got small wrists. <laughs> nice job on the inlay on that one, on both of those. Uh, they're really nice. We've got Sweet Pea in at 30, looking for 31. With the lag gets you, I'm about 20 seconds behind. Those are so pretty. Okay, I think they've got my email down. <laughs> so, okay, let me take it down. Sorry. There we it go. Does, doesn't it seem like that banner got bigger? It, <laughs> does. it seems like it's well, bigger it than pretty healthy. Uh, Okay, we've got Sweet Pea in at 30. We are at $10 per bracelet right now, guys. This is a fabulous deal. Looking for 31. We are going to go one time at 30. Go dig through the couch cushions. Getting ready to go twice, folks. Going twice. Beautiful piece. Told you. Yep, you could sell one, list one, make your money back. Yeah. That one alone, like I said, I know because I just sold that exact bracelet, and that one alone is worth your 30 bucks. It's a beautiful bracelet. Yep. I know, I'm shutting my eyes. Well, then you can sell the other two, Sweet Pea. Fair warning. Yep. Better go into the selling business, Sweet Pea. Contact <laughs> Sweet Pea. She's got two for sale now. Oh, does yours have yellow mother of pearl in it? I think mine had white. Yours looks yellow. Yeah, this has the uh, well, has Yeah, mine was white. Very cool. Nice. All right, guys, you still got a chance to get that bid in. Either one of those two are worth the thirty dollars. The tur I mean, we're talking turquoise here. Yes, we are. 
Inlaid turquoise, beautiful. That's right, Christmas is coming up. That's right, Christmas oh, is coming. Ship early. Alrighty, we're going to call it sold to Sleepy. And Sleepy is telling you to keep the other two. She wants me to keep the other two? She I think so. wants the moon one. Yeah. Okay. We. Okay, I will, Sweet Pete. Thank you. All righty, guys. So I have here, this is a Melifiori pendant. It is Vermeil. It is marked, I think that says AMV initials on there. And then the 95 is on the other side. But the chain is not for me. The chain is a Sarah Coventry chain because I could not find a Verme chain for it. I'm seeing but some numbers coming Sarah in. Sarah Coventry chain. And then this is sterling. It has a natural sapphire, a natural ruby, and a natural emerald. And I believe this is a size six. If I remember right. Yes, this is a size six. We're going to do um, $20 for both pieces. So this is a lot. So starting bid is $20. That is the Malafiori and the ring. You want to go back and look at the notes? We got a 31 and a 32 on something. Really? Patty and a Sweet Peer. What are they bidding on now? I don't know. They may be bidding on those uh, two bracelets. I don't know. Well, okay. So yeah, we already sold them. I'm sorry, Patty. Um, if she's interested in either one, Either one or the other, she can let me know and I can sell it to her for 30. All mm -hmm. right. Patty. She let her know, she Patty, if you one. want the cuff, she'll sell it to she you. She wants the turquoise one, Gianna. Okay. So right. sorry. I thought I'd throw it out there before we got behind. No, sweetie, that's not necessary, sweet, sweetheart, really. I'm so humble that I can't stand myself. <laughs> That little dog mm -hmm. to eat. He's starving. Alrighty, so size six, and it is a natural emerald, ruby, and sapphire there. Oh, I just saw the, those stones. Those are cute. Oh, and the little right glory. Nice. Nope. Hold on, I gotta let the puppy out of the room. Oh, he heard me talking to him. Robert, Let's see if I can put up the scrolling banner for myself to make it so it doesn't take up. There you go. There is my there email go. information if you're new to the channel and you need to register. Yeah. So it looks like the stream is moving kind of slow, so I guess we need to slow down a little bit. All right, starting bid is 20 for these two pieces. Size six, sterling silver ring. Not tonight, Kathy. With tomorrow. natural gemstones. There's your mark. I'm just and then this is Vermeil. And this is well worth it. This is a beautiful piece of Malafiori. And you know how much that stuff costs. The Malafiori, very pricey. And this is a lot, guys, both pieces. This is not a choice of. This is two pieces for the starting bit of 20. Two for 20. Yeah, let me show you how this ring looks on. It's a pinky ring for me. But, and you could That's stretch nice. this a bit, too, if need be. It's got a big enough band. You could stretch it. What kind of green stone is it, you know? It's an emerald, a ruby, and a sapphire. That's it's what I natural. Do. They're natural stones, too. Yeah. Mariella, I think is in. Oh like I said, though, this pendant is Malafiori, but the chain is not. The chain is a Sarah Coventry chain. Now, I can put a sterling silver chain on it if you prefer that, but I did not have any um, Malafiori chains. Uh, Beth's in at 21, and uh, Olga needs to go 22. 
She just barely came in ahead of you, Olga. That Millefiori is beautiful. I love watching them make it. I'm always like odd every time I see them make make the Millefiori. Looking for 22. And look how consistent they are with it. It's craziness. It's two pieces, $11 a piece. Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby. And we have 22. Sweet Pea needs to come back at 23. And what size was the ring again? Six and a half or something? Yes, and the proceeds from this sale are going to go to Porch Church. Lady Chickapoo, you need to reboot. Okay. We're at 22. Yes, yeah, size six, Lady Chickapoo. It's a six. It's a nice thick band. You could bring it up a half a size if you wanted to. Cute as ever. Sweet Pete, 24. I'm wearing your earrings tonight, G. I just love these things. I'm going to have to show them off here in a minute. Oh, my God. They are so gorgeous. Olga is out. The green ones? Yes, the green ones that she gifted me. They are mm -hmm. spectacular. They are pretty good. We may want to wait for Lady Chickapoo. She may be rebooting. I don't know. She'd come in at six. I think she was saying what size it was, oh. rather. Beware of those numbers. Hi, right, Lydia. I love that. You can start counting it down. Hey, Lydia. Lydia's going to be on Stills and Dills next Saturday, guys. So go and check out Lydia's channel so you can get an idea of um, her craftsmanship. Yeah, she has a great yeah, channel. Lydia. I'll put a link to Lydia's and Gianna's channels in the um, description box after the video post. Me and Robert and Roberta are in there already, and I'll add theirs to it. And Vicky, I haven't seen Vicky tonight. I tried to call her today. I think she's uh, having some flare up right now. She said it had been rough the last couple of days. Yeah, she's, uh, I think the weather is really affecting her rheumatoid right now. For uh, those of you who don't know, she's got very severe rheumatoid arthritis. Got she's got juvenile type, which is, uh, can be very debilitating for sure. I kind of deal with that. I try to ignore it, but it can really knock you down. It's really prayer, hard prayer, to prayer. for it. I have it too. So. <laughs> oh, how sweet, Kathy. I love the Milan stuff. Isn't the Milan stuff just beautiful? Um, where are we at? Are we at going twice yet? I know we did go in one time. Sweet Pea is at 24. And, uh, she's trying to make a deal. Okay. Somebody out there. Yeah, she meant the size. I knew you meant the size, lady. Yeah, Elizabeth. I got you covered, lady. I like chickaboo. All right, let's go twice. Oh, I'm sorry, I can do that now. I'm back. Are you back? Well, Fair I'm warning. Back. Well, your screen looks okay. completely clear right now at the bottom. It's oh, that looks great clear. there. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try something different. Send me that camera. Okay, go ahead. You know, I was going to sell them. Sold. All right. It is sold. All righty. Sold to Sweet Pea for 24. All righty. Bag these and. Sweet Pea might be willing to part with that ring. Olga. 
I know, Denise. I'm expecting a big storm tonight. It's either going to go north or south or both. Don't let it scare those birdies. That I'm kidding. Hot and muggy today and clouds. Sweet pea only wants the pendant. Okay. But not the ring. So there you go. All right, I'll tell you what, we'll do a giveaway on that ring then later. We do need to do a giveaway, dear. Huh? We do need to give uh, do a giveaway. Yes, we'll do one here shortly. Okay, so let's do some earrings. Um, I'm going to do a choice of on the earrings. Pain in general. I don't know, Sharon. Uh, there's a major storm front to the south, and there one to the north. Kansas City may miss it, or it'll come down on top of us. I don't know. I think you're in Overland Park, aren't you? Hold on. Sorry about the noise, guys. It's all right. I got a squeaky chair, but it's more comfortable than my wood chair. Mm. Just trying to find the back for this one. I know it was in there. Oh, okay. I found it. So what do you think? All right. So I have two pairs here. This is going to be choice of. And let's see. Okay. We're going to start these at $18 choice of. Both were just run. Sorry. Okay, starting bid eighteen. Did you say I'm sorry? Yeah, eighteen choice of, and they are both onyx and sterling. These have that M L uh, M E X. So these are Mexico sterling, and these I can't remember. I think these just have a nine two five mark. They're both gorgeous. So. Yeah, are you okay? Actually, these right there. No, these may not be marked. I don't know what that stamp is. These are tested. They are sterling, but I don't think there's a mark on them. They look kind of like sort of uh, Greek keys or Aztec kind of. I don't know, but they're gorgeous. So this is choice of and they are about the same size. We've got three quarters of an inch on the square, and this one's just under three quarters. So the, these are a tad bit smaller, but they're just gorgeous. The craftsmanship in both of them is amazing. Check the weather, Sharon. Yeah. Don't worry. I think it's next Tuesday it's going to come through. $18 for choice, y'all. These got some good Buddy weight. Them. These are Mexico sterling, so always great craftsmanship. Beautiful, yeah. though. Both these are really gorgeous in person. Of course, I don't have them all polished up. Awesome yeah, the camera's picking them up good. I know, no ink yet, right, Vanessa? <laughs> You're not having the battle with the ink weight, huh? <laughs> no, I've been using a regular ink pen instead of, I can't find my roll of um, masking tape, so I've been using scotch tape and an ink pen. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting that dang camera. It's on nice here. It's like three dimensional. I you can see the Greek key ones. Aren't they scores? I think you do. Yeah, you have a pair of these too, don't you? Mm -hmm. I was trying to find them, but I didn't want to make all that noise. Yeah, a lot of these storms are popping right over. Look how deep set those are on the Onyx. Jana, did you get your package? Yes, I did. Good. 
Any interest in the earrings? Yes. Choice of starting bid is eighteen dollars. Looking for eighteen. Do you direct? Are you still in the chat? If you are, can you put in your link for me? Somehow, I they unsubbed me to to you for some reason, and I was trying to find your channel the other day, and I could not find it for some reason. So if you're in, if you would put in a link, that would be great. Any interest at 18? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Check your emails, everybody. Okay, let's try these. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are um, two-toned kind of silver on the back. Kind of Christmassy. Vermeil on the front and the yep. clusters here. Oh, and right out on the county. And I am going to, as you can see, I cleaned one stone the other night and didn't clean the other one. But you can see the difference after it's been cleaned. Beautiful. I believe these to be natural rubies, but I'm going to test them here in a second when we get that. Sweet Pea, what are you bidding on? I think the last lot. The earrings? Okay. You haven't started this. All right, let me put those aside, and I'll let you guys work on these, and I'm going to test these. I want to see if these are natural garnets or not, or if they're garnets on the redstone there. Pretty sure the other ones are rubies, maybe enhanced rubies, but they are rubies. But I want to check the other ones. But go ahead and work that for me, Robert, while I test these real quick. Where is my email, Robert? I don't know, Judy. Are you? I just checked my email just now. No. They're pretty sure. All right. We've got Sweepy in at 18 on choice earrings. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, let me go check, Judy. It's the little muddy farm at gmail.com. Oh, how do I search? Hold on, sweet pea willow. She's going to check the stone in that other earring and then we'll find out for you. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah. And the other earrings up. I don't know. I didn't see one there, Judy. She the wants the size are. on them. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to check your email from a jewelry nurse. She sent you an email. Oh, yes. I did send an email for the giveaway. Yeah, it'll be a giveaway. <laughs> one of the giveaways. One of them. We can't say when or how. Thing warm up here, guys. So we got uh this is either or, right? Yes, either or. And they're yes. strong silver. I've seen them before when she did a preview. These are very, very nice. Yes, they are. I can turn that thing on the because I like to see one. Judy, are you registered with Cindy? Which Judy? Yeah, it's uh, if he does it pretty good, you wouldn't even know it. You weren't paying attention. Sometimes she even fools me, and I know the answer. <laughs> He's talking to Judy mentally, Cindy. Yeah, she's registered. She's my girl. Onyx pendants to go with onyx earrings. No earrings. Does that mean you need earrings, sweet pea? Yep, she's wanting a pair of those earrings. Yep. Good price, too. $18. I hear that, Sam. Yeah, the 
the uh, little nuts. So the stones are too small for me to hit it, but those look, those are testing positive, but the red ones are not. I wondered what that noise was. Yeah, pink ones are rubies. I thought my phone was ringing. But the big red ones in the center are glass. That's why I wanted to check to make sure. Okay, so we'll they get sure those nice. in a second. So did we sell these yet? Uh, I think to Sweet Pea. Nobody's bidding against us. Um, you didn't get an email? Okay, Judy, hold on. I'll resend it to you here in a second. Before I do it, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay, where are we, we at? Go once to Sweet Pea. Go on once. Go on once to Sweet Pea for $18 for choice. We're going to go twice. I like them both, but I like the circles the best. We're going to do these a fair warning. Substantial earrings. These are very nice. I don't know what the size is. Oh, I'm sorry. It's repeat. So, um, Cindy, will you measure those, please? What size so squares what size they are? These were just under three quarters of an inch. Well, actually, they're right at three quarters of an inch on these. And these are about the same size. Yeah, these are right at three quarters of an inch. And they're both very, very nice earrings. You can see they're thick. They're not, they're not going to bend in half on you. These are very nice Mexico sterling. Yes, she does, Judy. No, you'll get your email. All right, we're about to call this soul ladies and gentlemen. Okay, she said that's fine, so I'm going to hit sold to sweet pea for choice for 18. Okay, you're going to be sweet pea. You want sweet pea? Stop it right now. Hold on, a cup of water. Again. Okay, while well, she's deciding, I'll bring these back out. Okay, these are awesomeness. Just totally awesome. So the pink stones do test for ruby, but the red ones in the middle um, did not. They're glass. They just came up glass. But these are all rubies. And these are, um, oh gosh, um, white um oh my god sapphires yes white sapphires. yeah white oh. sapphires and then rubies and then glass but these are just gorgeous and they are they are very substantial earrings so we're going to start these at 20. she wants the eyeballs <laughs> the eyeballs okay Did you get that <laughs> Eyeballs it is. Eyeballs it is. Congratulations, Sweet Pea. Thank you, Sweet Pea. Oh, this puppy is so bad, he's going to get it. And I will give you a wait on these if you need. But these are just so oh, nice. This is in Lots of rubies on those, too. Just beautiful. I'm, start, I'm sorry. I didn't put the starting bit in. Oh, no. What is wrong with me tonight? Well, don't worry about it. We're already at 22. <laughs> I don't know. It does have a maker's stamp there, and it looks a lot like the um, Premier Designs. But it has, it looks like maybe a backwards S in the middle. It's really hard to see it completely. But it's very, oh, yeah, it's an S. It's very similar to that yeah. premier designs, but it's an S instead of the PD. Trace is back in at 26. And one of these is, I'm so up. Mona Lisa is back at 28. I'm so in love with this laptop watching the picture that I'm not watching my phone where the cat is. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Kathy's in at 30. Plus feeding my dog in between. <laughs> Hi, jewelry, etc. 
first back in at 32. Gave you a measurement on these yet? These are definitely for a formal night out. Of course, I would wear them with my blue jeans, but these would be so nice on a formal night out. On oh, Lisa's back in the thirty-four, I'd wear my joggers. <laughs> Kathy's out. Thank you, Kathy. And I am so shedding tonight. I got to stop washing my hair just before an auction because I shed <laughs> when I do. That, that was pretty, Lydia. How are you, honey? I'm back. My crazy blood Did pressure. Did you really, right. um, Lydia? No. no. It would be a pretty match, huh? First, back in at 36. Weird and off tonight. Okay, I'm going to make a clicking sound and I apologize. I'm trying to get more light here. There we go. Yeah, Sharon. One voice is back in at 38. Yes, Sharon, that's just kind of what they remind me of, like Indian wedding jewelry, sort of. Always very fancy and over the top, kind of. He's, he's around too many women, sweet pig. Yeah, we're teaching him bad habits, aren't we? Oh, crazy blood pressure. <laughs> keep it down. <laughs> no fun getting old. It all depends on who you're getting old with. Hey, yeah, Teresa, are right how now. are you? So what where are we? We are over 100. 38 to Mona Lisa. We are at 40 to Teresa. Looking for 41. Outside of that, I'm pretty healthy. It's just... Yeah, I don't see the four. Oh, there it is. Teresa just came in at 40. That's how bad I'm lagging. <laughs> I feel 40. Teresa. <laughs> I don't have any chat on my um, screen. It says I have to log in, so I'm scared to do anything on the laptop. I know, huh? Sweet pea? Yes, there's Sterling and Vermeer, Pat. I mean, Mona Lisa, sorry. <laughs> now you're giving everybody new names. <laughs> yes, they are Mona Lisa. The earrings are Sterling. They I'm are so Sterling emotional. Silver. And emotional. the front is Vermeer. And then the back is got very pretty fancy back. The back is just regular silver and then the front is for me. I don't know what sweet people are talking about, but I like waves. Really surprised that that one in the middle tested for glass because look at that. It looks like a kind of a cloudy red booby, doesn't it? Yeah, it'd fool anybody. Yeah. Here are your testers working. There you go. Well, That's a, I just I don't have it sitting level. I didn't let it warm up very long, but it, this these did test positive, so I'm sure it probably is glass. But they really look like uh, they nailed that color on them for sure. Yeah. Melissa's back then at 42. You may be giving away your retirement right now. Those are real. Go find some more of these pretty things. Yeah, I've yes, had this brand before, and I need to look it up, but I have had this brand of sterling before. Beautiful pieces, always. I wouldn't think they'd put glass in a nice piece like that. Yeah, I was surprised that it tested for glass, especially after the rest of them Thank were really sapphires. 
I guess Therese is out. All right, start counting her down. I'll type. All right, going once to Mona Lisa for forty-two dollars. Such a deal, very pretty. They go with your nails, Cindy. I think that's a. Those are keepers. <coughs> mm -hmm. She I think she gets dressed up and goes places. I'm gonna go twice. Oh, Come on, Elise, yeah, for 42. Yes. The green ring you gave me, it is a garnet. It's a green garnet. I just read about those this week. Yeah, the Severite uh, garnet, I think it's called, but it did turn out to be garnet. Yep, they come in more oh, colors green. than just a red and dark brown. and. That's what they kind of look like. Um, I'm going to do a pair And we are going to call this sold to yeah I can't, least for I glass on that red all righty thank you thank you thank you let's see it's rose turn what you got there looks like amber today oh, looks like let's amber. See how we can do this this is thank Amber and Garnet. We're going to start. Congratulations and thank you for your bids. Oh, thank you, Mona. Now, why isn't that? <laughs> I don't know. It worked. Let me try something. I think you showed those on Thursday. I swear to mm -hmm. you, at the bottom of the screen, they are in perfect focus. I don't know why they're not on the top. I don't get I, I promise you, I've tested. This is Garnet. So we got Garnet they and Amber. They show they are nice and healthy. I know what they look like. This They're is very, gorgeous. They are. Makes me want to put a hole in my ear. Calm down, Robert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so where are we starting these? We're going to start these at 30. All right. Beautiful earrings. Wow, those are substantial too. They are beautiful. So, is it the um, like the raspberry garnet, the rhodolite garnet? Let me see if I can. It's like a clear. Right? I don't think I can get it to show. Oh, my heart is broken. I'm just leaving just like that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of when you move it close to the camera and then back off a little bit and freeze. Showing the amber really good. Yeah, they. Mm. Oh, and boy, did it, uh, the black light does wonders on this amber. You should see it. All righty, guys. Beautiful pair of earrings. I don't know, Vanessa. I just drink a lot of water. About all I can yeah, drink. Garnet right. and amber here. It's okay. We'll move on. I'll give it a second here. No, just give it a second. Get in a hurry, girl. Yeah. Go ahead. Maybe some of the pressure will release. No, I think they were talking about my blood pressure is a little high right now. Did you eat a lot of salt for dinner? No, but I did have some corn chips with my chili. Uh, okay. Oh, there you go. There's some sodium right there. And yeah. if you ate pork in your chili, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Any interest at all in these gorgeous amber and garnet earrings? These are really nice. Yeah, they look very substantial. What are the marks on the back? We've got Kathy in at 30. What are the marks on the back of these? 925, honey. Oh, he wants to pierce one ear. <laughs> ah, too funny. I want to be a pirate when I grow up. <laughs> Great. 
It's right in the middle. It's 925. Wow, you are really scoring on some nice pieces today, Kathy. We got Kathy in at 30, looking for 31. Yeah, that's a good price. That's a lot of silver there. <clears throat> Kathy did beautiful. You're good, Sweet Pea. You are behaving, so you're doing a good job. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. We got Kathy at 30, looking for 31. Guys, these are well worth it. Yeah, it looks like the um, Baltic amber, the color of it, that golden amber color. And it ages nicely. <laughs> yes, Kathy at 30. Did I say sweet pea? I'm sorry if I did. I meant Kathy at 30. Yeah, Kathy at 30. There goes my doll. You're going to get a beat. Did you switch back over to your phone? No, because it shows choppy when I'm... Let me sit that there and go beat my dog. You know what? They are, they are starting to focus. You might need a, just a little more light because when your hands aren't in the picture, they're focusing a little bit better. Okay, we're going two times. To Kathy. To Kathy at 30. And get uh, your mandrel and all that stuff. See if you can move that out of the picture. Because your mandrel's in good focus. <laughs> oh, so. We are running at 30 to Kathy. You still got a chance to get your bids in, guys. Wow, look at the color on that amber. Gorgeous color. We got Sweet Pea in at 31, looking for 32. We got Kathy back at 34. It's about a 20 second lag here, folks. Oh my God, is it that bad tonight? Wow. Look at my end. But I'm at, I'm on my Wi-Fi and I'm in the other room, so. All right, we are at 34 to Kathy. We are looking for 35. Let's go. Hi, Brenda, how are you? Oh, you're welcome. We've got Sweet Pea back at 37, looking for 38. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Look how well that's focusing now. It's trying. It's looking great over here. I don't know what it looks like over there. Yeah, it's still pixelating. A little bit. The camera's still trying to focus on it. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to freeze. Yeah. Coming in so clear here. Yeah, it is at the bottom of the screen, but we've got Kathy in at 39. Sweet peas out. Okay, so we're going one time at 39 to Kathy. <clears throat> yeah, you're getting it faster than I am, actually, Robert. Going two times at 39 to Kathy. The out for Sweet Pea came in on my end a couple of seconds after you said it. So yours is actually moving a little faster than mine right now. Okay. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah. Fair warning. And let's call these sold to Miss Cat Miss Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Those Kathy, are gorgeous. I'm going to refresh real quick if you guys. Give me a second. Yeah, you like those. Very pretty. Let me put them away and get something else. There's Robert. I don't think you weren't picking your nose, Robert. <laughs> yes, thank you for that, Robert. <laughs> what I do? 
Nothing. That's what you did to me. Because you did nothing. <laughs> you didn't get caught well, picking your nose and here. scratching your parts. I looked away for a second. This is a size six and a half. Oh, let's see if I can get this to focus. It's a six and a half, not marked, but it acid tested. It is mother of pearl. It looks native to me. What do you think, G, if I can get focus? Wow, that's a lot like that turquoise ring I have, only it's um, the setting is very similar. It could be. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Where you I say that on? because of the mark side here. All right, now let me put it back on here and get it focused. I'm trying to let you see the front and the side. Get my nails out of the way. Looks like a nice setting. It is a nice setting. There we go. I'm going to start this at 30. Wow, gorgeous piece. I am so frustrated. Did you say what size? It is a six and a half. A little small for me. You could wear it on your pinky toe. <laughs> I have to wear sandals. I like my moccasins. I just got a new pair. Of no socks. Yesterday. Don't wear Why you don't wear socks with your sandals. Oh my God! When me and my husband first got together, he wore socks with his sneakers and sandals and stuff with shorts. He could drive me crazy. Oh, it took me a couple of years to get the socks in there. My husband still does it. <laughs> I think this. We got Vern in at thirty, looking for thirty-one. And me, boohoo. <laughs> But he doesn't believe me. On gorgeous ring. I know. I'm trying to. Well, why don't you I just come back on the phone so you're not so frustrated? We'll get your we'll get your laptop straightened out, especially now that Gianna earned you a camera. I cannot believe you did that, G. I, I'm I'm still beyond. I know. Like I'm what? Who does that kind of stuff besides G? <laughs> well, this camera came from. Um, it does. Mike. I think. Mike, Mike. Yeah, Mike um, bought the camera she has he for her. It. He blessed me with it, it almost a year ago, and I just started Locked using up. it. Yes, it came from Amazon. Uh, he's just such a wonderful guy. I wish my husband yeah. would wear socks to bed, Berna. <laughs> or clip his toenails one. <laughs> Ellen Man. They may be watching. <laughs> He's one of those and you guys and you women know what I mean. It has to have a hand or a toe or something has to be touching you throughout the night. Whether it's like one hand or one foot or some part of you has to be touching you. It's My like, husband is so wrapped around 50 million pillows. He has to have a body pillow and then pull up the pillows under his head. And, uh, We're going once at 30 to Verna. I remember it used to roll over and somebody would hit me in the face. Oh. I think it was an accident. It's like when you have a king size bed, get over there, you know? <laughs> I wear socks we have in the time and I take them off after. So see, ladies know what I mean. Well, that his uh, CPAP ended the snoring, sweet pea, so that's not an issue anymore. But yeah, he radiates so much body heat. It's like, get over there. Go on oh, two I know what you mean with that. Oh my God. <laughs> so you know what I mean. Yeah, your husband's a big man, so I can understand. He probably radiates a lot of body heat, too. And my wife, my wife weighed 300 pounds, and my canine was 80 pounds. 
I didn't even turn the heat on in the wintertime. Fair warning, your husband's like what, close to six foot two? Or? You talking to me? Yeah, great. He's like, three. Yeah, he's he's a really tall man, so I bet he does generate some heat. Fair warning, guys, we are at $30 on this. Looking for 31. You still got time to get your bid in there. This is a spectacular piece. Did you give him a measurement on the on the ring? Or stick it on your finger or something so they can get an idea of the size of it. Yeah, we're a fair warning, everybody. Jump in on this one. One of those nice, big, beautiful statement pieces. Yeah. <laughs> too much flash. It's too it tiny for my thing. big fingers. It does have the triple band on it, too, doesn't it? Am I seeing a triple band? Oh, yeah. You it goes down into one that. It does have a yeah, you can stretch that one. Yeah, you could probably stretch that a full size, guys, up to your husband's a radiator. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, you could probably get that up to a seven. So, all right, I'm about to call it. All righty, let's call this one sold at 30 to nice Verna. Congrats, Verna. Yep. All right, G, you got anything? Yeah, I do. Just. Give me a second here. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. I'm going to play with this for a minute. All right. Oh, Is I it safe to click over to you, G? Yeah, you don't have nothing going on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't know what's All righty. Oh. I got some bear earrings right, here. I'm put this on you. That brand. Bears. Woo, I put them up there too far. Oh, nice. They are called bears. These are um, bronze and turquoise. And this is African opal and bronze. Um, they'll go together. I am starting them out at 10. All righty. Oops, I didn't do that. I swear I didn't. <laughs> okay, beautiful earrings, guys. Starting bid is $10, and we are talking, looks like brand new earrings here, and this is a good brand. I know this brand. Yes, um, and they actually, this pair here was $39.99. And you're getting five dollars a piece. And this pair was forty nine ninety nine. Wow. So nice. I think this is one of the department store brands, isn't it? Like um Dillard's or one of those. Yeah. One of those upper echelon. <laughs> I think the Dillard's um, here went out of business. Sweet Pea wants to know what the drop is. Okay, where did I put that pink thing at? On both of them. Go from here to here. So that one's about two and a quarter. And the turquoise and bronze. And then the African opal with the bronze is exactly at two. Oh, there's some good good style earrings. Yes, they are. Ooh, let me get it up there. Can't have them hiding. All right. Yeah, I excuse just, me, just for a minute. Well, you're doing this. All right, where do I go to turn my laptop camera on? I'm sorry, down uh, the camera mic. Yeah. Um when you go down to camera mic, you'll see the drop box there underneath the picture okay. it'll say camera then you'll see a drop box click on the drop box and it should have okay. a list of all the cameras you have right there what does it say pro webcam true vision hd camera uh, uh pro webcam um, try the <laughs> True Vision HD camera and see what you get there. Click on that one. And then X out. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. And now you can just readjust your camera looking down however you want your camera to point. 
All righty, guys. Hi, Pat. How are you, my darling? Hi, Pat. Okay, we are at 10 to Sweet Pea looking for 11. These are brand new earrings. You said Mother of Pearl on those? No, no this is not Mother of Pearl. It is African Opal. African Opal. Very nice. Oops, I did not do that. I swear I didn't. <laughs> Ta -da! And the other one is turquoise. So you got turquoise, guys. Natural gemstone here. Brand new earrings. We are looking for $11. We are going one time. We're talking $5 a pair, guys. $5. Brand new. The ones on the left sold for $50. The ones on the right sold for $40 new. You're getting a forty and a fifty dollar. You're getting ninety dollars worth of earrings here for ten dollars. We are going one time. Oop, I already did go in one time, didn't I? Yeah, you already did. Nope. <laughs> we'll go one time again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't miss out on this. This is a great bargain. This is not a cheap brand. Okay, let's go. Fair warning. You still got time to get your bid in there. Looking for 11 still. Alrighty, let's call these sold to Sweet Pea for $10. Thank you, Sweet Pea. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep getting these. Oh, let me get rid of mine. I just realized I was <clears throat> Okay, to everybody. Them. How about I lighten everything up and give away a pair of sterling silver earrings here? Oh, it sounds good. Time for giveaways. Yes, get your your number thing ready. All right. You want to do the random picker? All right. Yippers, please. I'm going to give away two on the same set of numbers. I'm going to go ahead and give this little ring away. Okay. All righty, guys, I'm going to type in start. You do not have to have made a purchase. Um, when I type in start, you start putting in your numbers. We've got about 30 in, so numbers between 1 and 50. So go ahead and put your numbers in, and if you see someone else with your same number, we'll take the first person with that number. So please change Sweet Pea Lady Chickapoo has 14, and Carla Vanessa has 28. So go ahead and get them in there. You do not have to have made a purchase to um, play, guys. This is how we show our love to you all. And I guess I have to say, not associated with YouTube. That's right. This is not a YouTube giveaway. <laughs> Although at times we feel like just giving YouTube away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Lagging us, making us work with bots now. and <laughs> All the fun stuff. All right, guys, let's see. Check and make sure nobody else has your number. We need to see a couple of more numbers in. We got 33 people in. We need to see more numbers. Hi, Deborah. Put your number in. We're doing a giveaway, Deborah. 
Oh, I see you did. Okay, scan real quick. Um, Cinnamon, Bill, uh, Diane already has the number 10. And let's see. I'll give you a chance to change it before we call it. Ah, uh, Roberta's camera was looking good, but she left anyway. She must be going in on her phone. I know she's almost in tears. <laughs> Poor thing. And you did make her cry, G. <laughs> I did. So, I kind of uh, it was a good cry, though. But, you know, I've been there. I it know was how a good cry. It is. Yeah, I know. It's been tough. Um, she's really been wanting that uh, document camera, but then her van broke down, her husband retired, and um, something else happened all at the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> it was put on the back burner. So thank you. That will allow her to get it sooner. All righty, guys. I'm going to put in stop. Right now, you're playing for the sterling silver earrings on the screen. Let me come over here. Okay, I have between 1 and 50. So, G, you tell me when to stop. This is one of those you can stop whenever you want to stop it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it rolling. Let it roll. Come on. There we go. You tell me when to hit the stop button. Okay, stop. Okay, the number 38. We've got Teresa at 42. We've got Shirley Ann at 44. Um, Froggy's at 35. I thought I saw a. Let's see. We got 35. Um, we do have a 38. Oh. Beth Collins. Beth Collins. Congrats, Beth. Yep. Very nice. All righty. So. Right on. Beth. This is my giveaway, and I do have, I still have the um, email giveaway, but I need to send that email to a couple of people, but we'll get to that one here shortly. This That's is my right. giveaway. This was the ring that Sweet Pea said to go ahead and keep, so we're going to do a giveaway with it. Size six, if I remember right. Nice, sweet little ring. So we are going to do the same set of numbers. So let me go ahead and hit the start button. Alrighty, we are going to hit stop. 42. Oh, Teresa Richardson has 42. <laughs> All right, Teresa, you win. Yay, congrats, winners. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and I know Roberta will want to do a giveaway when she makes it back in. Let's let Gianna finish hers. Go ahead, G. Okay. Um Let's do another choice with the rings. Oh, you're nice. Yeah. Ooh, get them in there. Center them out. Oh, crazy pretty. Okay, you've got Mother of Pearl here. She's at a six and a quarter. She is marked 925 right down here. Oops, right down in there. Kind of hard to do this sometimes when you're showing the where the markings are in the rings. We've got a nice eight and a half lapis here. This is Mexico sterling, and we've got an amethyst, beautiful amethyst cluster, just marked nine two five, which is an eight and a quarter. We're starting these out at twenty five. Okay, twenty five choice of. Roberta wants in. All righty. Um, she's not on the screen. Tell her she might have put in that old. Um, hold on. I think she might have went into the wrong link. Oh, she wants me to resend it. Okay. All righty. Go ahead, okay, yeah. Robert, call the bidding on this one. I'm going to go and um, give give her the link again and i am going to send that email to a couple of people we have a choice of three rings 25 dollars starting um i was snoozing but i think one is a mother of pearl one's a lapis and 
Taylor's amethyst. Let me put it the proper way. Um, this is Mother of Pearl. My grandmother used to call this a thumbnail or, you know, the fingernail. She, she used to call them that. And um, I love how, you know, the old natives had certain ways of calling their shells. But that is Mother of Pearl. We've got lapis and amethyst. I see that. Got an eight and a quarter, an eight and a half, and a six and a quarter. Your choice, twenty-five dollars. Do I hear twenty-five? Looking, 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 looking for twenty-five. I'm going to see twenty-five. Only twenty-five dollars. Looking for 25. I know these rings are worth more than that. They are lovely. We still have people here, don't we? I think we do. We do. I'll be right back with you. Judy, why can I not find your email? Looking for 25. Um, Judy, I'm trying to send you that, but for some reason I cannot find your email when I did a search. Um, if you want to type your email in for me so I can send that to you and anybody else who needs that, um, let me know. Well, I'm looking here. It was Judy. Oh. Uh, hi, Ro. Hi, Ro. Hi. Okay, oh. where are we at here? So we are looking for 25, guys. It's choice of. These rings are gorgeous. Look at that amethyst. That's stunning. I love the amethyst. Oops, that's choice of, guys. I just realized I left the H out. Thank you, Judy. Oh. And that beautiful lapis ring. And the thumbnail. Six oh, and yeah. I wish my toenail still looked that good. Oh, wow. That's got a really nice, pretty piece of yeah, metal that's metal a in there. Nice Look color. How thick that is. When you move it around, you can really see that color. Yeah, very substantial ring. That is a scale for 25. Awesomeness. And so it's a lot. I mean, that's really nice. Nice stone. Little girl. There we go. So you can see the model with. Beautiful. You know how she is. <laughs> there it is. Right. Don't mind the cat scratch. <laughs> okay, where did it go? And there's the marking down in there. Let's see if we can get it to show. Stamp in it. The stamp. Oh, almost hit the wrong button. Okay, Judy, I just sent it, and now that I have your email in there, you should get it every time I send one. It is Tosco. You should automatically get it. Hey, Sosie, how are you? She wants to see the lapis, too. Sosie does. And there's the, I think the first one is a six and a quarter, maybe. The first one, the this one here is an eight and a quarter. Right, Vanessa was asking about the first one. Oh, the first one is six and a quarter. We got twenty-five. Stall always the secret. Each stone has its opening in the back so they can breathe. Yep. And the marking for this one is 925, right down in there. Can you see it? That's a really nice ring. So we have Sosie in at 25, looking for 26. <laughs> All three of those are just 
beautiful rooms. I really like the style on the amethyst one. Those are my favorite style. I've got a couple that style that I just love. Thank you, Pat. We've got Berna in at 26, looking for 27. I do have Sweet Pea. I have a matching set of earrings, ring, and um, pendant that all have all of the very similar to that one. That all have the same stones in it. And I found all three of them in different places. One of them my husband actually bought back from Europe, the ring. <laughs> Okay, we are at 26 to Verna, looking for 27. Okay, if I do not have your information, I'm putting my email out there in the chat. We are at 27 to Sosie. I think everybody that's in so far I have, so, um, and I think the new people have registered, so I think we're good. I can forward you anything you need. If we need somebody, I'll let them know to, to send it. We are at 28 to Kathy. All right, we have a good old-fashioned bidding war going on between Sosi and Kathy. I love it when they go at it. We got Berna in at 29, looking for 30. Y'all might be hearing my air conditioner. Or the grandbaby, one of the two. We got Kathy in at 30. I think the only thing I hear are plastic bags right now. Baby girl. I'm not eating. You're not eating? <laughs> uh, I am so. I need to go grab some dinner. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, You're here on my side. It has like a pink tinge to it almost. We have Kathy at 30, looking for 31. We have Sosie back at 33, looking for 34. Let me know if you didn't get that, um, Judy. Berna is out, so we are down to Kathy and Sosi. Every time I see that little ring holder on your screen, Roberta, I think of the Mexican hat dance. It looks like a sombrero to me. <laughs> I know, and I think of um, that's our that Mexican restaurant we used to go to in Texas. That's the kind of stuff we've been trying to eliminate all night, Sosie, but uh, she actually bought um, Roberta a camera tonight, so we should be able to get rid of that little, uh, almost sounds like gremlins. Thank you, Kathy is out, so we are going one time at 33 to Sosie. So it'll be a whole new ball game for G for Roberta. She will have the best of everything come next auction. Going two times. You can tell the difference, Roberta, when it's the bags and when it's uh, our little gremlin because it's just very, very. It's it's really like low when it's the gremlins. <laughs> yeah, that was Robert. <laughs> Can you hear my chair? <laughs> I need some uh, WD 40 or something. Fair warning. Or I need to sit still. <laughs> and so to Sosie. Which ring do you want, Sosie? And runner-up will also get their choice as well. And the runner-up. Hey, Deborah. Was it Berna? It's Deborah Barnes. 
Oh, runner up is um, let's see. Looks like Kathy. Oh, Kathy and then Berna. Okay, you want all of them? Thank you, you Susie. Want them all. Okay, that answers Thank that. You, Very, nice. Very nice choices. Hi, Pat. All righty. So we are. Where is it? Your turn, Roberta. No, I thought you were going to do a give. You didn't do a get giveaway yet. We did, did a giveaway. We did Aww. the giveaway, but um, we were going to let you come back and do giveaway too. I would love to do a giveaway. Everybody's been putting up with me. I feel so terrible, and I'm sorry, everybody. Don't feel bad. Um, it happens. We're getting it worked out. We're we're working on it. You're just fine. You're pixelating less now, so. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, we're not. I like Maybe your little Mexican hat. Anyway, I thought we'd do the numbers game, and I already have a number picked out under here. Okay, oh. so put in your numbers between 1 and 50. This is a bracelet. Nice. We've got 39 people in right now, so go ahead and put in your numbers, everybody. Thank you, Sophie, um, for your bids, and congrats on your win. Those are three beautiful rings. Yeah, those are nice. <laughs> I'm going to throw you these earrings out there, too. You have made there. a purchase. All 39 people oh, can play. Oh, they're cute. They're so itty-bitty. So little. I know. Aren't they adorable? Yeah. That will be the giveaway. Thank you so much, everybody. I don't usually get emotional. Whoa. Hey, Ro. Hey, Ro. Mm. Ro. You've been battling that all day, so... <laughs> We put you through the ringer Days. when Ann Bowes <laughs> <laughs> trying to get your laptop set up. So how did how did that old song used to go? Get a little help from I, your friends. I know, but I feel so. Um, <laughs> gosh, it's like, where did my brain go? I can't even figure things out. <laughs> Were we talking about that earlier today too? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, bro. I wanted right. to grab a bottle of water. So um, keep some right numbers back. coming in, folks. Thank you so much, Joe. I love y'all too. I appreciate y'all so much. Jan, I can't thank you enough, and Robert and Cindy. I just. Oh. We're all family now. I know that. Yeah, that's right. That's that's the name of the song. <laughs> well, I think it was the Beatles, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it was the Beatles. I wasn't into that at the time. But. That's kind of dark, though. And I've got so many lights on it. Maybe it's this. They were from Liverpool, weren't they, Sweet Pea? Started out in their mom's garage. Thank you, lady. Thank you, Pat. I'm not looking for sympathy. I, I'm just, I'm so beside myself over all this. It's Sandra, how are you? Hi, Sandra. I haven't seen you in a while. All right, I'm back. I hope everybody's. All right. No, all right, guys, make sure you don't I hope have everybody's been getting their number. packages. Hey, Sandra, how are you? That. I guess I should have been checking that. I didn't. I know either. All right, I promise. I'm coming back full force. I'm, I'm good. I'm good now. All right. So uh, where yes. are we? Do I see two 15s? Well, we can any numbers in there, y'all. Oh, Sweepy came back at 33. Okay. Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm going to right. and stop. Yep, go right ahead. Did everybody I'm get your number in? All right, so All stop. right. For these cute little. Showtime. Uh, Wait a minute, I don't see Sosi. Sosi, do you have a number in? <laughs> yep, everybody get your numbers in. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh. I'm not going to show my number yet. Let's see. 
Let me see, Kathy. Is that a cute little snake? I so suppose see, I should have measured this, but it wouldn't either. matter. Sosie, where are you? I just got these. I didn't even clean them yet. Cute little. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Okay, ready? Sosie, did you get in there? I think we're ready. Gee, put a number in for Sosie. I'll put a number in for Sosie. I got to scan all this. I know she's my twinner. Oh, da, 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 mm. da. <laughs> All right. Between we'll one and fifty, again. wasn't it? Wasn't yep. it one and fifty? Mm -hmm. Yep. One yep. And 50. yep. Right, you are. I don't know. I didn't see this number in there. There you go. <laughs> All right. 44. Okay. Oh, it's in there. Froggy has forty-four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the number is. Oh no! You can change it. Well, you can't change it now. <laughs> no, it's fine. 27, y'all. Let's see. Mona Lisa has 29. Carla um, Weissman. Carla Lydia Weissman. has 27. Carla has 27. Lydia. Yeah. Woo, Lydia. You go, Lydia. Lydia. I'll buy a lottery ticket tonight. I didn't see. Uh, hold on. Let me. Well, not that I have to find it. I just want to. Aw. Congratulations, uh -oh. every, well, everybody. Thank you for playing. Did you put in 50? Oh, no, you were 33, sweetie. Oh, you're 52 soon. Well, happy Here's, your, here's your gifts, Lydia. Well, Carla was closed. She was two 26. little items. Lydia was 27. Yay, thank you, everybody, for playing. Yeah. Put that number in there. Yay. <laughs> thank you, everybody. That made me happy. Love giving stuff away. I really do. Okay, whose turn is it? I don't know. Let's see. Um, G went last, so I guess that's me then. Yeah, I think it's round robin your turn. Alrighty. Yep. Cindy. All right. Um, let's see. How about. Let me take this peek out. I'm going to do an either or. Okay. And come on out of there. All right. You drop that like you know how to play jacks, girl. You are talking my language now. That's a moment, <laughs> Bruce. Talking my language. Okay, so I have two <laughs> pairs here. I haven't thought of that in years. Two pretty These pairs. QT. I've stepped on my share. Quad Turquoise Company. Q U O C Quad. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but. Quark Turquoise Company on these. So we've got turquoise and sterling silver, and these have such a pretty, pretty. I do. I love that. And there, then the Hishi. So these are gorgeous. And then I have these, love and I believe oh, this to be, style. let's see, I think only one is marked. I believe this to be a native mark, but you will probably be able to tell me. It looks like a little, um, let's see if I can get it to show up. Oh, I see this. Yeah, I can see right it. there, it's like a, I don't know if that's a thunderbird, some kind of a bird or something. You see that mark there, T? Uh, I see it, I but it, <laughs> it, it, I, it doesn't look like a bird. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a, I've seen this stamp before. It's hard to describe. Let me look closer here. You can only, it's only on one earring, but it does look like, it does look like a bird in on my end, but maybe it's not. Um, just looks anyway. like a another trading post mark, maybe. It's um three marks. I looked it up and I couldn't find any trading posts because that's what I first thought. But it's like a like a little thunderbird kind of. Um, 
feather. Uh, I've seen the mark before. I just, of course, didn't write it down. Oh, those feathers are spectacular. Yeah. Aren't they? Awesome feathers. So the starting bid on these, and it's going to be choice of, and the starting bid is going to be 25 and they are beautiful in person. Yeah, the way you threw those starting. down, you look like you were a <laughs> jack master. <laughs> I actually was the jack, the neighborhood jack championship. That and hula hoop. <laughs> those are a pretty the pair. Hula hoop Both master. And that's well worth the price, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, these are, this is some Very nice, pretty. nice hunks of turquoise on these. I love the teardrop in the top. These like are that. these are very feminine too. At the same time, they're not so people who don't like really long dangles. These are these are not too bad. Very pretty. And these are marked with the QT mark there. Any interest, folks? We got Teresa Richardson in at 25. I don't and know I which think I like this the might best. be Sleeping Beauty. The color looks like um, Sleeping Beauty to me. Kathy's in at 27. Love you too, Lydia. I'm so glad you won, honey. I might even polish them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet peas in at twenty eight. Teresa, you'll have to come in at one one more dollar, honey. Or a hundred. <laughs> Very pretty. We haven't seen a Benjamin tonight yet, have we? I'm trying to see if I have anything worth oh, I do have something worth one. Kathy's in at thirty. I might put it out tonight. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it, though. Teresa's in at 32. Sweet Pea's back at 33. Anybody Love interested in Ruby Zoosite tonight? Pardon me? Ruby Zoosite? Anybody interested no, in a Ruby Zoosite ring tonight? Maybe. We're I started. just have to look at that. It's a small it. size, Robert. It'll be too small for you, Brenda, but let me... Brenda's in at 34. Let me measure... It's it's a size seven. Mm. Oh, is back in at thirty-five. I'll have a pendant to match it tomorrow night. Mm. Sweet pea, you gotta go. You gotta come and up a little. And I do have Sweet some bakelite tonight. If we have any bakelite collectors, some real sweet peas in at thirty-six. I got some Bakelite from New Orleans. How do you test Bakelite? Or can you? Um, yes, you can. You can do it two ways. You can use... Um, the, Don't you use 409 or something Yeah, like you that? can use the 409 spray. You just put a little bit on the Q-tip and you rub it in an inconspicuous place and you'll get, if your Q-tip comes out yellow, it's Bakelite. Or you can use Can't the silicone out. polish and do the same thing, and it will also turn yellow if it's Bakelite. Teresa's back in at 37. Somewhere I have a Bakelite or an amber necklace. Everybody laughed at me. I've had it since my great-grandmother back in the 50s. Wow. So Sweet Pea's back in at 38. Worth something. Gals like these. Teresa's out. <laughs> But I hid it for myself. Bring yeah, well, you out, honey. You hid it in your shoebox in the closet, Robert. Yeah. That way I won't lose it. <laughs> Can't find <laughs> it. You don't lose it. <laughs> right here somewhere. It's right where you left it, Robert. It is right where you left <laughs> it. Probably. <laughs> we are going to go once here. In the middle of the night. Brenda, let me know if you're out, sweetie. Tell you what I am looking Please. for, Jay. You might be able to help me on. These are from the same company. 
they're a much bigger pair, but I'm missing one of these. I need one of these with the little onyx he she and this part. Where would I find that, G? Is it ma mahogany or a uh, quill? We're going to go twice on these earrings for choice. Not the one, not the one Cindy has in her hand. I know, Shan. I just want to see a picture of his quail. <laughs> <laughs> he finally went to sleep a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. He was crowing all day. Well, if there's no more bids on this, I'm going to do a fair warning. He's got a good set of lungs on him. I let him out for a little while today. Testing diamonds. Not diamonds. I kept slipping off and hitting the metal. <laughs> okay, Brenda, thank you, honey. Okay, then we're going to call it sold. To Alrighty. Miss Sweet Pea for 38. Which one will oh. it be, Sweet Pea? Puppy's finally sleeping. Yes, Sharon, I have a few birds. Yes. His quail. Okay. We've got a pair, but they tell all your secrets eventually. So does ex-wives. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know that? <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> it's teasing you. <laughs> I know. Okay. You didn't know her like I did. <laughs> Sweet pea, which ones do you want, honey? The right, these? Well, I don't know. Them feathers are pretty nice. She said right. Is it incorrect or left? Oh, the, the, the feathers or the other pair? Right. Okay. Who's right? I think we still have a 14 day quarantine there, sweet pea, for. Overseas Ooh, travel. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, All righty. Thank so you. Thank you, everybody. That bid. Feathers to you, Brenda. Are you? Was it Brenda? Yeah, Brenda. Are you interested in the feathers? Well, it was feathers Teresa, the I'm sorry, Teresa Richardson. Are no, you it was Teresa. Teresa, are you interested in these feathers, hon? For, oops, thirty-eight. Teresa. Oops, I just addressed two envelopes. Huh. All righty. Okay, you can let us know. Yeah, yeah, just let us know if you're interested in the feathers. I'll set them aside for now. Yeah. Okay, so. I bought the ruby Zosite. Okay, no, thank you. Okay, well, thank you. I that's bought a nice the ruby. Myself. Yeah, it's got a good polish on it. But it <sighs> is too small. It does not fit. Beautiful um, stone, though. It does have a fracture mark right there, but it's in no danger of cracking. No, it won't crack. Next yeah. Um, and I think I actually bought this from Sandy way back. Uh -huh. um, I was afraid to stretch to try to stretch it, so um, I'm just going to sell it and I'm going to start it for what I paid for it. I'm going to start it at 40, and if no one's interested, that is fine. The funny thing is, is that's that came all the way from my house. <laughs> that's so cute. It's been across the nation. Yes, Sandy bought it from me, and you bought it from oh, Sandy. Well, it's, it's been all over the United I States. Just, I, just, <laughs> I probably have had this well over a year. I've had it for a really long time. One of the first couple of rings I sold. East That's Coast, West Coast, back to the East Coast. And I just may, I just may buy it back. I've got yeah, a when I got it from Sandy, I thought it was a I little doubt. bit bigger size i was i was confused and it wasn't until i got it that i realized she said seven and i thought it was a seven and a half but it is way too tight on me hi doug brenda mcgregor would like the feathers cindy the please feathers? okay thank you brenda we'll do brenda 38. thank you miss brenda 
And I do and the starting have starting bid on this ring is that 40. Ring tomorrow night. For the Ruby Zoe side, guys. That's a good size Ruby in that. Yeah, it is. It's got a lot of red in it, too, or a lot of the pink. Look at the back. is almost all Ruby on the back. Yep. That is so pretty. You have tons of that, uh, Lydia? Do you, Lydia? Well, you should be selling that because uh, it goes really? for a really nice price for sure. Mm -hmm. Hard to find, too. I'm selling it for what I paid for it. So, and that's Just loose selling. stones? I yes, Sharon, it's a size also. 7. It's a size 7. A beautiful ring. They need a final polish, I don't know. Oh, when I'll get that done. Lydia, are they loose or are they in jewelry pieces? Mine are loose. Waiting to be turned into something. Mm -hmm. color you need to get busy, Robert. I know. Gosh, the color doesn't show up unless I put it right up to it. I know what they look like. They've got a nice when your hand there. is behind it, it showed better, Cindy. Yeah. When you hand somehow, I don't know if it's blocking the light, or, but you can see it very pretty. All right. Anybody interested in this ring for $40? Size not, we will move on. Now, you probably could stretch it. I just was nervous about stretching it. I didn't want to press my luck because of that little fracture line in the going across right. there. Probably don't want it doesn't to. go all the way across though it just into the ruby and like i said it's in no danger of uh you ought to put it under a black light sometime sometimes they shine in a black that's light that's beautiful yeah it does look better when my hand is there doesn't it mm -hmm. all right let me move on let me label these that is a nice Robert, stone. sweet peas talking to you i know <laughs> I need to do list. Well, don't ignore that woman. <laughs> I got to ignore to you. Week. Well, she didn't mean this week, Rob. Larger sizes here. Maybe this winter. We'll see. Let's see. I'm going to find my saw blades. I know I could order right. some, but I've got a whole tube of them somewhere. Doug, are okay. you still out of town? This is a choice of. And I believe this is the brown zebra jasper here. And then, of course, the snowflake obsidian. The snowflake obsidian is kind of a big ring. It would be a thumb ring for me. <laughs> it's big. This is uh, your size, Robert. Um, this is a 11 and a half on the snowflake obsidian. And the um, zebra jasper is an eight. Wow. God, don't make and jump. We are going to do choice of, and starting bid is twenty-five. Let me get these where they can see Alrighty. them. Alrighty. See, there we go. An eleven and a seven. Did you say an eleven and a eight? This Snowflake is, an eight. is an eleven. This is an eleven and a half. Oh. Wait a minute. Got this one is an eight, up. and the yes. snowflake is a eleven and a half. An eleven. Okay. Yeah, it's like a middle finger ring or a thumb ring for me. But it is a beautiful piece of snowflake obsidian, though. Look at all those. Mm -hmm. It is truly pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. And I think this one is unmarked. It is sterling. Sweet piece in at 25. This is Mexico. This is Mexico. And um, this Alrighty. one is Mexico sterling, and this one I think is the one that may be, may not speak too soon. And this one just has the 925 mark on the Jasper. It's a beautiful piece of Jasper, though. Gorgeous. Good sizes on these, too. As you can see, they're nice big statement pieces. Sure is a thumper ring. Kathy's yeah. in at 28. Let me move my... Very different. Very different. 
Uh, sorry guys, I'm trying not to mess with my camera too much, but I have it too close now. I moved it in because of the ruby bit. No, it's too close. There we go. Better. Sweet peas back at 30. Let me get rid of those. There we go. I usually wear mine pointed down like that. I don't know how y'all do it, but when it's got a point on that, I usually point it away. It's supposed to elongate the fingers, which I need all the help I can get on my short, stubby, fat fingers. They're gorgeous fingers. They're just the way God made them. Right. <laughs> Snowflake is Kathy's size. And, well, you guys are going to have to fight over it then. They're both beautiful rings. Yes, they Sharon, are. Sharon, I agree. Have we got a fight going on? Mm -hmm. Or is it a race? a race? It could be a race. Let's thinking. call it a race because we don't have fights in our in our lives. Same here. I have my grandpa's hands. My grandpa was a very big man, very tall. Believe it or not, since I am all of 5'1". My grandmother was exact. like four ten and a half, so my six foot five grandfather <laughs> took all the height with him and didn't have his hands back too. I have the exact hands I was born with. <laughs> They were a sight together, her being all of four ten and a half, and you cannot forget the half, she reminds you. Oh, and him you being betcha. him being well over six foot, they were a sight together for sure. Love till the end. Woo! Ooh, I can't right, wait to bring this out. Kathy at thirty, looking for thirty one. Kathy is okay, out. We're gonna go once. Kathy's out. This is just gorgeous. This is such a pretty stone. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. That stripe going through the middle is. Then it has those interesting little black dots in there. Very cool looking. That's mine. I have babies. <laughs> Everything is right. I love it. it that dot. <laughs> That's I'm a uh -huh. and dot. <laughs> so I like Sorry. sisters. Yes, yeah, sisters. Gonna do a fair warning. We are going to call this sold to Miss Sweet Pea for $30. Okay, Sweet Pea, which one do you want? Uh, Sharon, I think you got in just a little too late. But we'll well, offer it, it to it's you sweet pea. If, if Sweet Pea doesn't take them and Kathy doesn't. Or Kathy would be back. All right. Okay, so. Sweet Pea's going to um, take the snowflake. snowflake. Okay. Kathy, do you want um, the coffee colored ring? The uh, zebra jasper, it's brown zebra jasper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bag this one up while we wait for Kathy to let us know. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> no, Kathy, would you like the would you like the Jasper? If you don't, Kathy, that's that's okay. It's completely up to you. If you don't want it, I'll offer it to Sharon. Yeah, I think Sharon. You don't want it, Kathy. Yeah. Sure. But you get first choice. Wait on response from Kathy right Ms. now. Miss Valentine. 
We're waiting to hear from you. All right, I'm gonna, while we're waiting to hear from Kathy, I'm gonna move on to my third item here. And... Sure, I'll keep an eye out for you. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody that bid. Miss Sharon, you've got yourself a new ring. Okay, that okay. goes to Sharon. Yours. Sharon got her a ring. Congratulations. Right, yeah, nice piece. Alrighty, so let's see. We have not done a brooch yet. Let's do a brooch. What do we get? <laughs> It was for me yesterday, Kathy. I do have about a 30 or 40 second lag now, but nothing like the other day. Well, they had some internet outages from time to time in the last couple of weeks. You can always go to down detector and look up your area. Okay, this is going to be a choice of on the brooches. Dude, no. I'll be right back. They are both Marcusites, sterling silver. Um, this one is marked uh, where is it marked? I can't remember. This one's marked 925 SU. And I do need to straighten that pin out a bit and I will do that. And this one, I think, is just marked. And this one's a pendant also. And that is an amethyst. It does test for amethyst. And it is marked. I think this wow, one Kathy, is older that is one. brutal. This one, I believe, is older. It's not marked at all. It does test positive for am or amethyst and sterling, but it is not marked at all anywhere that I can find. Both are gorgeous, so we're going to start these at choice of at twenty-two dollars. I would wear them together. This one could probably use some of the those polishing gorgeous piece send stuff. on over that is so pretty as you can see all of the marcasites are there all original marcasite picture that polished up pinned to a bright red sweater oh this you know one talking would be, about i think it's pretty unpolished but this one um, like I said, is a pendant slash brooch. It does have the extended pin there. They're both beautiful. I'd wear that on a pendant. All of your marker sites are in this one, too. All original marcasites, and it's a pretty amethyst. Too. God, can you see? Oh, that must be the light. That's For a beautiful. second, I saw blue in there. Let I did say. see a little flash of blue, but it could yeah. Be. Um, My imagination. I think that's just the way the light's hitting it, because uh, fluorite does that. It changes in different light from blue to purple, but I don't think. I think it's just a reflection. You didn't test it with your new tester, Cindy. I did. Are you having fun over there? <laughs> I did. It test amethyst. <laughs> now you're sounding like the baby girls over here. <laughs> we always. You have a new toy, and you're not we playing. We always sound like the baby girls. <laughs> Sweet peas in at twenty-two. Oh. 22 looking for 23 both gorgeous brooches this one makes a very very, very pretty i have worn this one as a pendant how can you wear it and 
sell it. Because I, you've seen how many brooches I have, right? Yes, I've seen pretty much a lot. I have them. more heart than anything, so that's why I sacrificed a couple of the heart-shaped ones. But that, I just, I've never seen a brooch like, like that before. Well, brooch pendant like that. I guess I'd, you'd have to pin it. You wouldn't want to wear it as a brooch and, I mean, a pendant and have the pin show and I, you'd wear it as a pendant and pin it. We've got 22 to Sweet Pea. It is a very pretty amethyst and I swear I keep seeing that blue flash in there. I um, do too. I do too. I do too. I keep seeing a blue flash. Yeah, it might be a fluorite. But I swear it tested for amethyst, but I don't know if they would. Maybe it's the same hardness. Yeah. Now, now all I see is purple, but when you get it straight on, it really yeah, does. And that's it must kind be the of light. What the light does. Sometimes it looks purple, sometimes it looks blue. So I've got a beautiful color changing chlorite that um, Geraldine gifted me like a year ago. And I thought it was amethyst for the longest time, too. And then one day I realized it was changing really, blue. Sharon. She said, oh, no, it's a fluorite. And I went, oh, okay, that explains it. Mm. Hey, let me go do a little search. Never heard of that. Never heard of that, Sharon. All right, any other interest in these beautiful, beautiful brooches? You do remember, yeah, I think I've brought these out before, uh, choice of before. Okay, you can start counting it down. Who's going who's gonna to go kill the moles to get the mole skin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go at once. To Sweet Pea, sweet pea for $22. going to go twice. To Miss Sweet Pea for 22. Gorgeous. They are beautiful. Totally coming in. Fair warning, y'all. Getting close here. We are going to call these or this sold to Sweet Pea for $22. Which one, Sweet Pea? Sounds like my house. Okay, Sweet Pea, I'm going to go ahead and switch over. I think it is Roberta's turn now. And you, while you decide, Sweet Pea. She wants the amethyst. The amethyst, okay. Okay, we are going to do choice of, let's see. You would be I can... proud of me though, Ro. I did get all of my jewelry put into the boxes. Everything. Good girl. And there I was talking okay. to myself. Robert, Robert, Robert. All right, we've got this beautiful, let me see, let me get it to flash labradorite sterling look at that we're going to start these at 18. a lot of color for choice nice chain the chain is let me give you a measurement oh, I haven't done any 18 inches then we've got i don't know what this is moonstone or almost looks like i don't know gals what do you think? Does a flash a rainbow in it when you put it in light? No, it's just, well, it could up here, but it's got little inclusions in it. Okay, then it's down probably there. Not. It's probably a quartz of some sort. Yeah, it looks like a um, terminated quartz of some kind. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't think of the, yeah, I couldn't think of it's terminated. That's what I'm thinking. It's white. That little thing is black, but the rest of it's white. And there My you head. have it. And this chain oh, is also 18 inches. So there, oh, there you go, gals and guys. Two beautiful pendants. 
Let me know if you want me to pick them up again. I'm so, <laughs> it's like I'm done. Oh. What size I asked you earlier if you were still out of town. Pardon? What size are the chains again? 18 inches on both of them. Both of them. And your starting bid is? 18. 18. For choice. Either choice or. Aruna. Either or. Fair price. Or both. 18. Indeed. This is just gorgeous. The flash in it is really. Can you see that? Yeah. And I like the way they brought the piece of sterling down. This is marked there on the bale. And this one is marked on the back. See that? Looking for eight. <laughs> All right, sweet pea, that puts you right at your. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. This one is too. Yeah, I like those. The setting those is very colors. pretty. Mm -hmm. I love the, the way they decorated it. If there's no interest, we're getting rid of those. We're going to move on. Bigger and better things. Any interest? Anybody want to type in pass? We can reset the That's okay. We'll move on. You know the change was 18. Yep. They can get in hold of me if they want it. All right. Yep. These next two are going to start at 30. This is choice of. And you'll see why in a minute. This is pearl and opal. I got it thinking it was a. Um, can you see that? Yeah. Very pretty. Open back. Mark 925. The chain is attached to the necklace. It is. The opening is 15 inches. That's that one. And this one is beautiful. That's the opal and pearl one, right? That you told me earlier? Gorgeous. Yes. Uh -huh. this, this is five strand. It is gorgeous. Piece of jewelry. The shortest one that would be around your neck. Is 16 inches so you've got this beautiful five strand sterling or this beautiful pearl and opal Y type necklace these are gorgeous folks and well worth it beautiful pieces of jewelry yes they are there you go. All righty. $30. And you're talking opals on that one. Either or are worth it. One. Oh, you are in South Carolina. Trying to get right the flash. Now, you're really close Mom, to me. Dad. I don't know if that's flashing. I used it to live so in pretty. San Diego. I miss the weather, but I don't really miss San Diego itself. And I miss, I mix the Mexican food. My favorite thing about San Diego, the best carne asada burrito on the planet is in, is in San Diego. Okay, Mona Lisa is in at 30, looking for 31. These are beautiful, Mona. I like that they put I even like them together. <laughs> together. That's such a classic, beautiful combination. This is so pretty. Again, I was going to list them, but changed my mind. We've got Kathy in at 32, looking for 33. 
yeah, that's a giveaway on uncles. Hi, Beautiful. Deborah, you're still with us. Hello, darling. We got four opals and a pearl. <laughs> three opals and three pearls. Three opals. Aren't they lovely? They're very lovely. They are very lovely. Let's see if I can show you how it's they look together. Too bad so they didn't together. make that multiple chain one. It's gorgeous like it is, but wouldn't that be stunning if you could put a pendant on the longest length of that chain? We've got Mona in at Why 33, you? You can... Bernas back at 35. I mean, it's gorgeous as it is, but I'm picturing it with a pendant hanging on that longest length of chain. Mm -hmm. I guess these, you could these put are one twirled. on there with a it's jump like ring. They're... Mona at 36. They twirled. They're just gorgeous. I knew you ladies would love them. Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kathy back at 38. Yeah, I think I would probably do that. Get, put a pendant on that with a jump ring. That would look really cool. We have Verna at 39. Let me see if I can get them up on the... Because oh, I love so wearing pretty. multiple chains and multiple pendants, but they always get tangled. So the way that oh, one is put together, it would stop that from getting tangled. We have Mona in at 40. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, for you to see how pretty they are on this. Oh, they look good together, actually. They look good together. <laughs> they do look pretty together. I know. That's why I wanted to. Oh, thank you, Sweet Pea. She loves you. We love you too, Sweet Pea. Aw. Thanks, Sweet Pea. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes. Yeah, that you could. Share. You need to hear that. I don't know if that's showing with my lighting, but that's yeah, looking pretty good. <clears throat> that's right. You can see them better this way. Burn is at 41. Brenda just came in a second too slow. We need 42. I love you too, sweetie. It's so feminine looking. Virtual hugs, everyone. Oh, Kathy jumped in. 43. You won't know how pretty they are till you get them at the house. They're, they're just stunning. I'm not just saying that. I really, really love them. Well, I'm sure those opals are nice. Or one of my favorite stones. Mm -hmm. So feminine. No offense, Robert. <laughs> I got one someday. I'm going to mount in gold. Someday. <laughs> Brenda's out. Kathy's at 47. Verna's at 44. I sold one not long ago. Sweet pea, it was beautiful, a ring, gorgeous. I don't even I have, remember who bought it. I, I remember there was a lot of bids on it. I have a very small black opal. So small, I don't know if I could mount it or not, but I probably will try something. Put it with something else, Robert. 
Yeah, I'm still trying to picture it in my head. So, uh, Kathy's at 47. Oh, Beth, I Let's bought the most beautiful down. London blue topaz from her. I'm in love with it. Yeah, that's but, a nice color, too. Well, we're going to start calling it down for Kathy at 47. Okay, going once. Last chance, Verna. She's out, so we're going to call it twice. Put a fair warning on it. I bet I didn't see anybody else bidding. Ooh, nice, sleepy. London blue. Yeah, right? but that's pretty. You should see the London mm -hmm. blue my husband bought me when I got pregnant with my youngest son. It's about 18 carats. It's a big oval. We're going to call it, this sold, y'all. Yep. Set in 14 carat. It is gorgeous with a few diamond accents. Which one, Kath? Very pretty. Thank you so much, everybody that bid. Yeah, you, Australia Kathy. has some nice opals. Yeah, they do. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, lots of sparkle. It's cause I, I like the yellow Ethiopian ones, too, myself. They always have a lot of sparkle. Yeah, I've seen one set Kathy's in gold. Kathy's got a long there. wag, so got to take time for Kath. All right, no problem. Just move on to your next one, and I'll watch for her to type in what she wants, and then we'll offer the other one to you your up bidder. Um, Verna? Okay. I'd have to go back. I'm going to put Verna. some earrings out there. I got it. Kathy and Verna. All right, we're going to uh, put some and earrings out there. We're going to start these at fifth. These are amethyst and uh, my favorite marcasite. I don't even know why they're up here for sale. These are also. Beautiful onyx and marcasite. Both of these earrings are well worth more than fifteen dollars. So either Kathy's or the pearl and opal. Okay. Yes, Kathy. Thank you. Bid is fifteen Very on those? Pretty. Really? Fifteen? Did you yes. say fifteen? Yes. Wow. Fifteen. You all put up with a you lot from me today. A really good deal on those. For it. That's nice. Who was the backup on the, these? Uh, Necklace. Kathy, thank you so much, and thank you everyone that bid. I'm sorry. I think Verna. the backup was Verna Forbes. So, Verna, let us know if you want that Verna, multi. Are you interested? Thing. Nope, she wanted the opal, so she'll pass. What about Brenda? They came in okay. at about the same Thank time. you, honey. So, yeah, Brenda, the third Brenda, choice. Is there anybody else? You, so if you want it, Brenda, let her know. Okay. Oops. These are not heavy, heavy, but they're nice and substantial. They're marked right there. They have a 925 and an MRF. MRF. And these are marked 925 capital A. So there you have it. Oh. With my fingerprints all over them. Very beautiful <laughs> and elegant earrings. All righty. Starting bid is 15. That is a heck of a deal. I think so. Heck of a deal. Let me get my what lighting fixed again. Stone in the middle of the, the other one is. I can't see that. Yeah, they're kind of art decos. Yeah. 
amethyst. Paper. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was amethyst. a gray or a purple stone for a minute. Guys, we're talking amethyst yeah, for fifteen dollars. Okay, That's Brenda, thank you, honey. Well, you I'm kind of glad stone. nobody got this. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> work for a few days more. Yes, wear it, yep. bro. She never wears her jewelry hardly ever. I do. You'll be surprised. I do. I just, she mostly likes looking at I, it. I took all my, I took all my um, anniversary rings off and stuff. I got to put those back. I wanted to wear this. This is Barbie Crafts. Barbie made this for me. Cool. I have one. Lydia made me too. All right. So, any interest at all? Fifteen dollars. Look at those earrings, guys. Fifteen dollars. Wow. You're going to buy earrings for that. I know, right? I can't, can't find my ruler. I must have. Uh... Hmm. Anyways, these are literally. Yeah, it is. The two inches long, gals. <laughs> Haven't heard that term in a while. The bum diggity. <laughs> bum diggity. All right, we're going to pull them out. Oh, right. oh, wait a minute. Sharon's in at 15, looking for 16. Oh, cool. It works yeah, every time. The chat is just Freaked moving out. really I slow. I guess the need to be patient. I see the 15 now, so I, I have apologize. Set them right there, gals. We are in. Sweet Pea, you are an angel, honey. <laughs> we are in at 15 to Sharon looking for 16. These are substantial, both pairs. Wow, those are like stunning. I'm surprised you started those at 15. Well, if they don't sell, you can definitely list them. I told them you. For times that. Oh, yeah, you can list them for twice that. I told you why. It is a steal, Doug. So bid, Doug, bid. <laughs> <laughs> they would look really cute, Doug. <laughs> so very nice to make up hair. for my aggravating purple ones would go dry stuff Sharon you are an angel too honey you couldn't possibly be bad we are at 15 to Sharon looking for 16 we are going one time at 15 God, if I already didn't have a hundred pairs of earrings in this thing over here, I would be hitting myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at tons over here. Oh, I know you have twice what I have, and I've got plenty, trust me. All righty, we're going two times. Doug wears clip-ons, guys. <laughs> We got yep, he loves vintage. We're looking for 17. <laughs> Just ask the He loves the clip ones because he loves vintage. <laughs> yeah. He's got enough to choose from. My husband is vintage, and I really love him. <laughs> We're here at 17 to I'm Sharon. Are you ready to go after RG? We got 18 to Sweet Pea. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. We got 19 to Sharon, 20 to Sweet Pea. Twenty one to Sharon. Twenty 
we are, oh, Sweet Pea is out. So we are going one time at 21 to Sharon. I will, Lydia. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on. Oh, Lydia, I totally love this stuff. Hey, Susie Woozy, are you back? Well, obviously, duh. <laughs> <laughs> He left and came back is what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> We're going two times. And I'm the one having the bad night. I'm the one having the bad night, Cindy. And you would think I was blonde, right? Here's my Miss Lydia's. Fair warning. Look at that. Doesn't that remind Ray's you of a wedding day? How she makes the middle of them look so cool. Like mine has a big crystal that she flipped it and did like a Raboli type thing. It is so cool looking. I believe Edna has guess. a mask. Or not Edna. Miss Lydia. Edna's thinking of me. Um, I believe Lily has the matchy matchy. I love that, Lydia. Aren't they beautiful, though? Just remind me of Lydia's. wedding day. They're beautiful. Oh, yeah. That would be a really nice thing to give mm -hmm. all your bridesmaids, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Thank you, Susie. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are sold Beautiful. to Sharon at 21. Sharon, you can pick which pair you want, or you can take them both at 21 each. Okay. Okay, I lost count, Ro. Was that two or three for you? I believe that was three. Alrighty. Oh, I showed three, so don't worry. Onyx, thank Did you, honey. You Just no, move on. Move, go, go ahead, and move on. I'm, I'm, been bad enough all night. I don't remember. All right. Well, Not we'll causing trouble tonight. Shortly. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we are getting Giona going. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, brace yourself, Giona. It's nice guys. to have you here. Brace yourself. It's nice to have you here. Anyway, that's okay. my ring. Look what we are going to do. This is a silver lot. Okay, I'll say it again. Oh, okay, no. break yourselves. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our brooch in. Hmm. We've got a string oh. with CZs. We got Dane Craft Sterling Thank you, going Thank you, everybody that bid. All right, Joanne. Yay, Joanne Sterling. just won my giveaway. <laughs> um. Joanne. No. I bet in on me. I didn't catch that one. <laughs> uh, that's the idea of it. Let me show her real quick, G, and we'll be right back to you what she won. Um, it's this sterling silver braided herringbone bracelet. Me too, Lydia. Be coming your way, Joanne. Thank you. <laughs> I, I totally, totally missed that. Beautiful. I, Gianna is on a roll. I tried to sneak yeah. it in there. 80 grams of silver attention. so far. <laughs> Getting sneaky, Cindy. Getting sneaky. What kind of starting bid are you doing here, young lady? We are doing a stills and deals what is starting that, Texas? bid, people. This is Texas Longhorns earrings. Oh, cool. I saw that. Oh. A little garnet pendant going in there. I see that. Nice. Where are we starting it? We are doing a stills and deals. So one dollar? Yes. Oh my goodness. We one got dollar one. Starting bid. Wow, what it you got a hundred and four grams of sterling here. Okay, we Gorgeousness. got Roberta in at ten. Isn't it? Oh, you got three pendants there. Beautiful. A I couple have, of brooches. I have that exact do I brooch. I see a brooch. I do. Yeah, yeah. You can do something with that. Wow. I see a lot of beautifulness. Yeah. So do I. I'm going in at 20. Sorry, Ro. Would you bump your head? No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling you may bump it well. for me. <laughs> No, I'm talking hey. to Gianna. Oh, Lydia's even in on this one. Sorry, gals. You've got onyx, you've got garnets, you've got amethyst, 
um, lapis, rose All right, quartz. Lydia. Lydia really wants it. Lydia. I know, it's a little bit out of my league. Not really oh. for how much silver is there. That's a lot them. of silver. We're talking 104 my grams for to... $50? <laughs> no, my van. My van is my friend, and it needs to go in the and it needs to go oh, yeah, in the shop true. this week. Remember, <laughs> my yeah, van needs to be fixed. <laughs> I am actually doing a check Darn here it. to see who's alive. <laughs> I am. Sorry, Lydia, I can't resist. I would. I I would sew. I know. I would sew, but I I I can't. I've got to think of my family. <sighs> sorry, Lydia, but I can't stand seeing that much silver going for 50 bucks. I'm sorry. Either can I. And I do love my family. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Lydia says, Y'all know so. that once it reaches a Benjamin, more falls in there. More we got Lydia I on the at native pieces in there. Guys, this is a fantastic amount. Sharon, I mean, you can always get a gem tester. Look at all awesome of those amount. stones in there. And I bet Grasshopper sat there polishing all that you up. know no, what i wanted Tiana, i was thinking that teardrop wow. pendant would look good with that bracelet huh we have muriel in at 70. that's yep. mayor mayor's in at 70. put, put an a1 oh, in front of Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, let's see i forgot to put the name on this who was that that won my giveaway was that Joanne or Teresa? It was Joanne Rosenberg. Okay. We got Kathy in at Lydia's 75. Lydia's back in at 80. Everybody's jumping in on this. Well, look at it. It's like That's we're right. not even at a dollar a gram yet. Okay. Let it's me not even Christmas. Here. Let me show you what I will throw in once it reaches 100. A bit. Silver right now is um yeah. no. at a dollar a gram so we haven't even we reached um scrap weight yet plus look at all those gemstones in it there maybe you know one ounce silver maybe a eagle. little bit over a dollar they're like 35 36 dollars no. oh sharon i am just like row here i am anal about cleaning my silver literally I, I just <laughs> Call it anal. Call it anal if you will. <laughs> and I'm the opposite. I like it el natural. <laughs> but you've got help, G. <laughs> oh, what is that? You've got grasshopper. This, this, this <laughs> comes in at 100. It's oh, coral and turquoise. It, it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. FEC. Oh, That's worth 35 right there. Okay, we've got Not Lydia more. in at 80. We're looking for 85. We got oh. Kathy. Roberta's in at 100. <laughs> now you got to throw that in. <laughs> okay. I know Roberta can't stand it right now. <laughs> I used to thumb. I used to thumb everywhere when I was a teenager. <laughs> I'll be thumbing next week if I do. Oh, oh, Lydia's back at 110. We've got oh. Lydia back at 110. I could not, um, I was too scared to do that. No, I was too too many I don't want to thumb any more. My dad used to all the time. Hi, Sosie. <laughs> this um, she bumped her Florida head. And she's... City when he was young. <laughs> <laughs> she's giving away sterling. <laughs> yeah, I know you walked into the middle of a weird conversation, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> talking about that is come in. The old term thumbing it. Oh my goodness. It is signed. I know it is. In there. Okay, we got Kathy's Kathy in at 115. 115. Yeah. 
how many grams are we up to now on the silver? Uh, this thing just keeps growing. Huh. So see, she's got a silver lot here at we're at one fifteen, and it's a hundred and something grams of silver here. Come on, so, and I'm about to pass out, <laughs> and my van needs to be fixed. All righty, of all times. Well, we got Kathy in at one fifteen. Once I swipe it off, it'll tell us what was on there. Yeah, we have to reset it. We're at hey, one. Be careful with that. Be careful with that. <laughs> what it was. Right so there. 112 grams. We are barely just 114. So we are just pennies at a dollar a gram, guys. You're just buying the silver now. That's all. We're barely at scrap weight. Oh, Sharon. We don't want you depressed. Oh, you can text Sharon. me anytime. Email me, I'll email you. We have so so in at goes in. Okay, we're at 120. When did you say so that goes in? in? At, the beat, at 120. Okay, so. Okay, I will, sweet Pete. Kathy's back at 130. What, Can we see that pin in again? You showed it too quick. Let me, let me see, see. let me see. Lydia is out. Put it all back on there so we know what we got again. Kathy's in at 130. Sosie's at 150. She wants oh that last goodness, minute. Sosie's in at 150. Yeah. Okay, that goes. I want to see the pendant. Hey, Robin. How are you? We got my Sky in. Hello, darling. Hi, Sky. Hi. We got children falling in the back room. Leave the kids alone. Let them fall. Oh, wow. Well, I'm just sitting here listening oh, that to them. Dragonfly okay, is. We've cute. got 116. I didn't miss anything. Did Look I? at that Star dragonfly. Shot. That's amazing. We got Kathy in at 160. I still didn't see the last pendant, G. <laughs> the dragonfly that's sitting there, the turquoise and something white oh, dragonfly. Okay. Yep. All righty. I see you know, it now. My sky, sky's in at 160. Uh, Kathy beat her. Kathy's in at 160 first. Robin will have to go up to oh, 160. Oh, I see that now. Okay. Gio is going to shake things up with her Kathy. silver lots. <laughs> yes, I do. I she like to have fun. fun. <laughs> what a fun thing to do, though. What a fun thing to do. It really it is. It is always fun. It's a Lifting for a lot. Fred of Harvey era. I believe she set the record. She did a six hundred dollars silver mm -hmm. lot once. Yeah, <laughs> that was saw it. Wasn't that cool? That was that was so was cool. Fun. Yep, that was one of the last times I remember with Kim. Was uh, her bidding on that mm -hmm. silver lot? It was just shortly after that that she got sick. Is she okay? All right. Scared herself, huh? Granddaughter fell off my bed. She scared herself. Uh-oh. So. Well, she <laughs> jumped in. <laughs> All righty. We are at 160 with Kathy. Um, we are going one time at 160. And I know there's still a couple of people. I don't know if they're out or not, so I'm not going to go too fast. But let us know if you are out. We are at 160 right now to Kathy. Next it was at 108. What an awesome grams. lot, G. What an awesome lot, young lady. Buddy. I think you woke him up now, G. <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> your thumbs up, guys. And if you have not yet, so hi, Dora Cruz. How are you? Mm hmm. Hey, don't Dora. forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to sub to Robert, Gianna, and Roberta. Their um, information will be in the description box so you can go and sub to them. Yeah, and if I ever get myself situated with the laptop, I'll be doing more videos. Cool. <laughs> a pot of silver at the end of the rainbow. I heard that. <laughs> 
who can't afford that rainbow that leads to the pot of gold. I never could find the end of the rainbow. All right, we are going two times at 160. We're looking for 165, guys. That is a lot of beautiful pieces on there. Oh, a couple of Native American there. pieces, some big, nice stones in there. Show them those earrings with I the... I found the end um, of the rainbow when I married my these husband. These are awesome. With the... <laughs> the longhorns? Um, wolf howling at the moon. Oh, those are cool, too. The Texas longhorns there. Those are awesome. Mm -hmm. This is actually signed piece. Ooh. It means oh, I like that. Aren't those nice, Robert? Yeah. Those are really nice. Mm -hmm. Isn't it love, cool? Love, love them. Yeah. All righty. We are looking for 165. We are at fair warning. Um, Robin is out. Thank you, Robin, for letting us know. And Kathy is out. So we are about to call this one. This is your last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's a whole jewelry starter collection for somebody who had no jewelry at all. That's a good starting collection for sure. Or your jewelry starter kit. See <laughs> yeah. rings again. We've got Fred Harvey here. Fred Harvey era. That's gorgeous. What's that? Soda like? Turquoise. That's a piece of turquoise, really nice. Petrified wood. Yeah. Oh, I Rose love that one. Hey guys, your last chance to get your bids in. We're looking for 165. I'm about to call it. These are CZs. And these are CZs. Very nice. Awesome. It is sleepy. Just getting bad, isn't it? Just stunning pieces there. All righty. Oh, that's a pendant. Oh, is that a set there? Very it thin. is a set. A pendant and earrings. Okay, guys. I think we've made it awesome. suffer long enough. Let's call it sold to Kathy for 160 Awesome, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations. Thank you, for you, Thank you everybody that bid. Yeah, it's a nice slot there. Wonderful. And Wonderful build down. Those are Thelma earrings, those big um, Texas longhorns. <laughs> yeah. She can she rock the like big you. earrings, and she's from Tonight. Texas. Let me just push them on over so I can close that out. There we go, Sissy. Awesome. Awesome Wee. lot. In the corner, in the corner, you guys. You guys all go in the corner. I don't want to go in the corner. <laughs> Last time you did, you forgot about one of us. Oh, that's true. That's true story, guys. I got some pretty soda light sterling silver earrings here. And I'm starting these out at 15. Oh, it looks like I've got the brooches from Monica. Did I say soda light? Um, Chrysacola. Darn it. <laughs> well, say. They're Chrysacola. <laughs> shook you up. Sitting here looking at soda light and I'm calling my too. stone crystal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it shook you up, too. But these are Chrysacola sterling silver hooks. And so is all the work around it, the braided work around it. They are not signed, but they have tested sterling. Is Cindy around? I am. Sorry, I was just, uh, I just saw that email from Verna, I mean, from Monica. I got those brooches from her. Nice. I'm happy. Okay. What? Okay. So these are Chris, Chrysacola. And I'm starting these out at 15. Oh, nice deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was daydreaming, I guess. <laughs> daydreaming. 
<laughs> we brought we found some really nice chunks of chrysocolla when we were in Tucson, and it's a, almost as much as turquoise to buy. It is. Yeah. Your stone. While we're doing that, I'll put these in here. Sandy was like a bloodhound sniffing out the good stuff. Her yes. And her, <laughs> her and her, um, <laughs> on her wheels, her cart, like, <laughs> toddling around. It's like, get out of the way. Sandy is coming through. She really found the good stuff, though. She really did. There we go. As big as that place is, she had it down. She knew where to go. And she knew what she was doing. Who's going to kick this off with a $15 bid? These are really nice, guys. Very nice. Yeah, I think the... Um, they are. The um, what you call it, I can get it out. The chrysocolla, I think, is a little bit more kind of crystalline than the I don't know how to describe it than the turquoise, but the color is so similar that sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. It is, and some people have mistaken it as, as turquoise, yeah, particularly if you can't see the matrix. If you can see the matrix in the chrysocolla, then it's fairly easy to identify, but when you can't see that red and black matrix, it's hard to hard to identify it sometimes. And Robert, you got a really nice piece, that piece that you bought from me of the chrysocolla with the spider web matrix in it, the red spider web. That was a gorgeous piece. Okay, I guess we can just go ahead and pass this one up. <laughs> no interest at 15 on these earrings, guys. We're talking sterling silver chrysocolla for $15. That's a uh, very good price, y'all. $15 used for the stone. Yeah, at least. I think or, they're still reeling from the $160 on the sterling. That was a good deal. For a <laughs> ring, it's uh, $31. And it's a healing crystal. Yeah, Elizabeth, what you're hearing is my air conditioner. It has healing properties. Well, I could use that. But yeah, these. The cousin of blue azurite. Yeah, I think there's just a slight difference in the color there, but that's not unusual. I see what you're talking about, though. There's such a variety of color in chrysocolla, so yeah. from the same stone, you you wouldn't you would get two different colors. That's not uncommon. Yeah. Robert just picked you up. Robert, did you pick up? <laughs> I guess I did. You're slick. I didn't even hear your pickup line. <laughs> Anybody want these for 15? These that's a really good deal. Very southwest looking. Yep. Okay. And I have there it is. In case anybody needs to know how big they are, they are not all that big. Perfect size. They're not even an inch. Looking for 15. Very worth it. Oh, you're seeing shadows, so maybe she thought you had a ceiling fan, I guess. Oh, I was yeah. reaching over and putting all that silver in a nice little bag until I get ready to send it off. I see that on um, Cindy Loves Jewelry. She always has that ceiling fan going, and you can see it flashing in the background. It took me a while to get used to that. So I know what you're talking about, Elizabeth. You're good, sweet pea, so you did good tonight. Yeah. We'll good turn you loose. Time. We'll turn you loose in October. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am done, Cindy. <laughs> All righty. So I guess we're back to me and I actually have mine lined up and ready to go this time. All right. 
Okay, so I don't know if anybody is into Bakelite, but these are both vintage. This is the Butterscotch Bakelite earrings here. They are clip-ons. Oh, so cute. And it's carved Bakelite, which usually the carved stuff is always going to um, list for more. They're like, they're button earrings, so they're not real big, and they are clip-ons, like I said. And these came from... Um, my husband picked these up for me when he was in um, Louisiana. And this is a Bakelite ring, and I think it's a size seven. And this probably started off like four, but um, it's a seven and a half, almost a seven and three quarters. Um, but this probably started off as clear because most Bakelite yellow. That's why you never see real white Bakelite because it always yellows. But um, this is going to be a choice of, and I'm going to start it at 22. All right. For choice of. Oops. Choice. Yeah. 22? Yeah. And they are collectibles. Yeah, Bakelite is very collectible. Yeah. And expensive. <laughs> so it really is a really good deal little... for this. <laughs> What's a god? What's a god, Creepy? I don't think I've heard that one. Yeah. Is that like a jaw? He bought them both from an antique store. Yeah, they're fifty. So he paid. Um, he paid up for them for sure. That one looks like it has a kitty cat face in it. It does, right there. Sure. I just saw that. A <laughs> one eyed kitty cat. <laughs> one of my psychologists. It does. It's a kitty cat I see that. Got hit by a no. car. Its eyeball is hanging out there. See. <laughs> He's only got eight lives left. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about eyeballs hanging out, but <laughs> and that looks like a mummy on that uh, side picking its nose. <laughs> right there. It's funny. And Halloween is coming. <laughs> I know that seems like a lot, guys, but I actually started these a little less than what he paid for them as Bakelite, and I may have to end up listing them, but true Bakelite is, it, it oh. is pricey. That's a fair price. I've got a little, little Scotty dog. Maybe I'll sell one day, but he's so darn cute. A little Bakelite Scotty dog. Oh. Yeah, so if anybody quiet. tries to sell you white Bakelite, you definitely want to test it before you buy it because there is no such thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All righty, we will move on. I didn't think there would be, but I thought I would try. Hey, it's true. That's what they look like. Alrighty, so how about he does smoke a pipe? I do. I have um this is gonna be an either or here too. It is Elizabeth. Oh, it helps me pretty. think. It calms me down a little bit. Now these do Especially test as glass. Women. They are sterling silver, but they do test as glass. And we are going to do a nice. choice of at $18. And I did not test the white stone. I didn't think about that, but it probably is too. But let me check. This is a size 7 on the ring. It's a nice set. Gorgeous. It's a color of um, the, uh, the Mexican fire opal color, kind mm -hmm. of, is what it is. Let me mm -hmm. tap the white stone real quick. It's behind me. I think the white is probably going to be glass too, but let me Yeah. So these are crystals, basically. But beautiful. And it's choice of for 15. I mean, 18, I'm sorry. These are gorgeous. I love these earrings. They are so pretty. 
You think it might be a citrine? It's probably getting rid of them. No, it's um, um, they're glass. I said like glass. Them. They're crystals, basically. If it was citrine, it stimulates the brain, motes motivation. Boy, I need that. Look at the sparkle in those. Lots of sparkle. Okay. Creativity encourages self-expression. Now, they look like, and when I first got them, I was excited because I was hoping they were going to be Mexican fire opals. But, oh, that'd um, been nice, wouldn't it? Because they're that color. But they're a little too clear, so I figured I'd better test them because the Mexican fire opal will have a little bit cloudy. To mm. get a stone this clear, you're going to pay up the nose. Yeah. But really pretty, size seven, and then these are probably about three quarters of an inch. Let me check here. No, closer to an inch. But both sterling. Sweet pea. It's a uh, it's a Virginia blend, but it comes from Amsterdam. Let me put the other. I don't know how they do that. I guess they you really have that kind of orangey color. Citrine is beautiful. Silver. They do have a really pretty orange garnet set in. Um, Good night, Kathy. In Thank you, honey. Good night, Miss Kathy. Thank you. If I haven't seen it yet, but have a good evening. Yeah. It's a gorgeous stone. It it will very easily pass for a fire opal. Very pretty. Well, I, I've been debating on this Morganite ring. I bought it for myself, and I haven't worn it yet. Don't keep it. <laughs> I know I'm one to say we buy such beautiful stuff and we sell it. <laughs> Mine too, sweet pea. Eighteen dollars, guys. Starting bid, well worth it. They are both marked and tested. This one is marked. Let's see what this one's marked. I think it's a nine two five, but let me make sure. And I believe it has. Yes, it does. I forgot about this. This is the TGDC brand. And dang it, I looked that up last auction, and I don't remember what company that was. But that does have a um, maker's mark on it and this one is marked um hmm, got all kinds of marks the earrings have i don't know if that is a copyright number there's a bunch of numbers there's a like a star or a flower and it says one five zero f1 hmm a lot of marks yeah it's a lot of little marks on that one yeah maybe talk about that stone very pretty though just gorgeous gorgeous earrings mm -hmm. Very feminine looking. Too bad Frances is not in here. This is right up her alley. Yeah, she'd like that. How is Frances? Yeah, I haven't seen her for a while. I don't know. She's used to me coming on on Sundays. So. Oh, I think I was seeing her last time in shift or something. I think I saw her earlier today in one of the other auctions. I believe I did. I get nervous when I don't see people. It makes me wonder where we're at. My phone. Well, I always keep up with Francis. Yes. I try to message her every couple of days just to make sure she's okay. She does, you know. Mm -hmm. She does have some health issues that she doesn't talk about, but I try to make sure she's okay. You need to do that with everybody. Just being Lori is doing pretty good, Sweet Pea. Last time I talked to her, she's doing pretty good. I know. I haven't talked to Lori lately either. I talked to her today. I'm she's excited. I'm put. Good girl. I love that little girl. 
Hey, hey, hey. All right, guys. If there's no interest in these, I will move on. All righty. Okay. I used that Facebook calling thing that Sandy taught me. That's pretty cool. Okay, this next one I'm going to sell as a set because they really go together. Um, they look, they look like they need to stay together. Well, those are shiny. This is the earrings. Oh my! And That's these are awesome. so pretty. These are Silpata. Okay. I love well, Silpata, so I'm shutting my eyes. I to show the Silpata logo there, but it is. Why are you not wanting to focus? Come on. There, you go. there we go. There's your Silpata mark right there. There you go. Okay, so there's your Sopata mark. These are really pretty. Very classic looking. And I okay. am pairing that with this ring. Gorgeous ring. This is a size. I think it's a seven or a seven. I don't remember what it is. I'm sorry for it, silly. It's a size seven on the ring. Now, the stone, if I remember right, it's cute. Oh, did you decide what the stone was? You know what? This is the one I couldn't figure out. It's not. It feels like like glass or stone, but it does not register at all. It doesn't register as glass. It doesn't register as anything. But it's not acrylic, so I don't really know what that is. But it's gorgeous. And... No, I don't think so. It's more the color of um, Cal Sydney, but I don't think it's Cal Sydney. I've got one of those rocks in my backyard that I like. Um, and this eight. is Israeli silver, which you know is Beautiful. always pricey. Any of the Israeli stuff is always pricey. It does have a designer mark in it. Yeah, they really proud of themselves. It has the big be inside the circle so it does have the maker's mark in it right there oh, I, see so that. I know this is um a lot but well worth it with the sopata and is the israeli silver we're starting it at 40. yeah for 40, both of them. yeah for both it's not a either oh, or it's both yeah. the sopata earrings alone yes sweet would, pea, uh, i did honey yeah stuff is all packaged up for a lot. Oh, I got it in there. Yeah, either of these couldn't get to the post office forty today because my van is broke <laughs> temporarily. Remember, shipping's going to slow down. They told me because of the holidays coming. There's your mark. They also may be having that oh, yeah, mail in Monday. Monday. Well, I've been getting everything a day early from what I've been told. Yeah, mine's kind of hit and miss. Same thing for me, too. Sometimes it's coming in, like, surprisingly fast. Thank you. And other things I'm Thank waiting you, sweet forever. Babe. Did you hear me, Sweet Pea? I said thank you, sweetheart. Hi, Unique. Hey. Shirley. Hey, Unique. How are Shirley. you? Shirley. Hi, Unique. <laughs> oh, you did? I hope everybody got that package. Everybody. Mine's on the way, but the post office forgot to scan three or four of them. All of my stuff shipped out on Friday, guys. So you should, they if said you it's haven't gotten it yet, you should get it any moment. Probably by Monday or Tuesday. How are you, Shirley? Um, okay, guys. Nice to see you, dear. 40, we got Silpata and Israeli Silver. We're talking 40 dollars for both. And Verna, we don't know. substantial ring here. It doesn't even register as glass. It's gla It's some sort of glass. It, it's not oops. stone, but we, we're not sure. 
Yeah, I'm not Great sure video. what this is because it doesn't register as glass and it's not acrylic. It feels like some sort of stone. So I really don't know what it is. We all agree it's a mystery stone. Yeah, it's a mystery stone. The but mystery like I it. said, it is, it is Israeli silver. It there. So it has to be a real yeah, stone. Yeah, we pulled a switcheroo. Yeah, it's a size 7. So this could definitely be stretched probably a whole size if you could get this up to an 8 if you needed to. And there's a silicata which speaks for yep. itself. So both of these alone it, worth more than the 20 for sure. I would think so, yeah. Absolutely. It's kind of got a rough surface to it too. I'm not really sure what it is. We don't it, no, we don't think it, it's shell. Elizabeth, night, Elizabeth. Good night, honey. We love you. Could that be sea foam? It could be. It looks like it might be. Isn't it gorgeous, though? Yeah. It's a gorgeous color. What is what is that, Jay? What is sea foam? Um, I guess you could say like sea glass. Mm -hmm. Would it test no for glass? Because it's not testing for glass. That's what's stumping me. I don't know if it would test. But yeah, it, that it, does look like, it looks like sea foam. Yeah, it's kind of the color of, it's a slight aqua color, mm -hmm. but it's pretty whatever it is. Beautiful matter. picture it's of it. It's gorgeous, yeah. Okay, we've got Brenda in at 40, looking gorgeous. for 41. That's possible too, my sky. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Roman glass. I didn't even think of it's that sea one. foam green calcite stone. Looks Brenda's like at 41. And again, these whatever are it is, Sakata. it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I just thought they went well together. I thought they needed to stay together. <laughs> that pounded look. And I'm glad somebody bid on them because I don't need more. More. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't need more. I probably would have listed them if nobody bid on them tonight. It's just and Israeli still always as well when you list it sells fast. Oh, I see one that's just the Brent stone. Is back itself. in at 42. It is a gorgeous set. It looks like it goes together. The ring, silver Brent's ring. Back coin. in at 43. Green. Sky, it's so nice to see you, Sky. South Sydney. Yeah, I, it's. Hmm. I got one listed for 65. It's the color of Cal Sydney that I've had before, but it's too clear. But I guess Cal Sydney can get that clear too, but I'm going with the Roman glass or the sea foam. Sea foam yeah, green, sea glass. Sense. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And it's a nice thick ring, so like I said, you could definitely stretch this uh, probably up to a full size if you take it slow. I it's always learn so. Brenda's back in at 46. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Cool. Hi, Andrea. She, you owe me a coat. Brenda's back in at 47. You, we got Israeli silver here on the ring, Andrea, and then the earrings are Silpata. Friend is back in at 50. And it's a set. This is not choice of. This is all one. This is a lot. These are going together. They got to stay together because they just, they just look too full together. <laughs> Friend is back in at 55. They look like they belong together. Yep, I agree. You know, I think I've found everything in Silpata except a ring. I have not found a Silpata ring yet. Hmm. I find pendants and earrings and bracelets right, and brooches, but I've never found a Sopata ring. Vicky has, but I haven't. Brenda's back in at 60. Mm 
I'd sport those. Those are pretty. Burn is back in at 65. It's a great color. I sure. know, sweet tea. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I do like that hammer texture, too. It makes it shine more, I think. Kind of gives it some sparkle on that hammer finish. When it's done right, it's nice. And speaking of which, Roberta, I still have not found that hammered button earring for you. I still have one. The other one's on the floor somewhere. <laughs> it fell off my table and it Excuse fell into me. one of these boxes over here that I have, like, packing materials that I reuse. It's in that box somewhere, I'm sure. Burned is out, so we're going to go once. Taverna for 65 for the set. No, it's both. It's the whole set, Thelma. The, this is a size 7 Israeli silver, and these are Silpata, hey, and Thelma. I'm selling them as a set. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot. It's yes, a lot. Thelma. Yes. And we think it's sea foam. Yeah, we're not quite sure what the stone is. Stone is in there, but it does have the Israeli mark, the nine two five mark, and then the B inside a circle, which I have seen before. Yeah, I think the ring alone, probably seventy dollars. Got it upside down. But there's the Israel mark. And then the earrings are Silpata. There's your Silpata mark. Looking at 65 Taverna. We're going to go twice. Thank you, Thelma. That would have been nice hoops, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Vicky I, what I do like also. about them is they curve. Like the one you, you had, a, had earlier. Gee, they look so much better curved, those big uh, Zuni inlays mm -hmm. you had. Hi, Swamp Picker. Hey, Picker. How are you? Roman glass. Let's see what that is. All right. We're going to call this soul, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sold to Verna Forbes for 65 Thank you, Verna. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Verna. Right, thank please. you for your bids, the rest of you, and congrats, Verna. That's pretty pricey. The Roman glass is from 2,000 years ago. It's been dug up. And it says it's from Israel. Yep. So that's probably what it is. Then, it's a Roman glass. Yeah. Very pretty. I'll have, have to remember that. It is just a gorgeous piece, though. It really is. Somebody got a good buy there. Yes, they do. Okay. We learned something. Um, how about we do some? Please? Nice call, Vicky. Hmm. Just realized I have another pair of those pounded silver. I didn't realize that. Very similar to that. Okay, how about we do the hoops? And the starting bid is 15 on these. These are nice big hoops. And there is your 925 mark right there. I'm sorry, starting bid, honey. 15. These are at least have okay. that 925A mark with the capital A at the end. All righty. 
I think these are one inch hoops. I can't remember. Let me measure. Nice hoops, though. Very nice hoops. These are almost, well, awesome these are about enough. an inch and three eighths. So just over an inch and a quarter. So an inch and three eighths. Beautiful nice pair of Any interest in these gals and guys? Fifteen dollars, very good price. Yeah, fantastic price for sterling silver hoops. How heavy would you say they are, Cindy? They're not real heavy. Wants to know. If they were solid, they would be way too heavy. Let me give you a weight on them. They're twelve grams. Almost 12 grams, like really close to 12 grams. So about uh, All right. six pounds a piece. No, they're not super heavy. If these were solid, they would be too heavy to wear. They would be uncomfortable after a while. Alrighty, we're going to give it another second and we're going to move on. Are they very heavy? No. Maybe I just stepped away. Vern is, no, good. We got it. Vern right. is in at 15. Definitely a good buy at $15 for sure. Yeah. They are well made too. I can't. There's. An, I can't even see any seams on them. So they did a really nice job with the soldering on them. There's no seams on the end caps. Nice craftsmanship on these. I like that they come to a point like that. Yeah. Not your typical hoops. No. I saw There's no other interest. I'm gonna. They are a good go once. You know, good size too for hoops. They're not super way too big. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a little idea next to my ear on the size here. You can start counting them down. Oops, wrong camera. Mm -hmm. So. Gonna go yeah. twice. Oh, there's my Gianna here. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, they're oh, yeah, a, they are pretty. Yeah, they're a good size hoop. They're not like scary big. Fashionable. We're gonna do a fair warning to Verna for fifteen dollars. And we're about to call it sold, girls and guys. To Verna, fifteen dollars. Thank you, Verna. Thank you, Verna. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you for staying up with us. So let's find a bag for those, and we will move on to my third piece. And then I think we are to the Oops. You getting ready, Roberta? And I'm all set. All right. Let's see. Hey, 
Okay, so this is a next. This is for May. Thank you. And then this looks like, like magnesite. I hear a puppy. It reminds me of that Chinese turquoise, but I think it's magnesite. Obviously dyed, but it is um, vermeil. Yes, have your silver mark right there, and then the little triangle with the maker's mark. This is one of those U.S. companies that outsources to China. Right there is your maker's mark. And we're going to start this at 20. Nice, really, okay. really nice bracelet. Very pretty bracelet. Let me give you a measurement. It is pretty. Starting bit is 20. It's um, about 7 inch bracelet. Very pretty. It is indeed. It says magnesite. Yes. Yeah, I think it's magnesite. Yes. As opposed to halite, it's not halite. The matrix isn't right for halite. I like it when they leave it natural white. When they leave the uh, magnesite or the halite, particularly the magnesite natural white, it. It really looks like a white buffalo quite a bit. Hey, Miss Vicky, how are you feeling? When did you sneak in on us? Just a few minutes ago. Yeah, welcome. we've been watching for you. We sent you an invite. Come on in and join us, Vicky. Yeah. Okay, if there is no interest, I will move on. Let's see. Okay, how about... <laughs> yeah, Vicky, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you're too cute. Oh, what did I lose? Oh, no, there it is. All right, so let's move on. Oh, Teresa's is in at twenty. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll say that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Didn't even yeah, see that. Put a hat on. <laughs> okay, we have Teresa in hat. at twenty. We are looking for twenty-one. This is this really is a pretty bracelet, guys. It's for May um, gold over sterling. <laughs> Well, Cindy is not coordinated, as you can see. But I see the pen beat you up. Yeah, I finally got me with the pen. I finally yeah. got to her. I switched over to the marker at some point. Oh. Very pretty piece, though. Mm -hmm. I've had this in um, J before, this same one in J like this all right we have Teresa in at 20 we are going to go once looking for 21 pretty bracelet yep Good for 21 like that they got that spider webbing in there very pretty Quite a deal. And they left it kind of a matte finish, which is what I like to.
Last chance, everyone. How's things in Singapore, Pat? Wow, it's late, sleepy, or early, whichever or way early, you yeah. look at it. All right, you I can understand it. Okay, your turn, Roberta. And that was Teresa Richardson for Sorry, Twinkie, right? <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. All right, I've got um, uh, earrings. I'm going to start these at 25. This is coral beautiful these are tested not marked acid tested beautiful inlays and this is choice of <clears throat> excuse me please so you've got these beautiful half hoops or you've got these orange purple and teal uh, turquoise nice color marked. combination let me just isn't that beautiful it is marked 925 India. Very pretty. I'm trying to. Gorgeous. What's your starting bid? There's your choices. 25. All righty. Either or. Either or. Yeah, you're getting better. Yeah, I think every time we get ahead here, then they have some big public event. And hi, Shelly. And then we suddenly have a bunch of cases again. Yeah. Okay. Hi, hey, Shelly. Oops. What are you showing us, bro? Is that an inlaid hoop? Yes, these are... Um Beautiful coral inlays. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. And this is choice mm -hmm. up. So we got the turquoise and the inlaid choice off. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, I guess we'll be wearing masks forever. I remember when it was hard for me to learn how to. Not this old girl. Place. Undyed coral in the earrings. That is a really pretty pair of earrings, both of them. Very good price. Yes, it is. It's at that time of night where we start giving stupid good deals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. stupid, I've been doing this night. whole night. <laughs> <laughs> now we get like really stupid good deals. As that one on the top. Um, on the the turquoise earrings, is that spiny oyster at the very top? I was told, or just all undyed coral. I don't know. Like I was told it was all. Uh, yeah, that's a great color combination. Whatever. Yeah, oh, turquoise. Turquoise. This is orange like, and red. <clears throat> that and looks like one. spiny oyster in the earrings, the turquoise ones. All right, if there's no interest, we're moving on. All righty. You can let me know after. Beautiful pairs of earrings. All right, these are going to start at 45, choice of. You've got this beautiful native ring. I'll get the size on it. It's a small size. It is a size 5. It is marked R M. I want to say Sterling. I can't really. They didn't punch it hard enough, but it's been tested. I know it's Sterling. So you've got this ring with the onyx. 
while you've got this beautiful pendant brooch that is all kinds of signed. That's all kind of stamped. Mm -hmm. Nine two five. Oops. They went silly with the stamping on that one, didn't they? <laughs> I know. You know, sometimes you can't find a stamp at all, and sometimes it's like fifteen stamps. I can't make it out tonight. But anyways, it's, like it's Mexico. Trying to figure out the stamps on a. Um, silver tea service or something from England. Oh my god, like 15 stamps. Alright, what did you say your starting bid was on this? 45. 45. For choice. Oh, you know what? I had earrings a while back that would match that brooch perfectly. Pendant. Pendant slash brooch. Okay. So this is mm -hmm. choice of Mm-hmm. Beautiful pieces. Looking for 45. Looks like some really nice craftsmanship there. Very clean looking. And what size was the ring again? A five. Five. It's an itty bitty. What did you say the um, itty bitty? What did you say this the mark is in the ring? JM wasn't R M capital R, R, -M. R -M, capital M. Yeah. And I, I wanna say I see a S, so that <laughs> is probably sterling, but it's not st stamped enough. I know, Pat, they're very beautiful. You're going to have to turn me if on. If there's no interest, we're site. moving on. Move along. going to have to get that book you have. Did you say it looks like an RDM or RM? No, RM. Oh, RM, okay. Capital R, capital M. But that's okay. We'll move on. We need to move on. All right. I have a set. Of, not a set. I'm going to either or. Richard We're going to start these at 65. This is a native cuff. Turquoise. Heavy. I will show you what it's marked. There's a maker's mark. I can't. I don't know what it is. And it's sterling. Gianna, can you help me on that one? It's too far away for my old eyes to see, I guess. I know, huh? And I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you used to be able to see. And then this what? is a Tiffany uh, band. So is this it Choice says, Of? Tiffany and Company. Yes, Choice Of. Okay, and they're so worth it. I'm telling you, people, you can look them up. They're worth more. So that Let me get you the, uh, the size of this the ring. Native bracelet. The Tiffany band is a nine. It says Tiffany and Company inside. Oops, there we go. Nice 1997 thing. Tiffany and Company, 925, 925, T and Co., 1837, I think. Yep. And I have seven. seen that Tiffany so there you go. That's one of their classic designs on that Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Beautiful bracelet. Yeah. This yeah. bracelet is nice and chunky. We've got Pat in at 65, it looking for 70. Yep, that 31 bracelet. 31 grams. Look at all that inlaid. And the stamping. Very beautiful. That looked and like an shiny. L on there with something in front of it. And the only thing I found that has something like that is um, last name's Livingston. Yeah. Oh, Gianna, I had it upside down for heaven's sakes. Oh. oh there you go, if you could. <laughs> Bell trading. Yeah. Now that might be. The, 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 that the is Bell trading. Is there, but I don't. 
That's Bell Trading Post. Okay, so well worth the six to five sterling and turquoise, guys. Hundred dollar bracelet, easy. If not, then some. We got Thelma in at seventy. It's a party one. Seventy-five. Yeah. And this is choice of between the Bell Trading Post sterling silver bracelet and turquoise, and the Tiffany band. The size nine. Tiffany band. Very Thelma, classic. did you get your package? Tiffany design. Were you satisfied if you did? Are you talking to me? No, Miss Thelma. Oh, okay. She so, wants some earrings. We have I know you got yours, 70, G. looking for 75. You get to choose which you want. I lost. I think it might be down here. Yes, it is. I am hungry. I just realized my son did not bring me a plate tonight. Ooh, he's slacking on the job. He forgot about Two and a half that. inches. And a one and a quarter opening. But, but then what? This is for you. This will fit you. Probably be too big Did for you. Did you do a video on I that yet, G? I wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't have been to too much. What huh? Really nice piece, though. We have Thelma in at 70. We are looking for 75. We are going one time at 70. Let us know if you're out, Pat. This ring I found for 110, so. Well, it's kind of all over the place, but about 100, 110. Yeah, you can find English marks everywhere, but yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of really good Native American marks. Pat is out, so we are going two times. Thank you, Pat. There's uh, like I said, there's a site that has basic Zumi and Navajo stuff, but um, and a few other, but mostly Zumi and Navajo, the other ones are really hard to find. We are at fair warning. JM, that's a Navajo. All righty. Let us know which one you want, Thelma. Sold to Thelma at 70. Thank you, Thelma. Or if you Thank want you, Pat. Both. Yeah, I'm both if you want. All righty, bro. Go ahead and start. Cuff, please. She wants the cuff. So Thank that you, Thelma. leads the, Pat, the Tiffany ring to you. Do you want the Tiffany ring at 70, Pat? Thank you, Sweet Pea. We try. You can let me know, Pat. I think I'm going to put this out there for 100. You. I think Thelma recognized the bell trading post on the bracelet. Okay. Too, so. I have mm -hmm. one set ring. Yeah, it looked completely different when you flipped it right Thank side you, up. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> I know. How oh, I Pat does want the Tiffany Thelma. ring. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. Oh. All right, I don't believe I'm going to put this out here, but oh. I am. For I'm asking 180 to start. This is antique. The markings on it. Gorgeous. Peru. It's Peruvian. It has a 925. It has sterling. 
Sterliana. Yeah, that one was uh, perfect. <laughs> 925, it has a hallmark. It has a uh, Peru. It is gorgeous. And I was going to, and I probably will list it because I can't imagine. But it's beautiful. It's 78 grams of silver. Oh, wow. And I left most of the tarnish on it. Let me put patina. it on so you can see how gorgeous it is. Patina, Patina. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Gorgeous piece of jewelry. Oh, it is. You, you can't even see how beautiful it is. It, it's just so much prettier in person. And if there's no interest, we are going to move on. This will go in the shop. You said 180, right? Mm-hmm. 180. Worth every penny of it, I'm sure. It's gorgeous. Yeah. 180 tomorrow. Yep. 78 grams of silver. You, so your starting bid is 180 on this, or buy it now at 180? No, starting bid. Okay. Yep, we're starting. Jump in. Pat, I have another one. Let me see the size on it. I'm going to let that sit there. And you girls think about that. Um, what did I do with it, Pat? Okay. I mean, if you want to wear it on your thumb, but this one is a little bit thicker is all. Um, you're so tiny. This one's even. This one's an eight and a half. What was the other one? A nine? So you have an eight and a half or a nine's hat. And it's the same, the same markings and everything. It's just a little bit thicker. So if you rather the eight and a half, I'll just switch them out. Just let me know, Pat. Alrighty, any interest in this gorgeous bracelet? Well worth the price. It's okay. I can keep it for a while. Pat wants the eight and a half. Okay, Pat, I'll switch them out, honey. All right, I'm taking this bracelet away, y'all. If you, if you change your mind, let me know. I'm going to put these, uh, let's see. You're welcome, honey. All right, let's do a couple of necklaces. We're going to start these at 15 for choice. So funny, I, just I have necklaces. a vermeil. <laughs> for my next round, too. Uh -huh. I have oh, I a like vermeil. Uh, I've got a couple eagle. of bracelets, too. 925 right there. With a vermeil, oops, chain. The chain is 18 and a half inches. Or I have this beautiful inlaid butterfly. It is marked 925. And it has a 16 inch chain. You're welcome, Pat. I'm going to pull it right now. So. Mm -hmm. Give me one second, guys, so I don't forget this for Pat. Where did you want to start the bid? And is this choice? 15 for choice. Okay. Okay, Pat, all switched. Yep. Gave you the eight and a half. Thank you, dear. We have a 15. Bill and Diane. All righty, Miss Diane. Can we see the eagle again? We didn't get much of a look at the eagle. Oh, I'm so yeah, sorry. I think that eagle It's pretty cool. There you go. Ooh, nice. These are critters. 
So you said the eagle is vermeil. What a nice diamond cutting on that. Yes, it's vermeil. It's marked 925 right in there. Well, that diamond cutting really makes it look gold. Okay, yep. we are in at 15 to Diane, looking for 16. Yeah, the 925 is, it's almost hard to read, but it is right there. I didn't want to scratch it, though. I got some earrings that would go very nice with that butterfly. Isn't that pretty? It's it's gorgeous, yeah. It's got pink and yellow and blue and a lighter yellow, and then it ends in pink. Yeah, I've got some pretty earrings. Pretty. That and this is a heavier one. It's heavier than the seagull. It has all those colors in it. Yeah, it does look like a fairly heavy. All right, we are looking for 16. We are in at 15 to Pat. This is choice of comes with the chain. Yeah, I cannot find, I have a bag somewhere that has like four or five Vermeil chains in it and I swear to you, I cannot find it anywhere. <laughs> That's why I ended up having to use the Sarah Coventry chain earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are at 15. Yes, Mother of Pearl, Sweet Pea. We are at 15, yeah. looking for 16. We have a cinnamon in at 16, looking for 17. Hi, cinnamon. We have Diane back at 17. We are now looking for 18. And it's choice of, you get to choose between the butterfly and the eagle. Yeah, I like the eagle. Choose between a critter and a critter. <laughs> I am one, Sweet Pea. I'm not talking as much. I think my coffee wore off. His option is tomorrow night, so he's saving his voice for that because I'm going to make him do all the talking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> cinnamon in at 18, looking for 19. Him and Andar, you get to see some of Andar's fabulous work tomorrow. And, oh, we got a sneak peek of some of her pieces tonight. Oh, does she have some beautiful stuff. And I'm going to say, Sujalite. <laughs> Got some beautiful Sujalite. Um, Diane too. is out, so we are at 18 to Cinnamon, going once. Still got time to get that bit in, looking for 19. We probably wore him out, Sweet Pea. We keep him up past his bedtime <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Darn women. Yeah. Keep me up. Post me on iPhone. Yeah. And Robert went to bed early before he got hooked up with us. I used to. Yep. Now we keep him up way late. Yeah, marathon <laughs> weekends. We are at fair warning. He has to get up and take care of those baby quails. Yeah, they're waiting on me. Huge. Huge. They're not baby no more though, Robert. All righty, let's call this one sold at 18. Let us know which one you want, cinnamon, or if you want, is it cinnamon? Yeah, or if you want both, cinnamon. Thank you, Diane. All righty. <laughs> is that two for you, Ro? <laughs> I think we're I losing count. another one, so I, don't I keep know. losing count. I'm trying to figure <laughs> I, out if I, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna throw another. I, I'll throw another one out there if that's all right, Sam. Yeah, go I ahead. And I'll switch over yeah. to Roberta or to Gianna. Gianna is on. I see some pretty stuff. Gianna Thank you, Cinnamon. Yeah, Diane, this is a matchy matchy coming up. She wants the butterfly, and that leaves Diane the choice of the eagle. Oh, I'd have went for the eagle. You know, you definitely would go for the eagle as opposed to the butterfly. Robert, really? Let me know. It's over here. All right, I'm going to start this at 60. You'll see why. I have There's this pendant. Now. 
prepay. Is what? No, she was worried about my blood pressure. Oh. All right. Did 60. It go down? I have yeah, a set of down. earrings that are marked. Okay. Um, right. Bill, Bill is asking to for go the with it. Eagle. This is all together. Oh, Diane wants the eagle. Okay, yeah. Diane wants the eagle, so good to oh, go. Yes, you can, Diane. Oh, that's, that's what I was nice waiting on. Thank you, honey. I'll get you the size of that ring in a minute, folks. I just got to put this here for Diane. Gene, message me. I got some new registrations in tonight, which I'll forward you guys. But G message me in the morning and let me know if you need any addresses or tonight, whenever. Let me know what you need and I'll forward it to you. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank okay, you. Okay, tell us what you got. Thank here. you very much, y'all. All right, um, this is a size eight and eight and a half. So I've got this ring, sterling, eight and a half, marked in there. What is it marked? Hold on. 925. It has a maker's mark. And a copyright. These earrings that are marked 925. They might have a copyright also. N.E. Sterling. Goodness. And this beautiful pendant. So three-piece set. Starting bid is $60. And those are the blue agate, or what are those? Mm-hmm. The agate. Okay, not... so the blue lace agate. Mm-hmm. And this is not. There's no interest. Set. Let's get on to Gianna. Full set, including this the chain. This is a set. And the chain. Chain is. And I'm barely making my money back, y'all. So. Yo, are we right now with you, Sharon? Oh, you work the night shift, you poor thing. I, Sharon, aren't you a nurse, too? I can't remember. Good night, Sharon. <laughs> Said she was working at the hospital. Thank you so much. I knew she worked at a hospital and she works late, but I didn't. Uh, so drive safe. Yep. Don't text and drive. <laughs> you can listen to us. We'll keep you awake on the road. Stay away from downtown tonight to protest and over at the memorial. All righty, we are looking for $60. That would be $20 for your earrings, $20 for your ring, and $20 for your pendant. Very good deal. Beautiful. Um, I want a pizza. Oh, okay, a telemetry tech. Okay, I like pizza. Good job. You've got to be on your, on your, um, <laughs> you got to be alert. I on want thin, crisp, thin and crispy. Well, That's like. what I want. All right, I like. we're pulling it. I'm pulling up my little friends. Hit Gianna. You go. All right, Gianna, Don't you hit ready? me. <laughs> Don't That's hit me quick. too hard. <laughs> Ooh, Don't nice hit. Set. Okay. Don't hit That's teaser, teaser, teaser. Let's wake everybody up. I have a giveaway, people. <laughs> okay. A right. pair of bears, um, genuine stones. Earrings, these are bronze and turquoise with faux leather. Nice. So let's do the number system. All righty, get your numbers in, everybody. You, you want your, the, um, yeah, get your thingy out there. From what, okay. from what to what? Open just in case. Okay, we're going between 1 and 50 again, guys. So put your numbers in between 1 and 50. Gotta get my Mexican hat. Those are really cute. I'm gonna play on the same numbers. All right. Okay. We got Mariel. We got Bill. They do not have to have made a purchase to play. Everybody get your numbers in. We got 25, 15, 14. 
give some pretty inlaid earrings away. Mother of Pearl. 32. Let's see, what else do I have to give away? I found my other knuckle ring. I think I'll give that away too. And Cal, you know, you remember I gave those two knuckle rings away because I was afraid I would lose them. Do you know that package came back to me in the mail? <laughs> I had to reship it. Ah, that was a pain. And I just got it back, and that was several weeks ago, but it just came back on Friday, I think. Wow. All right, guys, we need more numbers. More numbers. Get the numbers in. Delma, these would look cute on you. Get your numbers in. Can't win if you don't put your numbers in. We got 29 to Vicki. I'll give you a few more minutes. This is going to be three giveaways from this set of numbers. So even if you don't want the earrings, there's two other things coming. Um, Berta has some silver and I have a little silver knuckle ring, just a little thing here. Don't be shy. I'd much rather have Gianna's earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I like that brand. That's a... Uh, um, department store brand and like the two pairs she had out earlier like ninety dollars worth of earrings and those are probably a 40 50 40 50 dollar pair of earrings too hey olga genuine stones uh oh sorry guys my granddaughter's tired and tantrum <laughs> yep sounds like bedtime <laughs> Been there, done that. I actually miss it. All right, guys, this is the three rounds of giveaways. <laughs> Sounds treacherous, though. They are cute. Did you get your number in, Beth? Okay, we got Beth in at 11. All right, guys. I'm going to hit the stop button. All right, G. Let me uh, switch over so I can do the, do the drum roll, everybody. I'm going to hit the start button. You tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. 38. Who's got 38? Let's see. Thelma has 31. Cinnamon has 32. Marielle has 41. I think Marielle is the closest. What do you think? Okay. 41. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to like need. Mayor. <laughs> I've got it. I'll send it to you. She okay. is. That one's seven. That's through the tantrum. She's tired. All right. My number right. is number yeah. Fourteen. Okay, I think I saw a fourteen. Sweet pea. Uh, sweet pea. Yeah, sweet pea number, number fourteen. And let's sweet show pea, her. You got these wants. little, these little inlay mother of pearl and sterling half hoop earrings. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you for playing. And my giveaway is we're going to use the same numbers. I'm going to do the random number picker. My giveaway is going to be this little Alrighty. sterling feather ring. Okay. Well, 
Uh, no, it doesn't fit there. But it's either a pinky ring or a knuckle ring. Cute little feather, though. And let's do the. Let's start it. You're welcome. Thank you for playing. Number 10. I think I saw an 11. Oh, Beth. Let's see. That's a cute little ring. Um, Beth Collins, number 11. Was there a 10 anywhere? Congratulations. Yeah, right there on your phone. I think Beth is the closest. Thank you, Beth. All Thank right. Thank you, Beth everyone. Fiona. That was cool. Okay, everybody. I have um, a sterling cup and a sterling ring. Um, mm -hmm. The cup is six and three eighths, so that tells you how to put a nice small, small wrist. It fits on me. My wrist isn't all that big. And uh, it's dyed turquoise, dyed turquoise chips. The ring is a six and three quarters with turquoise chips in it. So I figured I would go ahead and match them up and um, start this out. This set Very out pretty. at 30. Very pretty. So was Sweet Pea 11? 30. Sweet Pea just won the Sweet one Pea before was that, so we'll give it to Beth. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. No, Go Sweet Pea was 14. Oh, did she, didn't she? did she win the one before that? No? She won, she won your mine, yeah. Okay, at 14. so we'll give this one to Beth because mm -hmm. Sweet Pea won the one before that one. Okay. Gianna, what'd you say on the starting bit, honey? 30. Okie doke. Is that for both of them? There we go. Yes. It's matchy matchy time here. Gorgeous. Yep. Matchy matchy. Very pretty. Very nice. Can I see the yeah, back of that bracelet, Gianna? You were closer, Beth. Oh, you can leave it on the. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Hey, Invisible Bitter. How are you? I'm sorry, G. I got distracted. What <laughs> was your? Oh, thirty dollars. Okay. Yeah, this is known as the lightning gotcha. bolt. So. That's beautiful. Think Harry Potter. Thirty dollars for <laughs> yeah. both, y'all. No, I don't like Harry Potter. I <laughs> like those lightning bolt bracelets. They look cute on. Harry Potter that is grew cute, up though. there, and I saw him in a movie, and he just didn't. Excuse me. I think it ruined his career. You just didn't look right. <laughs> no, don't they look different? Very just cute. Don't look right now, when they grow up. <laughs> choice of, or this is a set? This choice is a set. set. No, this set. is a okay. set. So you get both pieces, guys, at 30 bucks. You get the ring and the bracelet. That's a great turquoise. Matchy, matchy. The mosaic <laughs> turquoise. Love it. And I've got Charles Garnier coming up next. Whoa. Sexy. Good deal. Honey, this is a good deal at 30. It's sterling silver, invisible bitter. We've got Andrea. Pretty much everything we sell is sterling. We if if it's not, we'll let you know, but that's pretty much all we sell is sterling silver. We've got Andrea in at 30, looking for 31. Hey, Andrea. <laughs> You're talking $15 for the bracelet and $15 for the ring. I mean, that's like a steal for either. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's very generous, is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the size what was of the, the ring, ring size, Gianna? I'm sorry. The ring size is six and three quarters. Perfect size, I might add. <clears throat> oh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I feel so much better. 
Oh, I was so distraught. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I was so distraught. Didn't you see me put my hand on, upside down on my on my forehead like, oh. <laughs> I haven't heard that word. Before. We've got Robin in at 31, looking for 32. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've heard distraught. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, that's not, not usually how it's expressed. For <laughs> right? <laughs> that was a polite way of putting it. <laughs> it's the only way I know. <laughs> Mad as hell. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. The ring size again. Just I think it was an eight, but let's make sure. No, that. it's a six and three quarters. Oh, six and six three quarters. Yeah, I was way Six off. and three quarters. You sure were. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we have Andrea in at 32. She usually does. Looking at jewelry, always cheers up Roberta. Sparklies. Thank you, Pat. I love <laughs> hanging out with y'all. Yes, this Even is if you just here for hanging out. Yeah, a great group of people to hang out with. Mm hmm. We always have fun together. I love the crowd, too. Yes, we do have a great group of people, for sure. Okay, out to Andrea. Invisible Thank you. Bidders in at 34. 34. Do we have your information, Invisible Bidder? I'm not sure. Um, you might have sent it to me previously. I think you did, but I don't remember for sure. We've got Andrea back Andrea's at 35. Back looking for 36. Oh, I think she was asking if I made this. Honey, no, I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking. Okay, I thought she, she is was talented, asking though. Who's, who the seller is right now. <laughs> I did, too. I did, too. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. I do make jewelry, but it's um, beaded. <laughs> okay, we have Andrea in. Okay, she has bought for you before. Okay, invisible bidder. All right. Okay, thank you, Susan. Let me actually write that down so I remember who you are. I think I'm going to get my notebook and write that down. Did you used to go by a different name? She in went by bidder? Susan Stricker. Okay. I do remember Susan Stricker. I definitely have you. All righty. We are at 37 to Andrea. Miss Vicky must have went to bed. To Invisible Bitter. Oh, sweetheart. Boy, it plays, pays to go through your stuff. I found all kinds of goodies today when I was <laughs> searching through my stuff and organizing it. Okay, Andrea I go through is through it every out, week, so and I still find. We are going cool once stuff. to Invisible Bitter. Me. Last chance, everyone. Okay, we are, yep, you still got time. We're going two times at $38. Okay, oh, tell me about it, Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon, who says I know how to all the new gizmos, <laughs> just more stuff to break is what the deal is. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. Fair warning. I think mine is 15 years old. I looked at a, a new one. They have so many gadgets and screens. And yep. They're crazy now. 
I mean, they practically drive themselves. They do back up and park for you by themselves. Oh, they do. <laughs> mm -hmm. All righty, let's call it sold to Invisible Bitter at $38. I'm going to go keep my Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you, everybody. That Thank you, Susan. Thank you for Thank your you. bids, ladies yep. and gents. Um, I probably, let me make sure I have you in PayPal, because in the beginning, um, I used to put things on index cards till I started using um, Pirate Ship. I'll check real quick and make sure I have you still, Susan. I think I do, but I'll check. This is a Charles Garnier Diamond Cut, also known as, um, oh, I forget what they were calling it, but I know it as Diamond Cut. Look at the glitter. It is Ooh. very beautiful. Um, there are markings. Let's see if I can get them to come up for you. Come on, baby girl, work. Maybe if I bring her up this way. Yeah, I don't have you in pirate ship, but let me check. Up and I like the shape of that, G. Yeah, it's got a wavy. It says Peru right there. And then yeah, over the here on again. this side, um, you can see his mark, the C with a plus, or either it's a cross and a G, and then 925. I'm starting this one out at 25. So. Okay. Starting bit of 25. Peruvian sterling named bracelet textured they were calling it textured Textured. Yes, susan doesn't look like i have you anymore so if you don't mind sending it again to my email that would be great i'll put that up for you here in a second i'm sorry go ahead guys that's we were, we were discovering the word textured <laughs> rediscovering the word <laughs> yeah we were trying to figure out what the word was and we find it. <laughs> that's pretty though that is pretty it's got thelma in at 25 it is a beautiful bracelet it most certainly is <clears throat> excuse yeah, me an eye catcher and if you're yeah. a reseller, is there, a there is a lot of meat on this, ladies and gentlemen. Meat on the bone. There's meat on everything you sell. Yes, yeah. that's a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. Are those little holes in it, like little decorative designs? Or is that spark? Oh, it's sparkly showing. Okay, I see. It's like that diamond dust oh. stuff is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. They use diamond dust. I like the curve in it like that. like that sometimes. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's a party Very one. Thelma, well, that does have your name on it. But I was with costume like jewelry, they like fake that. it with glitter, but this is the real thing. It looks like the real diamond dust stuff. Mm -hmm. And with that designer, it's yes, invisible bit or whoever you buy from, our information should be up there. But if you send it to Cindy, she'll send it to one of us if we need yeah, it. Yeah, I'll forward it. You don't have to send it to everybody. Uh, just send it to me and I'll get it to the other ladies. I probably have you on an don't be sorry. card. When I first started this, I put that's everything what I on use. index cards, but that's been a while. I do both. And then what I do index cards. Um, pirate ship, I don't bother to do that anymore, but so I do like using this. This is a seven. Well, I'm glad you came back, Susan. Yep. We've missed you. Yes, we have. Well, I never met you, so it's nice to meet you, Susan. <laughs> All right. We have them in at 25. We're looking for 26. And, gee, can you type the... Okay, you did. Never mind. Um, the maker in. I see you did that. 
And Berna wants to know the measurements. It's the oh, seven. Right she got it, the seven. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, I was trying to look through my index cards to save her time, but <laughs> I got a ton of them. All righty, we are at 25 to Thelma, going one time, still looking for 26. Beautiful piece. You looked that up earlier. Wasn't it over 100 for that? Yes, it was. Nothing was under 100 for it. Very nice. Yeah, one of those uh, foo, foo designers. All righty. We are going two times at 25. This is a good one to list, Thelma. Good deal on this. Brenda McGregor's in at 27. It says here he uh, started his career. Almost. Hmm? It's 1901 in Paris. That wow. was back in at 30. Masterful designer of jewelry. Brenda's so back in at 35. Vintage, huh? Yeah. yeah. Down was back in at 37. Darn, remember I was trying to figure out the other day, Roberta, who gave me those earrings that I showed you that I just found? It was Louise. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but I just found her card. That's why. Brenda's back in at 40. <laughs> Thelma, you know what you have to do. There you go. <laughs> that was <in> 44. <laughs> the magic number. <laughs> she went over her 33, so we had to get to the next. It usually works for her, <laughs> too. Yeah, I guess he's pretty famous. Yeah. Don't you love finding stuff like that, G? I do. I do, I do enjoy have finding good histories stuff like and this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes I you just know, hunt. like when you pick it up and look at it and feel it, you just know it's something special. I love the hunt. Exceptional quality. Thank you, Invisible Bitter. Send uh, Invisible Bitter sent the email. Thank you, Invisible Bitter, because I could not find that card. And I know I saw it the last time I looked through my cards, so I don't know where it went. Probably in this drawer somewhere. All righty. Brenda, are you going to go out or, or bid, honey? You have to go 45, I guess, Brenda. Yes, there must, have, I, there must be a typo there. Okay, we're going to go once. Brenda's out. To Thelma at 44. Magic number, Thelma. Great price. I'm convinced now, Thelma. <laughs> <laughs> Going twice to Thelma. It's 33 or 44. <laughs> We're going to do a fair warning to Miss Thelma. And she's saying hurry up, so I'm going to say sold for $44 to Thelma. <laughs> thank you, Brenda. Th thank you, Thelma. Thank you, everybody that bid. Thank you, Gianna. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Okay, my third piece here is a Naha pendant. Uh oh. It is only marked sterling. Let me see if I can get that to focus for you. Focus! This is cool. <laughs> there we go. It is only marked it's sterling. Such a nice... It's on an 18 inch rope chain. Thank you. Thank you for your bids, ladies. 
And I'm starting this one out at 20. Is that supposed to be symbolic of hands there? Like This, the Naha, you need to um, look it up. N-A-J-A. -A, um, mostly used in a lot of... Um, oh, my goodness. I'm tired. I'm start, starting to forget what they're called. Robert mm -hmm. had one the other night. Oh, <laughs> gosh. When you type that in, they're beautiful. They kind of look like the end of the... Um, what you call it, the, um, oh, what am I trying to say now? <laughs> squash blossom? Yes, I yes. Squash blossom. Blossom. yes that's yes. what I'm trying to say. This is a symbol <laughs> of good luck. I didn't want to be stupid. This is a symbol stupid. of good Not luck. Not stupid, but. <laughs> symbol of good luck. It was used among, um, among the Spaniards and all, many, many, many different, um, people or I guess you could say races um, good luck for their cattle their their farmlands and um, almost like a horseshoe I guess you could say so welcome this home is Sharon cool. welcome back and that is a piece of sleeping beauty right in there yeah as soon as that popped open I reckon oh yeah that's the thing they put on squash blossoms isn't it yeah because here they use it with the squash blossom. You get the end of the necklace. Yes. Wow, it's even fertility. Good luck, too. It's like a horseshoe, basically. It symbolizes good luck. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what I found here. And it says the Navajo has represented the Phoenician goddess of fertility. I think I'll stay away from that one. I'll stick with the good luck part. <laughs> yeah. With the probable paleolithic origins, the inverted crescent from the Naha by the Navajo has represented the Phoenician goddess of fertility. So, yes, if you are still fertile, you may not want this one unless you're trying to conceive. <laughs> 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 so we'll pass that. I think you oh, get that killed. That is before. way, way in my room. <laughs> about that <laughs> <laughs> all righty we are looking for 30 on this guys beautiful yes people. sure welcome home wow some of those are quite pricey Woo, guys, are. looking at some of these individual ones oh maybe i should get you a measurement if i can find that tape wow. They really take that seriously. Some of these are like well, two fifty for some of these Naha pendants. There you go. You got an inch and a half. Those squash inch blossom inch. necklaces are. Yeah, they are quite pricey. Yeah, they are. By themselves, just on the chain. Me. Here's one for four ninety five. Wow. Crazy. One seventy one. Good lord. Plug my phone in. Yeah. 239, 201. Well, they really take those seriously. They're very pricey. Okay. Well, if nobody else is going to bid, I'm going in at 30. <laughs> yeah, the J, like in the. Uh, Spanish is pronounced like a H. All right, I am in at 30. We're looking for 31. I'll save this for when my son Jack um, <laughs> gets married. <laughs> I give it to his wife so I can have grandchildren. <laughs> okay. I'll let him borrow it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll sneak it to the wife. <laughs> He'll freak out. <laughs> yeah, to me, it sort of looked like hands, like helping hands reaching down there to help or something when I first looked at it. All right, we need 31 on, guys. $31 on this. And this... um. 
every one of these I looked at were quite pricey, very surprisingly so. And this one's Mark Sterling, so That's obviously cute. a vintage piece. Oops, what did I just knock off? Oh. Okay, we are looking for 31. You guys, Robert, you're going to have to call this one a Roberta because I'm bidding, but I don't believe they're going to let me have it that easy. You there, Roberta? I'm saving my voice. I gotcha. Oops, that was in a 33. Did you look them up too, Thelma? Wasn't that surprising? Like even the more modest ones? I was surprised. Yeah. <clears throat> Lost my chat. There it is. Turn it the other way. I'll be praising the Lord. No, I did not. I lost <laughs> my earrings. Oh, darn it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Sweet pea. You have no idea how much silver and stuff I'm going to find when I clean out these boxes that I keep all my recycle stuff in. I'm forever knocking pieces into that box. Well, I see a 35. Oh, no, honey. I just said... Uh... Oh, no. Them, I was just saying then did you a 35. Too? I was surprised at how much these necklaces go for and it comes with a chain yes and a piece of turquoise as only we can do Thelma <laughs> multitask whatever we do got to anymore. Although I have to admit it got me today. All right, Thelma, you're going to... I'm always multitasking oh. myself, I swear. That's why um, I feel like I never get things done sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying Thank to you, do Thelma. Too All right, we're going to go once. Done. Thelma's out. We're going to go once to Cindy for 35. Thank you, Thelma. We'll go twice to Cindy for 35. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will do a fair warning, ladies and gents. And I'm actually buying this for myself, guys. <laughs> that is very nice. Sold to Cindy, Gianna. Thank you, ladies, for your bids. Yep. Thank you, Gianna, for your beautiful product thank you thank you for the information okay that was number three all righty i think we're back to me okay. and cindy i believe that is what my last got? round my family's telling me it's time to go meanies okay no problem <laughs> yeah i love you thank you so much yeah i think we're just gonna do one more round awesome. two and call it a night all right, guys, I am going to bring this out. This is the Hishi Turquoise and the Shadow Box Bear Paw. And then the um, Porcupine Quills, um, Liquid Silver, the Leafs. Very nice piece. And I think it's signed. I can't remember what it's signed. Um, I bought this from a lady in West Virginia and and I wish I had written it down. It's Mark Sterling in a couple of different places. The lady who made it, her last name was Hoped. But I did not remember the, and the, these are also Sterling, these little cones. I know a lot of times those are stainless, but it's all Sterling. And I'm starting this at um, 45. Okay. Our starting bid is 45. A little turquoise in there. Then the hishi. Everything is sterling on it. 
and it's made to wear like this. My sister would love that. She's so. It has this everything really. Everything she owns is Indian flair to it, southwestern flair. My sister too. My sister Melody. She everything in her house. This, uh, yeah. Furniture yeah. made out of a Navajo print in her like TV. Sure. I think those are pretty expensive. So beautiful. These yeah. porcupine quills are definitely expensive. And I was surprised at the texture of them. I thought that, to, to, that they would be more, they actually feel like sand in, or stone if you rub them on your teeth. I thought they would be more flexible, but they're not. I think I read an article wow. where they used to throw a blanket over a porcupine and they pulled the blanket off the quill moth in the blanket. Uh, yeah, it might well, that shoot wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt I know they can shoot no. quills, right? Yeah, I was surprised. I don't know that it's shooting, shooting them. I think it's... No, they got you know, a little I don't think they can off. actually... We're not like a skunk. <laughs> now they'll shoot at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I've seen dogs with them in their face before. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's a smell Me too. you never forget. Yeah. I, um, gorgeous piece I knew a girl that got them from roadkill. She just hunt the roads. She made beautiful jewelry a lot like this. And mm. um, she would be on the side of the road all the time. I couldn't believe how many. I, I did see one dead on the side of the road the other day, and I was really shocked. It was one of the first ones I've ever seen on the side of the road. I don't know how she found so many. What's wrong, yes. sweet pea? Oh. <laughs> Even this little piece right here is marked on the shadow box. That piece is marked sterling, too. Gorgeous piece. Cindy, help. <laughs> Well, see if it doesn't sell, I'll put it up and bring it out another time. I'll hold it back. Yeah, very beautiful. Very nice. I don't see any bids, my dear. All Anybody right. interested in this this evening? We will hold it back. I think they went to sleep on us. Okay, so... Um, they're well, just waiting for a special piece. I remember this one when Sandy had that one last night, and I said I had one like it. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> it's the same one Sandy had last really? night. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to send it to my sister. My sister lost the bid last night, so I'll send that one to her. Okay, so next up, I am going to bring out this lovely. Um, strand of lapis i don't know if we have any crafters in there i just found this the day when i was going through my stuff it's one of the strands i have left over from tucson of the lapis it's a beautiful color of mm -hmm. blue nuggets they're Let's a little bigger than chips, but not quite nuggets some kind of in between and let me give you a measurement on how long it is it is 34, 35 inches of lapis. Let me see here. Let me make sure I'm wow. that right. Yeah, closer to 32, about 34 and a half inches of lapis. There are beautiful, beautiful blue tones in there. And then I am adding to that this wow, mother Pat. of pearl. It's mother of pearl beads with um, the angel skin coral and jade beads. And I don't know about the little balls there. They looked a little tarnished, so they could be brass. It looks like it has a brass um, barrel clasp, so probably brass, but beautiful necklace. And I am going to start this lot at 20. Okay. Nice. bit is 20. Nice color lapis, on that lapis and the crafters in there. Cute little necklace, too. Yeah, it's got some very nice color in that. 
angel skin coral which angel skin coral is the most expensive of all of the corals it is this is 19 inches long on the mother of pearl and coral necklace is 19 inches and you can extend these by screwing in another barrel class necklace to it. Mm -hmm. Or bracelet. Yes, or bracelet, exactly. Any interest in this, ladies and gents? Got some nice mother of pearl in there, too. A lot of good shine to it. That's a luster. Beautiful on the pink coral, though, and the jade. Gorgeous necklace. Indeed, it is. I don't see any interest, in Medea. The color on that last lapis. I think this is the <laughs> Afghani lapis, which is mostly what we saw in Tucson. Was the Afghani lapis? Jana couldn't stand it. She sneaks back in. <laughs> All right, G. I found one of the strands from Tucson this morning, G. When I was organizing. I thought I had sold it all, but I found one. I had one left. All righty. If there is no interest, I will move on. Okay. How about we try to do some pearls? And I believe this is red agate. I know. It's kind of cool, huh, Pat? It is. Red agate, I guess it could be carnelian, but it looks like red agate to me. Very pretty. And they just stare at me. They don't understand. Um, let's see what it is marked. There is a little tag on here. HDNY. I'm not sure what that means, but HDNY on the tag and beautiful pearl and these could be let me look at the hole and see if they're glass or stone okay so the edges are sharp usually with glass the edges of the hole are more rounded so they're probably stone um, but beautiful onyx and then i'm going to throw in this mother or this onyx and pearl bracelet so these two pieces this is very long, beautiful piece. We're going to start this at um, 15 for both pieces. Cool, Sharon. That's pretty. It's my kind I'll of give you a link on this pearl and onyx. Very ladylike. No offense there, Robert. <laughs> this is. No wine for me tonight. This is 50 inches actually on the pearl and um, yeah, 50 inches on this necklace. And if you don't like it like it is, there is enough um, of the red agate beads in here to do something else with it. But it's a gorgeous piece and I'm sure those are probably onyx. Very pretty. It is indeed. These are nice big potato <coughs> pearls on this one. Nice size on the onyx beads too. Those are huge pearls. This does have That's one so of pretty, these. Pretty girls don't wear pearls. They just don't wear pearls like they used to. I do. Yeah. I wear them all the time. I love my pearls. I've been known to wear my interested my scrubs if I got the right color. <laughs> oh, how'd I do that? Did you the bracelet? Definitely more than fifteen dollars in pearls and agates here for sure. 
to see if this is marked anything on the class. Pat, I loved a little mirrored box you made the other day, the video I watched it. That was really cute. You saw the little mirrors on the outside. Yeah, the little clasp on there is not marked anything, but they're both just gorgeous. Beautiful. They are, and I see no bids. Hmm. These agates are beautiful. I'm drinking I'm drinking tea, water, and diet coke. <laughs> Every part of the room has another drink somewhere. Oh. All no, right, no family comes up. My humans don't come and check on me. I'll move along. Okay, so we are going to start this one at 15. And this is Joyce. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. A little quick nap. <laughs> this is going to be a choice of, and the starting bit is going to be 15. Because I have chains on both of these, and one of them is a really nice, heavy um, vintage You make sterling beautiful things. Chain. It's a really nice chain. Okay, so $15. Starting bid for the Fleur de Lis with the nice chain. This may be Fleur de Lis. I think this is. The chain on this one is worth it. This is a 20 inch chain. And it's a nice heavy chain. As you can see in comparison with the other. And then the second choice is this gorgeous Marcusite Star of David. Beautiful. Yes, it is. Beautiful piece, and I think that is an 18-inch <laughs> chain on that one. Yep, 18-inch chain. This is from Italian. Let me see. Yes, this is Italian silver on this chain. And this is marked 925 and the SU, again, which I see on a lot of the Thailand silver. I see that SU mark, so I don't know what that means, but I do see that mark a lot, the SU. And this one is marked 925, and it has a copyright. Some kind of something in the circle. Not sure what it is. <laughs> Beautiful pieces, though, both of them. Very sparkly. Any interest at 15, ladies and gents? Very sparkly indeed. I just like the Fleur de Lis. This puppy is snoring his head off. I bet y'all can hear Great him. Great chain. This chain is worth the 15 for sure. Oh, that vintage chain. Yeah, it's a vintage chain. <laughs> Shirley's in. Alrighty, Shirley. Shirley's in at 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got 15, looking for 16. Anybody in looking for spinner rings? Anybody's interested in spinner rings, holler and I'll bring some out. I haven't seen very many rings from that heavily. I still. No, I'm gonna I know, I'm sitting here looking something. at my racks thinking, what, what ring should I bring out? Anybody's I think got I a spy. Some rings out too. 
after we sell this one. Nobody else's interest. We're going to go once on this. So nice having my husband home now. I bet. I bet you gave him a honey-do list like he's never seen before, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I really haven't. What's it's coming? Oh, we have all sizes, Shirley. Um, nope. well, let us know what sizes you want to see. I've got from a five all the way up to a 12 and a half or a 12. We're going to do a fair warning for Shirley. I think I've even got a four, size four, <laughs> but choice. And let's go ahead and call this sold. For Shirley sure, okay. at Which 15. One Which one, Cheryl? Or both. She'll take both, Miss Cindy. Thank you, Shirley. All righty. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, goodbye. Actually, I need to put these in two separate bags so I do not get the chains tangled. <laughs> don't want to do that. No, and I will. Alrighty. Okay, so next up, let's try a ring. You want to see smaller sizes or bigger sizes? I have a couple spinner rings. Is that a spinner? Yeah, that's a spinner ring. Okay, I have this one. Where did it go? What size of ring is everyone looking for? Oh my gosh, I just had it in front of my face. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is, this one is diamond chips in here. Shirley wants bigger. This is a size, this one's bigger. So this is a size seven, and that's diamond chips. And this is a size 11, and it's sterling and brass. Got kind of that wheat pattern. Cannot think of the name of that link off the top of my head. Kind of like a herringbone, but it's not what it is. Um, and this one is marked 925 there. And this one is marked. This one's marked. YGI, which I guess is the maker's name, 925 in China, but this one is Diamond Chips. The starting bid is going to be 22, and that's choice of. And I checked this out carefully earlier today to make sure nothing was missing, and nothing is missing. And one stone looks a little that one right there i thought that was missing but there is actually a stone there it just needs a cleaning but they're all there let me check one more time 22 for choice sure. yeah choice of 22 dollars starting bid is seven and i think an 11. Yeah, I just checked that they're all there. Yeah, I think this one was an 11, but yeah, just shy of an 11 on this one. So, 
Dove Store, 7-Eleven. This one's pretty. This one looks two-toned, <laughs> too. Doesn't that look like gold and silver there? Let's I don't know if we have those anymore. Yeah, I think that is actually vermeil, like this outer rim here. Looks gold. And then the inner rim is silver. But it does have uh, holes on the back to let the light through the little diamond chips. And those are totally chips. They're tiny. Got Lady Chickapoo in at 22. Gosh, this dog is snoring his head off. This would look really nice if you took some brass polish to it or just some um, silver cleaner would shine that brass up too. Pretty. So we're at 22, looking for 23. Yep. Uh, stop it at my door. They must have gone to bed because now the dogs are trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> the children. Yes. The children. Yes, this is going to be our last round. I'm going to do one more after this, and then Roberta will do our three, and then we will call it her three. Then we will call it a night, and we will be back tomorrow with Robert and Anne. So I'm excited about having Ann on. Um, can't wait for you to see um, her artwork. Her stuff is just like creations of art. Uh, let me go let these dogs in before they scratch up on my door. Can you hear them scratching? That's the cute. Door? Sounds like mine. Let us in, please. Dad has gone to bed. They're bored. <laughs> Start with me, go lay down. All right, it's just the idea to be near us. Unique in at 23, like looking for 24. Um, yeah, I think it's a seven on this one, Sharon, but because it's a um, spinner, you couldn't stretch this. But yeah, this one's a seven. Yeah, you can't adjust them very much. Or they won't spin. Yeah. Well, this one, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know how much I would try. There is a little bit of play there. So you could maybe a hair, but I wouldn't go too much. And I'm afraid to put that back in there. I don't want to knock one of those stones out. This is a really pretty one, though. I really like this one. It's just a hair too short for me or I wanted to I was going to keep it but it won't fit I mm -hmm. bought it with intentions of keeping it but it's a little too small for me and I lose Lady them back I, back in 24 mm. sorry well, the spin is a little loose on that one, so I guess you could. It is probably a good thing because I would sit there and do this all day. <laughs> Every time I get stressed out at work, I would start flipping spinning. that thing. Start, yeah, right. start spinning it. Well, okay. Looks like. Shirley's out. out, so we're going to go once. They were the only two bidders. Mm -hmm. Dang, I think we just realized what time it is. I think we kept Gia past her bedtime, too. <laughs> <laughs> so the other night, I think. And we are going to call it sold. Lady Chickapoo needs a, 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 
<laughs> stress reliever. <laughs> stress reliever. Thank you, ladies. All righty. So, Doctor Frost, twenty-four. Which one do you want, Miss Lady Chickapoo? Let me get my bags ready while we wait here. Um, Dion, if you're still listening, yes, I will get with you on that. Um, I think all you have to do is edit the shipping address. Um, but you may have to wait until like just before you check out to do it. Lady wants both, please. Both? Yep. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, Gail. But yeah, there is a way you can do it because I've done it before and I'll look at it again to try and remember how I did it as soon as I get off G and then I'll message it. That was 24, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now I need to buy more spinner rings. That was my last two. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. We sold a bunch of them. We have sold so many spinner rings since we started doing this. They're pretty popular. Yeah, they are. They always sell quick. I have three. I'm going to... I have three of them so, right here. Um, I got that barbed wire from you. Spinner yeah. ring. I really like it, but it's too small. Mm -hmm. Barely fits on what my What size feet. was it, Robert? I don't remember. I think a nine. Do y'all want to see another ring, or do you want to see a pendant? I thought this you want pendant me to be on the lookout, Robert. And this ring. Hmm. What? Want me to want me to be on the lookout for a larger one? No, I got one that fits me. It's kind of a the spinner is a chain link, and it fits me. How about we go with the smoky quartz? And I'll bring the pendant out next time. This, I, this does have smoky quartz. It kind of is a David Yerman style going on here. Um, oops, let me get that open. Why did I do that? Put tape on it so I wouldn't forget the size, but then I twisted it so I can't raise the size anyway. Okay, it's marked 925. It is not a David Yerman, but it is kind of a David Yerman knockoff. I don't think, I think he signs all of his, but it is um, almost an eight or a nine, I mean. It's like between an eight and a half and a, it's about eight and three quarters, so it's a good size ring. And this is a really big um, smoky oh. quartz. Smoky topaz. Smoky topaz, yeah, that's what I meant to say. And I just, I did test it. Beautiful, nice large ring, though. We're going to start this one at 30. A lot of bling there. Yeah, a lot of bling. Mm -hmm. If it were a little bit bigger, I would have kept it. It's not quite big enough for my index finger and way too small for this one, too big for that one. So it doesn't go over my knuckle very well. Yeah, I wanted Excuse to. Excuse me, that's a dilemma. When I got it, it was another one that didn't fit any of my fingers correctly. That sometimes determines whether I'm going to sell it or keep it. You can always tell when you get the right one. It just fits perfect. Why does that look like there's pearls reflecting off of that? What is it? Cannot figure out what that stone is reflecting off of. Those pearls are not even on the counter. Weird. Huh. <laughs> it's reflecting something. No, it's got to be um, either your nails or... The band. 
I think it's a band. Oh, I think it's the band. Yeah, it's the band. Yeah. Uh, it's the band. <laughs> We're seeing. See through it. Okay. <laughs> Definitely it's time for band, night night. Elroy. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> color on this, though. Really pretty color. It is. Looking for thirty dollars. I remember my grandmother having a big um, smoky quartz ring that she wore, but it was gold, not silver. And she wore that forever, you know, uh, her whole life. I remember she always had that on her finger. And I remember being amazed as a kid. I just thought she was like a millionaire because she had that big old ring on her finger. Yeah. It was like the biggest ring I had ever seen. <laughs> and you were little back then too. Yep. I don't know whatever happened to that ring. That was a gorgeous ring. I sure would like to have that now. I think one of my sisters might have it. I like this round one though. I like the round shape of this one. I don't know if you all have seen David Dillon's rings, but he's kind of known for this braided band kind of thing. Anybody interested at $30? So when people see it, they're going to ask you, is that a David Yearman? <laughs> <laughs> it does have a nice checkerboard cut. I don't know if you can see that. Well, maybe it doesn't. I swear it looks like a checkerboard cut. Let me look from the other side. Oh, it is a checkerboard. Okay. From there. Yep, it is a checkerboard. All right. Okay, if there's no interest, I will move on. What else you all looking for? All right. How about we try the pendant then? Okay, now it's kind of late in the evening for this, but this is beautiful. Look at that color on that. The blue yes. lace agate. Gorgeous. It's Mexico silver. It has that CII mark. And it's got a nice, long, pretty snake chain. This chain is substantial enough to hold the pendant. I don't think you'll need to put a bigger chain on it. I think it's, unless you want a bigger, but I think the chain is big enough for the pendant. It is a, it looks like 18 inch chain. We're going to start this one at 35. Big bail on it. Okay. So it would uh, accommodate a very large chain. Beautiful piece, though. Just Very gorgeous. Pretty. Gorgeous blue agate. Got a little bit of that crazy lace going Indeed. on in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that actually looks like a crazy lace agate, doesn't it? Gorgeous. I believe it is a crazy lace now that I'm seeing it up close. Yeah, yeah. Blue crazy lace. Great. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks like ocean waves. Yeah. I'm half blind, so I didn't see the pattern in there until I focused on camera. It just looked like a banded got lace. Down, excuse me, got down in a 35. Gorgeous, Love that. gorgeous piece, though. Again, it is the Mexico sterling, so it's got good weight and definitely great craftsmanship. Yep. And a very nice chain. I don't know what to show. 
This is my last piece for the night, guys, and we're going to switch over to Roberta. So we are looking for 36 on this. Definitely worth it and very good craftsmanship as the Mexico Sterling is. If you do not own a piece of Mexico Sterling, this is definitely the piece to buy. It's beautiful. I think they're some of the best silver craftsmen. We got Berna in at 36. Berna's in at 37. Sorry. No. That's quite all right. right. <laughs> Mona Lee says 30 for the ring, please, Cindy. Okay. The, um, this one, the um, smoky. Smoky Topaz. The one you okay. just had? You got it, my damn. I think so. Thank you, Mona Lisa. Thank you, Mona. Oops. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be an option if I didn't drop something. There we go. That was in at 37. Burn is in at 38. Thelma's out. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you, Miss Thelma. To Verna at 38. Go ahead and do it going twice. You're most welcome, Mona. I'll do a fair warning. You're welcome. And we are going to call this sold. Thank you so much, Verna. Thank you for your bids. Thank you for staying up. All right, I'm going to put up Roberta. This is um, Roberta's last round, and we will be back this time tomorrow. Okay. Much earlier, actually. <laughs> I have two turquoise rings. This one says 925 India. We're going to start these at 38, actually. This is beautiful. It is a size... Uh, this is a size five and a half. Very pretty. Nice. Where do you want to start it's marked with it? Right along here. Which said 38. 45. Oh, 38. Okay. 38. Sorry about that. Gotcha. Oh, gosh. 38. This is a size six and a half. I said three eight. It is Oh, sorry. I, that was a typo. Oh, yeah. Good. She did. It was a I typo. We just hit the wrong key. Okay, there you go. This is not marked, but tested. And if there's no interest, we're going to scooch right along. All right. It takes a few minutes. The chat is moving really slow, so give it a second, Ralph. Yeah, give it a second. Nice. This is beautiful. So the again. brown is in it is so pretty. Pardon? What size are they again? This one is... <laughs> Robert just could have said that. <laughs> Alright, this one is... <laughs> oh, gosh, my eyes. This is a five and a half. This one. And this little baby is a five and a quarter. Either or. Oh, that's pretty neat, Verna. You know, I like that darker. Brown, this is so pretty. So I really love that color. Yeah, I like the stone. 
Very pretty rings. I'm trying to find something I think you guys are interested in. Andrea wants to see the five on a pinky, I guess. See how it looks. That's five and a quarter, I think, and I'll check again, Andrea. Yeah, that's a nice stone there. I suppose some people would wear it like that. Or like that. I'm sure it would look much prettier on yours. Yes. <laughs> it's calling your name. Yep. Turquoise. <laughs> Saying bye me. Take me home. Almost a five and a half on this one. No, five and a quarter. I personally a am quarter. adding as much turquoise to my personal collection as I can because they're about to shut some of those mines down again. That's five and a half. Yeah, I hate to part with my turquoise. I know. Sometimes um, I have to. I'm adding as much as I can to my personal collection because the price will skyrocket when they start shutting mines down again. Okay, if there's no interest, up they go. Yeah. Do you all want to see some spinner rings? Why not? Some more spinner rings. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got... These rings are a seven, I believe. Let me check. This is a size seven and a quarter. This is so pretty, but these are glass. This is sterling. I hope you can see the green in that. It, it's just gorgeous. But, uh, all right. Is it sure garnet? What did you say it was? This one, no, this, is, this only registers as glass. But it's glass. green. Okay. It's it's like a uh, what do you call that topaz? Uh, oh, it's like a rainbow. Oh, it's a mystic topaz. topaz. Or the, it's like a mystic topaz. Yeah, it is. This is like a mystic topaz. Mm -hmm. This is this is amethyst. It's a light purple. In a dark purple in their hearts, one smaller than the other. They've got little chips there. I couldn't test the chips. It's sterling. It's also, <clears throat> excuse me, a seven. So either or, we'll start these at 22. Those are Francis style rings. Uh, she's not in tonight. She's not feeling good. Or her husband's not feeling good, but um, those are so her I'm style. Sorry about that. She loves <coughs> that me. kind of stuff. I like that two toned on the purple. Mm hmm. And we have a 22. Okay, we'll move along. Either or. I'd like to get a couple more things in if nobody's interested. We'll put these spinner rings out. Okay. If you change your mind, let me know, gals. All right, I've got three spinner rings, so it will be choice of. And guys, I've sorry, Doug, if you're still in. This is... um kind of cool the way it looks this oh, one, one I like that one's very cool this is a size nine it's marked right in there this is a thinner ring and it is a size gosh, eight and a quarter just every so often it's got a little design on it can you hold it still so we can get a look at it oh i'm sorry yeah i'm gonna hold them all up let me just get the 
Oh, sizes, you have got yeah. more. Okay, never mind. I thought you would just have the two. Okay, keep going. You can show them to us after you bring them all out. This is a little over an eight. So you've got three different styles. We're going to start these at 22. Very heavy, these two. I see that. And they were all nines. Yeah, that's kind of a really cool design, the way they weave that um, weave that wire like in and out of that on very cool. This is really, I know, that's cool. Eight I and like three that, quarters. Yeah. This is really eight and three quarters. Dang, it's my size too. Hmm. We've got unique this in This is eight 22. and one quarter. Eight and a quarter. We got unique in at 22, looking for 23. This is eight and a quarter, also. So, eight and a quarter, eight. Oops, I didn't do it. Oh, <laughs> she's gone. She's coming back. There she is. Yeah. There she is. Well, I just Did put you it oh, no. out. <laughs> You're back. No, no, it just went out. It just did that by itself. Um, so there you go, guys. Mona in at 23, looking for 24. Sometimes they have a mind of their own. Nice hefty. These two are nice and hefty. This is well made. It's just not as hefty. We got Unique back in at 24. I need to find one of those to fit my son, Jack. Every one I've had does not fit him, and a fidget ring would be because he's a fidgeter, so it would be perfect for him. I have stainless steel ones, then. I'll have to look and see what you have, if you have anything. I'm going to have to measure him again because he's a, a weird in between size like nine and three quarters oh. or something like that i don't remember but i can't find one that fits him so far we have mona is out so we're going one time at 24 um vicky sent him he would not wear rings but vicky sent him a ring and he loves it he's been wearing it so finally got him to start wearing jewelry cool. yep <laughs> It's you got to get used to it. Like if you're not used to wearing rings, like when you first put one on, it's strange. Mm -hmm. You know, you feel it there all the time. Okay, we are at 24. Looking for 25. We are going one time at 24 to unique. And I'm hoping my uh, my husband's ring is finished by our anniversary so I can finally get him to wear it. If he doesn't wear it, I'm going to kick him. <laughs> Fair warning. Kick him yeah, hard. Anniversary, our 30-year anniversary <laughs> is in October 27th. Oh, that was so far in my rearview mirror. <laughs> and I spent a lot of money having that ring made for him. So he better wear it. I'm having him one made out of gold with um, coral inlay. Nice. Alrighty, awesome. let's call this one sold to unique at 24. You choose unique. Which one ones we or, or three or all? Give them a number so she can. There won't be any confusion. One, two, John was three. Yeah. One, two, three. Are you wiggling your fingers? One. The wave ring, two. size nine. Okay. This one? Yeah, I think that's okay, the thank one. You, thank okay, you, Unique. Thank you, Unique. I got a bunch of them. Um, the other oh, two, yes, you can Mona, ask. are you interested in either of the other ones, Mona? 
bring those back out so Lona can see them. Hold on one second. Let me close this bag so I don't lose it. Okay, so on the right we call one, on the left we call number two, so just whether you want the right or the left, Mona. Skinny, healthy. Skinny, healthy. <laughs> skinny one and a fat one. No, skinny, healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that oh, right. Yeah, my granddaughter is going through a... Uh, she wanted to say one. She's, uh, okay, hon. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. All right. I have a Thank pile you. of... I have a pile of goodies here. We're going to start this at 20. Oh, gosh, let me, I'll do that later. All right, I've got glass beads that are green that are painted. These are so pretty. I have got these that are some sort of dyed. I'm just not sure. I wish you could see how beautiful these are. Wow, those are gorgeous. Those are the color pink of and purple light. is just maybe they're not dyed. I thought Vicky said they Thicker might have been dyed. Me too, G, right? <laughs> then I have got this that is so pretty. These have little um, toggles. So pretty. This is all glass. Those look like crystals there. Those are pretty with amethyst. Um, is that amethyst? Yes. Or these, right these, come up as am these come up as amethyst. Okay. Then I have this one. Look at this stone. Can you see that blue in that stone? I love that. Yeah. I've never seen a stone like that. And I don't know if these are... My dog... I don't know if these are lap, uh, lapis. Very, very pretty. Wow, that's a great lot for 20. Nice. Isn't that? Mm -hmm. Then I have hey, this that is, stone um, still magnetized. I really didn't get a this good one? look at it. Yeah. I don't know that's if you can see how. Mm -hmm. That looks like, like that. Uh, the one somebody had last night. Oh, Berna is interested in the eight and a quarter spinner. Hold on, Verna. Let me ask. Uh, the thin, Verna. I got a. All right, this is this one's eight and a quarter. That's a nice one there. And this one is also eight and a quarter. So yeah. thick or thin? So skinny or healthy? <laughs> <laughs> thick or thin? <laughs> Feast or famine? <laughs> <laughs> Feast or famine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep on going with your stone lot. We'll let you know what she decides. Makes up her mind. I know. I've got to see how much they sold for. Okay. Feast or oh, famine? Okay. Okay, so this one is um, magnetized howlite, but these are uh, labradorite. Somebody made this little, reminds me of something in the ocean, but you can see the flash every, you've got to turn it just right, but it is labradorite, and these are amethyst chips, and it's on a wow, little guys, toggle. that's an amazing lot for 20 bucks. So there Where's you go. Those are beautiful just the way they are, but that's a jackpot for crafters. Oh, they are. Wow, did you decide, honey? This, the chat's moving really slow. I'll let you know when okay. she... Okay, we'll just put it back. Yeah, we'll just put it back there. All right, so there you go. All right, guys, beautiful glass and stone lot there. 
Where is uh, Lydia? Lydia would love this lot too. Yeah, she would. Yeah. That's okay. Come back another time. Verna wants the healthy. <laughs> she wants <laughs> All the right. The Deep feast. The healthy one. Yes, Verna. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Let's hope to keep it healthy. Okay, we'll put these aside and let's put some other rings out there. I'm going to put these two rings out there. We're going to start these at 24. Let's this see. is a beautiful. This is a size six and a quarter. This is onyx and I don't know what this is. This white stone. So pretty. Very thick. Beautiful. It is marked 925, and I want to say Thailand. No, just 925. So this one, size 6. And then I have this one, Mother of Pearl and Onyx. This is a size 7, almost 7 half. This is marked... Nine two five Thailand. So there you go. Bill me for that last lot and send it to Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. How about we just send it to Vicky? How about you bill me for it and send it to Vicky? No, that we'll is just send just it to Vicky. spectacular. So what's your starting bid on this? Twenty four. 24 choice of oops sorry guys uh cindy's i don't know what this is i don't know what stone that is there we go there we go like this is like a dome ring do you remember that bar brooch i sold about a month ago that would go perfect how can i forget it you. Still kicking myself and not buying it. Okay, it disappeared. That one, the one on your ring finger right now. I don't know who bought mm -hmm. that bar brooch, but if you're still in, that would go perfect with that. The big that's square. not mother of pearl though. That's not that's Oh it's I don't not. know what it is. It's too it's too it's too it, thin. It's what's the word I'm looking for? This is mother of pearl. This is, is more it a white it's not it sort of an off white color. No, it's, it's pretty, pretty white. white. But I just don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of stone it is. And this is flat, and this is cut like a checkerboard. Got it. Gorgeous. It doesn't have any matrix in it. It looks like... If that didn't like, test for um, the black one, if it didn't test for uh, what this black stone is, my is not working. Spinel, it's probably onyx, and if it didn't test for spinel. White? White onyx? The black one. The black one. If the black, oh, you know, it could be white oh, onyx, no. yeah. But white onyx is usually kind of an off white. It's not a real stark well, white. It's not bright, bright white, and it's got a little bit of, not lines to it, but looks like it's mixed. I don't know. I can't explain it. No telling. Anyway, there's no interest. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, wow. Mona Lisa, possibly white onyx. Um, but they're both beautiful. So starting bid is 24. Mm -hmm. That would be stunning on. Might be white coral. That's true, too. Don't know. The white stone are hard to identify as the green ones are. <laughs> yeah, that's all I see. <laughs> I wish they could come up with a machine to test stones, but that would be pretty tough to do, I think. Um, Gianna wants to know the sizes. She missed your sizes. Is aren't they pretty too? Oh. That square one is Sorry, honey. beautiful. Oh, gee. The like dome one <laughs> is seven and a half. 
This is a seven and a half. And this odd looking one that's still beautiful is six, like six and a quarter. That's very similar to that. Um, uh, what was that stone in the one I had? I think it was inlaid with, um, oh my God, the shell, not never a pearl, but the other one, I can't even think. Yeah, it's very similar to that one. Gorgeous. Good night, Elizabeth. Thank you for staying up so late with us. Thank yeah, you, thanks. Elizabeth. Thank you, honey. Yep, if we All didn't right. wear you out too much, come and join us tomorrow night for Robert and um, I know, right, G? That's my problem, too. <laughs> okay, we're moving along. Too small. G got there. Okay. I don't know who has. I think the these are beautiful. Like these are just. Um, I both have an endless supply of silver, both of you. This is a size six. It is so gorgeous. We're going to start these also at 24. Oh my gosh. This, that is gorgeous. I have not seen gorgeous. that one before. You've been hiding that one. This is a size 10. Gorgeous. So here's our size. <laughs> I know that. I just said 10. Okay. Just set a six on this one. Size six. This is so pretty. Look at it. That is gorgeous. That Bali style again. Wow. Fonse. says. That's a Mary Pelletier Fonse. ring. Fonse. Where is Mary? She hasn't been in tonight, has she? Her or Ruth. Dinner. We snuck in a Saturday on them. Nine to five. And this also says 925 China. See the stone again? Did you test that big white one? Mm hmm. Glass. Glass. They're gorgeous, though. Wow, who cares? They're still but beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? I love that Bali it style. There's no interest. Give it a second. Any interest at 24 on these? Well, you've only had them up there a minute. Give them a chance to. Any <laughs> tiny sizes? I have some tiny marcasite that are beautiful. Any tiny little sizes? You pull the switcheroo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Unique wants oh, to dead. know what size those are. One is a size 10. This is a China one. This has a couple of dings in the... I mean, it's sterling, but... So that's a... That's a size 10. And this real pretty baby one is a size 6. Okay, so the one with the larger Bali style is a six, and the other one is a ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Andrea Baker is a five. You know what, Andrea? Tomorrow or my next auction, I'll have some fives for you. I've got, I've got a few fives. I've got a really pretty um. Oh God, I can't. This even is think a size that. five. We'll do this also at the same price. Oh, this Unique is, a is size in at five. 24. See, now you've got to slow down. Unique is in at 24. Right. That's quite yeah. all right. Bring on the back. <laughs> right Good night, there. Verna. Thank you for coming, honey. Verna, thank you. Thank you so much, all honey. Right. All right. So I think those are the ones she's bidding on. So we have Unique in at yeah. 24, looking for 25. The, the chat is moving very slow still, Roberta. Okay. So it just takes a while before we see that bid sometimes. All right, we are at 24 to Verna. We are looking for 25. We have a size 10 on the kind of floral looking design. And then the one with the larger stone is 
a size six. Six. And she will bring out a five for you in a minute, Andrea. So we are at 24 going once. Yeah, being able to test those now almost runs it for you sometimes because you see this beautiful stone and you just hope it's an amethyst and it turns out to be glass. And <laughs> it's just like, oh, bummer. I liked it better when I believed it was but an amethyst. I know what you could right? <laughs> No, I really am happy when I know, but this yeah, so I'm happy when I know. But you know what? Some of my own personal rings that I thought were something turns out they're not. They're glass. Going two times at twenty four. I don't even hardly wear my gold rings anymore. Strangely enough, I wear almost all sterling now because if they take a pounding, it's okay. All right. We are, um, Pat, they're both, those are both glass, right? The ones that you were just showing are yes. both glass? Mm -hmm. Yes, these yeah. are. Yeah, they're probably crystals more than likely. They are warning. Oh, goodness, that's only a four and three quarters. They've both got some sparkle to them, so that would be my guess. All righty, let's call this one sold at 24 to Unique. Which one do you want, Miss Shirley? You're welcome, sweetheart. What time is it in uh, Singapore? I think they're tomorrow. like almost the day of card. Yeah, I know it's tomorrow. She wants the size 10. Okay. Thank you, honey. Okay. All right. I have a size 5 Southwestern that I have to have 34. That's this one. Okay, so ooh, look at that. 30 is reasonable on that. Wow. Beautiful inlay. Yes, it is. Beautiful ring. So that's a size 5, Not and the starting bit is 30. This is a size 5. Wow, look at that, and Andre, a beautiful piece. Nice inlay. Boy, that would go really nice with your earrings, too, G. Too bad it's not your size. Okay, if you don't need want it. Well, give it a second here. It's moving very slow. Almost 2 p.m. there. And is it the... Sunday, 2 p.m. for you? So how many hours difference are you? Almost 12 hours difference, huh? Yeah, 12 hours difference. We've got Thelma in at 30, looking for 31. Oh, I forgot Thelma wears a small size, too. All righty. Did you see that one, Andrea? Can you bring that up close again? We are at 30 to Thelma. We're going to go once at 30. Beautiful. What's the dark reddish it stone is. in that one? Don't know. It almost looks like it's very, very one. dark for coral. It almost looks like mahogany jasper or something. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering what the brownish red looking stone in that is. I got this from um, Lori, Miss Lori Reeves. That's a gorgeous, very gorgeous. It could be mahogany jasper, Andrea. It's kind of dark, too dark for coral. Pipestone, Gianna says it's pipestone. Thank you, G. All 
Um, Very pretty. Let's see. If you bought from me, Shirley Ann, everything got shipped out on Friday. And I don't know, have you shipped from your last auction, Robert? Uh, everything that I hadn't shipped on Monday went out on Friday. Yeah, if, if you bought from me, it went out Friday morning, so you should probably have it by Monday or Tuesday, Shirley. I think you won a giveaway or something, too, from somebody last week. I don't remember. It should be there, though, any any moment. Yeah, no, Pirate Ship, I think, sends out a, uh, a tracking number. Yeah, check your email because I usually put the um, email in on Pirate Ship so you get a tracking number. If not, when we're done, I'll email you a tracking number. Okay, so we are going two times at 30 to Thelma. Yeah, and again, for those of you who are still left, I'm going to try and get my shipping done earlier because I have the rest of the weekend off. Um, I do have another option tomorrow, but I'm going to try and work on my shipping earlier this week. But normally I do my shipping and, and my invoicing on Thursdays. But if there is ever an occasion when you need it to before then, just for some reason you need it to get to you faster, special occasion or gift or something, just um, message me really? or email me and I will do yours right away. Yeah. Let me make a note because everything's out. Everything's out, Shirley. Fair warning. See. Hold on. Let me get this note, Shirley. I think I did get something for me. I just don't remember what. And then we look at last I will find out and send you the tracking number, Shirley. Everybody's get uh, everybody's packages are out. I always get them out early. Now this next week might not be as early because of a holiday. Plus, my van's going in to be worked on. My front end, kind of. Yeah, it looks like mine was a giveaway win for you, and that, that was shipped out. Um, the 23rd was on Wednesday. No, it's not. I'm the wrong month. I think it, this last past weekend she bought something. I remember her buying from the last auction last Sunday. Yeah, All right, let's call this one sold to Thelma. All right, Thelma. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you. Shirley, and I'll look right into that, honey. Okay. But I know everything's out. I have everything her info, is out. so um, I think I sent oh, I it to you, so I'm sure you sent? already shipped it, yeah. All right, so back to the little... Um, you do have a giveaway, rings. I think, coming from me too, Shirley Ann. These are size fives. We'll start these at 24. This is a pink mother of pearl. Very pretty. It's marked with the maker's mark. Sterling. This is marcasite. Oh, that's a really isn't yeah, that's Very a nice pretty. one, Thelma. I wish that was my size. I'd we'd have we'd have gone to battle on the bidding if that were my size. Thank you so much, Thelma. I'm glad you like it. What's that other ring? This is a market. Oh, that's not the one I'm looking for. This is the one I'm looking for. But anyways, this is too. This is just a little larger. So. Okay, so. 24 on any. This is a little. This is kind of cute. I was wondering what that stone was. It's a little mother of pearl. Pink. Okay, you, you're you moving a little too fast. It's hard for oh, us to I'm see. I'm sorry, that. honey. But I saw some flash in it. There you go. Now it's focusing. All right. That's nice. They polished that up nice. Mother of Pearl doesn't always keep its shine that long, so it's nice when they really polish it. It seems to get dull faster, so I like when they polish it like that. We got Lady Chickapoo in at 24. And then show those other two choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
I like this style on the one on your middle finger. We have Andrea, you'll have to come in a little bit higher, huh? Shirley Ann, I know it's um, sent, honey. I just pulled your card and I will find the tracking number and I will send it to your email. I have tracking numbers on everything I send out. That's why I like to hear from everybody if they get their stuff. She said her email is only on PayPal. Um, they're all the two on her are size fives. The one on her middle finger, the one on her ring finger are size fives. And it's marcasites on the middle one. And these are marcasites. This is a size, a size five and a quarter. Very pretty. Sorry, Thelma. Open sides. This little cutie is a four and a half. Oh, I thought they were fives. Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Marcusite. Cute little pinky ring. This is pink mother of pearl. It's a size five. This is the one that's marked so much. This has sterling. It has a maker's mark. It has a copyright. These, this one does. This one's well marked. This one is too, but I can't read it. It's 925 and then... Two initials. I can't really make out the initials. And this one is simply marked 925, I believe. Okay, so we have Andrea in at 25. We are looking for 26. Actually, this is marked Sterling. I can barely see it, but I do see it in there. Okay. Let me make sure. I'm sorry, y'all. It's got a maker's mark and sterling. So this has a maker's mark and sterling. Also there, let me put them there and I'll hold still. <laughs> All right, we have Thelma in at 26. Lady Chickapoo is back at 27. Thelma's back at 28. Looking for 29. I really like that one in your middle finger and I do like that pink. I wish they were my size. I love I love this one. Well, they fit my babies, but I don't particularly care for babies. Okay, Andrea is Baby out. Lady Chickapoo is back at 29. Looking for 30. Okay, Thelma's in at 33. Looking for 34. Yes, sir. Favorite number. I'm going to go turn off this bright light. It's making it hot in here. Oops, wrong one. All right. How long have you lived right. this then? Um, Lady Chickapoo's back at 34. Thelma is out, so we're going one time at 34. Did I wake you up? Sorry, pups. Going two times at 34. Okay, let's call fair warning. And I'll give you a second in case you change your mind before I call it. We'll call that one, two. Remind me in the morning. We got a couple of three. new registrations to send them to you. Yes, indeed. Um, all right, let's call it sold to Lady Chickapoo at $34. Which one do you want, my dear?
or you can choose all three or two. We'll uh, call them one, two, and the three. Left, number one, number two in the middle, and then the pink number three. She wants the pink one, so that leaves the two market sites. Are you interested in either one of those, Thelma? Thank you, lady. <laughs> Okay, yep, that's the one she wants. And then we have the um, number one on the left, Actually, number two on the right, Thelma, or left or right. If you are interested in either one of those, just let us know. Congrats, ladies, and thank you for your bids. Indeed. Uh, she wanted the pink one too, so she'll pass. Okay, honey. You have to the pink one. That was a pretty one, wasn't it? All righty. I'll so be on a mission. One more, and then we'll call it a night. All righty then. I will do a couple more necklaces. Choice of, and we will do them for fifteen. I have this one. That is marked nine two five. It simply says love. The chain is eighteen inches. I have this one that's on a snake chain. This chain is really good, guys. 18 inches and this is a prayer box and this is well worth it it opens wow i had one just like that there oh, let me shut it i think that's a good price for that one yeah those little oh, prayer yes, it boxes is. yeah those list pretty high Mine was didn't say third. love on it, though, but I had one very similar to that. Okay, I'll do a third one. Okay, so this rope, uh, I mean, this, what do you call it, a box chain? This is yeah. heavy. This yeah. box chain is 17 inches, and it has an eagle. And the eagle is marked right you there. You have another eagle. So there's okay. your choices. These chains are well worth $15, y'all. All righty. So $15 choice. Can you move them up into screen? They're focusing. But oh, I'm sorry. A good look at all three of them. I'm going to put them in my hand. This is really a heavy chain. There well, we one go. With a little all love, right. a little prayer box, and an eagle. Even right. if you don't like the charms, the chains are good. Okay, so but you have to love the starting bit. They're adorable. That is a really nice chain with that eagle. Yeah, that well worth fifteen. Yeah, if you've got a heavier pendant, you're looking for a chain for that's a nice chain. Mm -hmm. Nice lengths. All righty, fifteen dollars starting bid. In those little prayer boxes, if you're a reseller, they they um, sell pretty quick when you list them. I've even sold those costume prayer boxes before that were signed. They I got good money for that too. That I listed one that was um, mm -hmm. I don't remember what brand it was, but that sold in a couple of days. Some man bought it for his wife. <laughs> we got Thelma in at 15. We're looking for 16. Mm. 
All right, we got Andrea Baker in at 16, looking for 17. We are looking for 17. I need to get my CBD topical tonight for the neck. We got Thelma in at 17. It is 18 to you, Mr. Andrea is back at 18. 19 to Thelma. You know, I've only had a couple of people um, having problems getting there. I'm talking about in country, not, not going out of the country. Getting pro having problems getting their mail. Most of my shipments have gone and the people have gotten them within days. So yeah, I don't the know mail if it's has just different parts of the country. I think you just Dude, I have had more packages come back to me since COVID started. I've had like three come back to me in the last I've only had a couple. Months, and the addresses were fine. I sent them back out the second time and they went through. But if that happens to you, if you message um, Pirate Ship, they waive the shipping for you to send it back out. If everything is good and it's their fault, they'll they'll pay for the, they'll refund you the shipping. Okay, we are at 18, we got Ship, back though. at 19, we are looking for 20. This is Troy Sub, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. All right. Then I'd like to show one more ring to Thelma. Oh, you need your allergy medicine. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, lady, just in some areas, I'm thinking. Yeah, it depends on the regional. Yeah, choice. on right. the Okay, we are at 19. We are looking for 20. We are going one time at 19 to Thelma. Let me know if you're still in or out, Andrea. Yes, it is choice. Stop scratching the carpet. What are you going to dig to China? I need back some silver. Okay, Andrea is out. So we are going two times at 19 to Thelma. Okay, we are at fair warning. I know, poor Monty. We still haven't been able to ship her. I saw her yesterday. I only got to say hello. I'd love to but do her a problem video is for her. She can't get mail in Canada. She has it shipped to somebody that lives near the border. And then she crosses mm -hmm. over and picks it up because it saves her a whole lot of money. But um, they can't, she can't cross the border. All righty, sold to Thelma at 19. Which one do you want, Miss Thelma? Thank you, gals. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you, thank you. It's night owls here. I know I'm going to do one more ring. But it's a size four. Three weeks, wow. Um, she wants them all. Thank you, all three. Clean sweep. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. I do appreciate that. All righty. I'll be packaged differently. All right, I have a size four ring. It's uh, garnet and topaz. I don't know okay, what let's make these this the are. last one because I'm fading. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm just the last one. Garnet 
and inside is topaz. I don't, I can't test these little ones. This, I'm going to ask $28 for this. Good night, it is Pat. a size five. Good night, Pat. Thank you, honey. Yep. If nobody's interested, we're moving on. Oh, wow. That's spectacular. I love this. Did you say those are garnets? Garnet and topaz. Wow, beautiful. Darn, all the cute ones are size five. <laughs> all of my this favorite is a size ones four. Tonight, size, well, size four, that's really tiny. That's really small. Yeah, that's even five. too small for my ring, my little finger for me. We got Mona in at 28. Isn't that spectacular? We got Andrea back at 29. It's just adorable. I thought it was adjustable. We but got not. Thelma in at 30. They did test garnet and white topaz. I was going to keep it, but I don't want to. These are all my years of marriage rings, and I have to wear them, and I don't like wearing mixed metals. I don't mind the mixed metals. We have Mona in at 32. Somebody needs to enjoy this. It I is. I got this from Miss, Miss Vanessa. I wish I had those little delicate feminine fingers and where I could wear that on my ring finger. That's spectacular. I, for some reason, big rings bother me on my pinky. I can get away with this. Is so ones, this surprisingly you? This isn't even like wearing something with this little band. It it really is comfortable. It's got a lot of bling to it. Oh, sorry. That's okay, Andrea. We have Thelma in at thirty three. Mona is back at thirty five. No, it size four. Is that right? I'll make sure. Yes, size four, four right there. No, it's a four. I just a put four. it on again. Okay. It's a size four. I'm looking right there. There's the four. Okay. Right there. We have Thelma in at 37. Will that fit your Very ring for Thelma? Or is that a pinky ring for you, too? Thelma doesn't have big hands. You no, know, she's got well, very four feminine, isn't big, but very feminine hands. She's got very pretty hands. I'm surprised it goes on this claw. We got Mona in at 40. It's a gorgeous ring. It needs a lady's hand. It Walking does. around with it daily. I really would love to see your personal ring collection, Thelma. You must have a thousand rings. Mm -hmm. um, it's a I four, Thelma. If it's a four, so if you want to retract. Um, that's good. We can go back to the last four, bid with and Mona. it does not adjust. Problems there. Good night, Andrea. Good night, Andrea. Thank you so yeah, much, honey. Yeah. Um, can't wait for you to see. Um, oh, I guess Thelma's okay <laughs> Thelma. with the size in. Thelma's back at 44. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see some of this stuff. Okay, just making sure that it fit you. All right, I uh, can't wait for you to see Andar's stuff. God, she's just, well, she makes some crazy stuff. Beautiful stuff. Such okay, Mona is out. See, I swear that 34. Three or four, the forty-four. Every time for Th Thelma, three or she found a magic formula <laughs> somehow. I know. <laughs> All Cracks right, go on one, one time. Cracks me up. <laughs> okay, so Thelma, tell everybody so out. I am not going to belabor it. No, Miss 
send it on. I, I thought of you, Thelma, when we were sitting here. Fair warning. I like that ring. I'm glad you won it. Thank and you, ladies, so much for your bids. Sold to Thelma for 44 Thank you, Thelma. Thank you for your so bid. Lindy, let me switch my... All righty. indeed a beautiful ring. Let's see who's Thank you, away. everybody. <laughs> Everybody's still away. Yes, guys, thank you I so sure much. I would like for to do. Me. Always a pleasure to have you all in. Um, always fun. And we will be back tomorrow night with Robert and Andar. Um, we are helping Andar to raise money. As you guys know, she lost her husband recently and we do uh, we are planning a benefit for her coming up in the next couple of weeks um but tomorrow night she will be selling her own stuff because she is quite an artist she's very very gifted um very talented and she does some silversmithing herself so she's getting pretty good but she's really um has all kinds of techniques that she uses so can't wait for you to see her stuff, but please um, join us tomorrow, Good night, 7 Eastern and 6 Central Standard Time. And I think that's what, four, three or four on the West Coast? Not sure. But anyways, thank you all for coming, and we will see you guys tomorrow night. And Robert, thank you night. all. Good night, everyone. Thank see you tomorrow night. So God bless everyone. He is. Jesus is Lord. And thank you so much. And thank you all. And what do I always say? Life is short and fleeting, so drive it like you spell it. And don't forget that thumbs up on the way out. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will have everybody's information in the description box, including Anne, so that you guys can go and sub to them, too. Good night, so thank Mona. Thank you all for coming. Good night, all. Thank you so Love much, you all. everybody. Night. Night, Liz. Love you, honey. Hey, Liz, you came in right when we were leaving.